Two hulking masses of flesh lay atop the stone sarcophagi in the center of the room. Body parts from many different creatures are sewn together in a crude fashion to create these humanoid shaped monstrosities. Oh, no. The bodies are covered in vines, clay, and mold. A few pieces of shining treasure can be seen around the base of the sarcophagi. Uh, recessed into the left wall <clears throat> is a small wooden door. Oh, this one? Yeah. So uh, that it? monster swings its, uh, its giant fists, connects with Grimo for uh, nine damage. A oh, no, no, monster! Wow. Grimo's dead. Oh. Like unconscious? Grimo's dead. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's prone. And Grimo he's, just he's got Jesus, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Someone use a phoenix down or something. Grimo only had seven hit points. I'll, I'll drop one of those on Grimo, though. <laughs> Are you hanging oh. upside down? Right 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 I'm dropping it right into Grimo's mouth. I have potions, but I'm just not, I can't. You're unconscious. No, I need somebody to No, yeah, so I'll definitely give one. So you like pour it in his mouth? I pour it in Grimo's mouth. It kind of gets all over his face, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you should be scrambling for it, and then accidentally opens, but then it goes right over your breasts and right into Grimo's mouth. Wow. A little bit of tit sweat. Yeah. Like, Shattercock, you squirting again? <laughs> no. Decker, what you doing, bud? Oh, uh, let's see what spells what I got. isn't he doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's doing a lot of things. What couldn't I do? So this one's looking... as far as away as possible. This one's looking real bad? <laughs> yeah. I'll just cast a Scorching Ray on it again. Thank God for Arcane Recovery. Uh, I'm gonna borrow your D6 to speed this up. That's a lot of damage. Hard rolling. <laughs> rolling to do. So that's five for the first bolt. Seven. Seven for the wow. second. And five Jeez. for the third. Five, seven, five. All right. Yeah. So you you got him. If you want to describe the end of the uh, monster. I target each bolt to make him die in the coolest possible way. So one blasts off like uh, the upper third of his body. The second, it's kind of like just taking him off layer by layer, just to like shotgun every. Piece back towards the wall, towards Grimo incidentally. So <laughs> Grimo's just getting hit with like cinders of flesh and rotting <laughs> shit. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a carnival where it's some sort of dunk tank, except Grimo's just getting Ugh, covered like with viscera. Bath and time with shattercock. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so if this if this were the some kind of canal through which organic matter would flow. Grimo is certainly on the end of that that shotgun effect. And there's a little Grimo cutout in the wall <laughs> oh, yeah. where all the stuff hit. Uh, this pleases Skittles. All right, uh, twits and crits. Oh, wow. uh, we're halfway through the second season now. What? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Here we wow. go. Here we go. Here we go. Time wow. flies when you're underground. The last season <laughs> of twits and crits. So, <laughs> so uh, we ended mid battle last time. Someone want to do a quick rundown? We um, had uh, trouble in Zombie Town. Uh, <laughs> huge flesh bags basically attacked Shattercock. Hey. Knocked out Grimo. Oh, oh. And, um, and then. The brave, uh, the very useful members of the party had to step in Skittles. and yeah. uh, do okay. stuff like Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not how Skittles remembers it. <laughs> Skittles Grimo. basically came in and saved the day. Well, that's debatable. Uh, he didn't do anything for Grimo. Shattercock saved Grimo with her magical titty elixir. That's true. Oh, right. That was that's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's pronounced potion. And Miri <laughs> had some amazing sword work. Uh, Reluctant. I did sword hit him work. once, I think. He ensnared him. You ensnared people ensnared with your thorns. Vines, yeah, magic cool. vines. And, yeah. uh, and it broke out. And Decker blew the flesh monster to pieces, which splattered all over Grimo. Almost extinguished Grimo's cigarette. Almost. It didn't yeah. quite. <laughs> Everything but the cigarette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all that's left is this one monster. Yeah, yeah. And he's behind, ensnared. Yeah, in front of a mystery. He, no, he, he just out. broke, he out. broke ah, out. Just broke out. But what's behind the door? So whose turn is it? Stay uh, tuned. It's Ryzen's go. Ryzen's turn. Well, um... I guess it would take too long for me to get over to that zombie, so Skittles is there already. It's true. With, uh, I think he had a dagger or something he found. <laughs> How mm -hmm. are you going to control Skittles over there? I don't control Skittles, man. <laughs> Skittles is just a member right. of the family now. Yeah. Right? I mean, who controls y your. Bruce does. Other people. Yeah, my, yeah. my character. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. you're, you're ambulatory now, skeletons. I, um, I move over and rejoin with Skittles since um, I need help. <laughs> and we uh, once again join forces. Yeah, that's, that's about right. That's about right. <laughs> um, I'm going to give the uh, the Great Axe swing another go. Sweet. Uh, last time we rolled, it was oh. utter garbage. Is this going to work? It might. Oh, I might hope snap so. It. Yeah. You're going to break it. So. Skill, in there. Skittles doubles as a shield, but he doesn't know that yet. Evan's got backups. He just has a bunch of extras lined up to mail out should okay. we need them. No, he oh. doesn't. He doesn't. There are Lego skeletons. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't know if they're as sassy as. Well, shit, okay, that's, that's awesome. Nice. That's great. Okay, uh, so I roll for my great axe damage. 20! Oh, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> 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 okay, and then I roll for damage, yeah. which is uh, it's a 12, bad, right? It's a 12, yeah. Um, that's 
for slashing, that's plus three. Mm -hmm. No pressure, but it's doubled. Yeah. Ooh. Four? Mm. Ooh, that's double. Eight. Plus, uh, three. plus five. Double plus three. three slashing. Plus 11. The attack bonus is plus five. Uh, no, it'd be your strength. Attack oh, bonus is, is to take My bad. Strength is plus three. Yeah. Does 11, Which right? is plus three slashing. Yes. Not bad. Well, Thank you, really, 20. That's really good. That was a good crit. Yeah. Uh, Skittles cracks a joke about how it could have been better and then <laughs> says something racist. 20? Is that all? <laughs> so yeah, your hacks go right into the midsection of the, the flesh thing. Mm -hmm. Innards are flopping out onto the ground. That's good. Uh, if it could smell any worse, it's it's getting even no, nastier. Really good. There. I like it. Uh, Miri. Okay, so I'm in, I'm encouraged by this, and I'm gonna by skills. Yes. Uh, <laughs> swipe with my uh, long sword. Blah blah blah. Try and add to the damage. Seventeen plus blah blah blah. Twenty-two. That hits. Yes. Cool. One uh, D eight. Not two-handed. Ooh. For eight. And this is in the lower part of him as I'm short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, your longsword connects with its knee, uh, kind of flops its leg out, and yeah. it's down onto, onto its knee. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. Anything else you want to do? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, I just kind of give a encouraging and teamwork type nod to Raxan and Skittles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Skittles doesn't need it, but he appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. Uh, I want to do a running jump, two-handed strike off this sarcophagus here. All right, roll roll a twenty for yeah. athletics or agility or something. Yeah. Nine plus you have acrobatics or yeah, three, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we'll so call that jumps. one good. Both hands up, and now these are for my axe strikes. Does it have any orc bits? This one doesn't have no. orc bits. Oh. Nineteen, oh. and I got rage, so I'm gonna. Just Maybe right, see yeah. if I can get a twenty out of this. No, okay. All right. Uh, so nineteen plus two for for my attack bonus. Twenty one. Assume hits, that hits. Definitely. All right. So now two blows coming down from above. Four. Five nine plus two for my rage plus three for my strength. So fourteen. Thing's got to be dead. Well, it already is dead. So I do a running jump and then both. Axes go into its shoulder-ish things, and then they get ripped out like that. All right, so yeah, it's it's blood and inner shit just flies all over everybody. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's got the last, but it's still it's moving still a little bit. But this yeah. thing is real fucked up. Also, right. real quick, as I was jumping, um, it kind of looked like a moon appeared behind it, and you could hear a wolf howl, oh. right. but oh. also an eagle screech. Yeah, was like, <laughs> how does that sound together? It's like a, Sweet. Like kind of like that. Just yeah. all the power of nature. Yeah, <laughs> all in one so zone. Full moon strike. Some Native so American snake rattle at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so after, after Derek does his, he's, you get the shadow cock. He's going like this. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. Ter terrible. Yeah. And then we, uh, she walks over and just casts ray of frost on this thing to finish. Oh, like it off. on the ceiling so, the whole time. Oh, casual, absolutely. Casual saunter. Uh, yeah. Boom. Five. Wait. We mm -hmm. have to do the attack first. Oh. Okay. Range spell attack. So. Sure. Roll a 20 and then add your modifier. Okay. Uh, it's 17. Dyslexic. Hits. All right. Yeah. Five. Five damage? Yeah. All right. So it freezes up and it, it's just moving ever so slightly. It's still there, just Man. going the littlest bit left. This thing's just. Yeah. Kill me yeah. again. Yeah. It's Vines. Speed, it's speed is reduced by 10 in the, in the case that that matters. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love it. The monster takes a big. Swing with its only arm, its right arm, up at uh, Raxon towards Skittles. So I don't know who it's going to uh -oh. hit. No, um, it's the moment of decision. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's swinging at Skittles. Oh no, he's so weak. It's is this choice. the end of Skittles? That's the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles is weak by choice. <laughs> so he he actually takes off the the legs of Skittles. No! So he's, never Skittles is just <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, then as it brings its arm back around, it swings at Mary. Oh, oh and misses horribly. Yes. yes, nice. Nothing of value was Skittles lost. Skittles saved you. <laughs> yes. Skittles overhears that. Yeah. All right, Grimo covered in in muck and in nastiness. Oh, it's Skittles against the wall. What are you up to? Grimo's gonna come over here and check out this sword. It's on the skeleton. Hmm. All right. Puzzles. Good time for that. Yeah. Roll a twenty. So 16, you want me to add anything to it? Uh, it I mean, it's a rusted old sword. Um, it is like huge though. It's like a five foot sword. Um, it must have belonged to some 
you know, king or royalty of some kind. There's an inscription underneath that says, waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't roll for Primo's this. Primo's going to get the sword, the sword and give it as a gift to Decker. Oh. Uh, so can he lift it? Yeah, but, well, roll, roll a 20. Let's see. Okay. And add your strength. So, oh, oh no. Oh, boy. <laughs> Three plus uh, his strength is negative, negative one. one. Oh, boy. <laughs> So you, you actually you do get it up for a second, but then you kind of topple backwards oh, and fall over. Trapped oh. under the sword. Yeah. Oh. Muck all over you. Am I stuck <laughs> lying on the ground under the sword? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Grimo goes, help! Somebody save me! <laughs> I know I didn't help you, but I need you to help me now. Um, Skittles is the only one who hears this, but chooses to ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Grimo can see me. Grimo so, Skittles, I know you know. Yeah. Grimo doesn't know how to sword this out. Uh. Mm. Is Skittles upset when he hears that kind of bullshit? <laughs> and he goes, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Good one! Yeah. So who will help Grimo? Um, well, it's Decker's turn. Yeah, it's Decker's turn. Oh, Grimo, he's peering over at Decker. <laughs> he knows it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, based on where the sarcophagus is, I don't think he can see him because he's being pinned. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, you, you fell down out of my line of sight. <laughs> he can so. hear him, though. Oh sure. If he's dead I'm, always, I'm always oh sure. Decca, you're my best friend. I'm always hearing Grimo squeal about something. <laughs> so there's one little that. writing bit of zombie left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll firebolt that guy. Oh, let me get him. Save spell us back. again. I know. Yep. Really <laughs> but this time with a much less impressive spell. Uh, All right. Firebolt. It's a uh, range spell, spell attack. One D hit or one D ten. All right. So. so roll your twenty. Yes, sir. Chop. Oh, that's oh, a six. Oh, that's a, a one, hit. by the way. Or a one? Failure. Yep. Nat one failure. Nat oh, uh, failure. So Firebolt. Oh, um, no. I think it should singe There's Decker's a lot of people hair. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm upside down, anywhere. I'm upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shattercock's on the ceiling, so I guess, uh, yeah, that hits the back of Miri's head. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Miri, roll, roll a 20. <laughs> It's always Miri. Every time he's so two. low, you think he'd be okay. out of the way. <laughs> roll for damage. Oh, two. Oh, what do I roll? Like, no, no, Decker. You oh, get ten. to wait for the me to D10. roll. Oh, right, right. Six. Ooh. Oh gosh. Uh, it, so the the flaming bolt hits the back of uh, Miri's head. Uh, luckily, he's got that metal helmet on, but it scorches a little bit of his beard. Oh no, that oh, beautiful boy. beard. So I take six damage. Yeah. Mm. Digger backs out of the room. Have picked up a rusted sword to try to give to his. It new... was a gift. Yeah, there's a lot of people <laughs> doing work, work, and then there's a lot of people that yeah. <laughs> one strapped under a rusted sword, the other ever <laughs> bolted. Remember when Grimo was on the verge of death, and then yeah. Chattercock saved him. I do. And then he said, "Fuck all you." Hey, hey, really? hey, what's in the sword? I have dad issues, so I want to pick things up. Hit that guy with the lightning, and then he shot that guy with an arrow. Remember yeah, remember that? that? I remember those things. No, nope. thank nope. you. That's I why Shadow Cox Grimm was only true friend and Decker. <laughs> and Decker too. You keep trying to get for Decker, then Decker doesn't give a shit about yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Ra Raxan. Yeah, Raxan is your go, but okay. Um, so okay, yeah. So Skittles says. We need to finish this man. There's some new legs in for me if we do it. And I go, that's a weird deal. <laughs> that's hard. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we just we try to finish him off. Um, so Skittles and I swing together. Cool. Uh -huh. um, Courtney Except Skittles has a, a magical axe that only he can see. Mm, nice. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's just air uh, <laughs> for the rest of you. But th this axe is amazing. It's made of like lightning and fire Ooh, uh, cool. and hawk feathers that we heard earlier. All sorts of Absolutely. cool things. That and he's just visible. ripping off other characters now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's nothing original about this. So I'm, I'm swinging in my left hand, he's swinging in his right together as one. But Skittles wants all the credit. So uh, swing for damage. That's a six. Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, that it hits. Yay. Okay, and then damage. That's 10 plus 3, 13 damage. All right, yeah, you in that guy if you want to let us know. Uh, yeah, so, Rack, I mean, it just looks like this in Raxan's head. Just Yeah, nothing. It just kind of pops. But in Skittles' mind, it's like Skittles mind? Yeah. well, you well know, it's they kind of they kind of confused brain. about like, who's imagining there, what. There is just it's point. like an anime like whirlwind going around, and there's just light flashing behind, mm -hmm. and cool. then. Skittles does like kind of a cool spin move, yeah. and just comes out and he like he grows like twelve feet, mm -hmm. and he, his legs are back, which is really cool. His penis <laughs> okay. yeah. Does he does he become a fully fleshed, beautiful man with flowing blonde hair? <laughs> you see Skittles as Skittles. he has the hair, but I don't understand the human. Part. Oh, okay, he's okay. a skeleton. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> he's always been. A skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> what, just what, what is this? He doesn't know what the flesh is. Yeah, um, and then the axe, while it's just it's just covered in lightning and flames and hawk feathers, mm -hmm. just 
just eviscerates it where he just it does that cool thing in anime where like when uh, like a Kamehameha thing where like oh. he just go he kind of goes turned into silhouettes and then it's a silhouette like yeah. black and he's just fractaling out but in reality he just goes just kind of mm-hmm. pops him in the head yeah. and the thing falls over <laughs> sweet yo flops over dead and then skills comes flop him <laughs> it's, uh, it's bone marrow though oh, yeah. it's just a powder Grimo kind of looks over as much as he hates skills he respects his prowess on the battlefield <laughs> And uh, he yells, fuck you, midget. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Uh, let me do some quick math, sorry. Yeah, yeah give sure. us that experience. Is this related to the show we're doing? Or? <laughs> no, okay. this is for fun. Taxes are late. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mirror's already out of there. I'm, just, I'm staring at, I think Decker hit me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> like Decker's kind of behind the corner. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretending very hard like nothing happens. Yeah. Are you like hiding down? No, I'm not the, hiding. No, that's like, too behind obvious. Behind the stairs like this? No. Nah. Like, okay. that, that, that would betray. <laughs> that would betray a guilty conscience. <laughs> So yeah, you got all, all got 350 experience Ooh. for that. I am very intentionally not doing anything out of the ordinary, which is itself very suspicious. Uh, are we able to look around now and do yeah. stuff? Mm-hmm. Um, now it's time for puzzles. Well, I need a I need to find some new legs for Skittles. So I go to I guess I just go to these bones and, but they're are the are these are these bones compatible? With these skittles? good bones, like sure. Good oh, bones roll, will work. Roll for it. Yeah. Quality bones. Uh, Solid eight. Bones. So I guess they're the mm. legs of a black guy. Um, <laughs> Yeah. One shorter than the I'm other. Gonna, oh shit, he's got like rivers and Cuomo I, bones. Can I go over and try and lift the sword off of Grimo? Yeah, yeah. I'm squirming like a little baby. Roll a 20 for, for it though. <laughs> I wish my dad would my mom dad would get. <laughs> 12. Yeah, you can get it. And then with one hand, I just kind of <laughs> throw it to, toss the, side. It to the side. Oh, <laughs> you know, dog brains out. I was going to give that sword to Decker, but I guess you can keep it. I just kick it further away. <laughs> <laughs> I see, yeah, I guess a real uh, warrior, you know, he probably wouldn't use an old junk sword like that, even though it belonged to a king. I'm not sure, I'm not sure he'd know how to use that sword. What are you talking about? That's a royal king's sword! I looked at it myself, my own two oh, eyes! <laughs> Does he look like a king to you? No, actually, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do appreciate when you came up and you attacked that big beastie thing for me to help me out there. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. I just wanted to kill something. Yeah. Yeah. Dec- looked like it deserved a slashing. Decker's over at the wall being like, man, there was a, did you guys see that trap? It got triggered? That fireball <laughs> trap? Boy, that was, <laughs> no, that was I saw you cast Boy. on Mary. No, I didn't. What are you talking about? I'm no, I was staring at him suspiciously. I saw that fireball misfire. Nah. What, are you, what are you saying, Shadow? That never Park? happens. Um, Decker would never attack one of his friends. So anyway, you guys tri- triggered a fireball trap. To. Sorry about that. He you didn't guys. mean to. He Probably should have detected that, but the battle was really, you know, it was really fast and I didn't have time to look around. So, so you know, maybe next time <laughs> give me some chance to look around the room first. <laughs> uh, Shadow Clock's still on the ceiling. Look away. But <laughs> I don't like she's going to go check out this one. Lego. This <laughs> altar area. Cool. Um, <laughs> do you want me to roll for that? Uh, no. So, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, we'll just say you're all looking around the room trying yeah. to get shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you find four silver rings. Oh. Each one's worth twenty silver pieces. Yeah, about six. Um, and three small sculptures of uh, Lu Kathur Ula. Each one's worth about thirteen silver pieces. Got it. Mm. Cool. And then the market. also, uh, there's an urn there with a bunch of paper in it, like rolled up scrolls. And you pull them out, and they're actually magic scrolls. Oh shit! Yes. Damn. How many scrolls are there? Four. How to scroll? Oh. Um, While we're doing this, I'm still adding more bones to Skittles, and so now he has like <laughs> popping them off. You know, he has like Goro-like arms, so he's got four cool. arms now. Um, quick thing to the party: I'm willing to roll for it. What's that? Whoever gets the four highest rolls gets to pull the scrolls. Okay. I'm pulling them right now. Well, non-magic users aren't really going to be able to use the magic. Yeah. I'm, oh, pulling, well. I'm pulling them right now. I'll, I'll hand them out. Yeah, she, she got all the shit. She'll handle Don't it. worry. I'm not going to take but, all. But uh, dog brain, maybe you can help me push this uh, lid off the sarcophagus. Okay. Sure, yeah, it's a little sticky. <laughs> it's never been a problem for you. Huh? You like put drool all over yourself or whatever? <laughs> Hold so, on, why don't you push first? Why is Grimo a dick see. all the time? <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, you can, add, you can add scrolls to a spell book, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So oh, you, yeah. you could read it, add it to your... Yeah. And then there's like some cost and time associated with transcribing, I think. Yeah. Well. I'm in love with you, Derek. I'm not as strong as people think I am, especially with this physical stuff. I think you could do it. Could you just please help me? Yeah, no, and then so let Grimo try, but then I'm gonna, I wanna subtly, like, from one side, oh. use one hand. Okay, Grimo's good. 11, so 10. Oh, no! 10. <laughs> he rolled a one. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah. Grimo got a 10, though. Yeah, so somehow, you're, 
almost getting it over, and Derek decides to come and help you, but then pushes it over on top of you, and you're trapped underneath. Oh, it. Again. <laughs> oh foiled again! <laughs> Dogwing, you said he was a strong guy. I did. I just pushed it maybe a little too hard. Well, what do you see in there? And then I look inside. Let's uh, real quick. Let's get these scrolls. I actually got one for each magic user. Oh. Um, so that would be Grimo's. If you're gonna hand them out, that would be yours. That would be uh, Deer, uh, Decker's, and this is Miri's. You can get one to Skittles. What is this? There you go, go. No, I don't Skittles care. About Skittles is a magic user. Well, he's everything. It's just mostly heroin. Yeah. <laughs> he calls it magic. Marrow. <laughs> Marrow. And what do you guys get? Yeah, yeah. I have a can... Familiar. So an animal beast that I can um, direct. That's cool. Oh, I got the uh, Derek. <laughs> I, I'm turning into Spider-Man very slowly because now <laughs> I, I can I can crawl on walls and I can cast web. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, Where does so. it come from? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I got enlarge slash reduce. I can either I can select a creature or an object to grow larger or smaller for the duration of the spell, which is up to a minute. Mm. And then if it's a person, everything they're wearing and have on them also get larger. But the second it leaves them, it returns to normal. So oh, he's Ant-Man. That's Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're Wolverine. Mary, what'd you get? I have. Locate object, which is describe or name an object that is familiar to you. You sense the direction of the object's location as long as that object is within 1,000 feet of you. If the object is in motion, you know the direction of its movement. So how would you use that? I'm not sure. The paladin spell list is a little limited. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, like he said, it's an object that's familiar to him. So, how so maybe if something was stolen from oh, you gotcha. or... Okay. or can locate a specific the... object known to me as long as I have seen it up close within 30 feet at least once. Alternatively, the spell can locate the nearest object of a particular kind, such oh, as a certain true. kind of apparel, jewelry, furniture, tool, or weapon. Also, I noticed uh, Derek, wanted, when I was digging through the spells and stuff, Derek wanted some of that, so uh, I tossed him a couple of those silver rings. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Slide them on like out brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I kept two. There were four, right? Yeah, four of them. They're worth twenty silvers if you're trying to two sell them. Two silver at some rings. Point. <laughs> and then there were the there are three little sculptures as well. If anyone's really worried about it, well, those I've lost later. so much. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you could sell a them. Sculpture if will not to replace this hole in my heart. Uh, Derek looks inside the open tomb and discovers adamantium bones. And then he wears, and okay. his hair also now looks like ears. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning into the ice man. <laughs> and he can freeze people yeah. with ice and ride the ice. <laughs> Skittles oh, yeah. somehow found it. And he's corner. in a wheelchair. <laughs> Poor Grimo. Uh, oh, no, so Grimo's he's being crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, while Grimo's being crushed, uh, Derek looks inside the open now. Okay, so sarcophagus. It, for, uh, roll a 20 for me, actually. Step on three. Oh, oh boy. There's, bone, there's the bones way. in there. Bones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't bring what you see in there. The most greatest treasure of all. <laughs> and then I, I show you. I'm oh, holding the bones for you. Oh, you're as bad as that Skittles guy. Uh, Skittles at this point is in a corner with a, with a bandage wrapped around his arm. <laughs> his, yeah, it's good uh, marrow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how he's injecting it. Get this quick, quick. you sniffing at your bones. Get this thing off. Okay. Of I. I Nervously set down one of the bones that now I have, and then I try and help Grimo okay. get off the thing. Well, you just say you get it off. I get it off okay. the thing. Grimo's he's gonna look at these bones that, or or maybe I'm gonna double check inside the sarcophagus because I don't trust this. What else could there possibly be so to find? Six plus. I don't know if you want me to add like perception or yeah, investigation yeah. or one of whichever one's better. Uh, it's a nine. So nine. Okay. No, yeah, you rolled they, a nine. Oh, I'm sorry. So twelve. Okay. So they they look. Uh, like regular bones, but larger than a, a human. Like I said, they're about probably ten foot tall creatures. Awesome. Oh, I was oh. looking like in the sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I oh, so he took them out. No, well, I just grabbed a bone, grabbed a bone oh, okay. and excitedly showed unclear. you. But you, you can tell that these bodies were buried with care. They, there's different little bits of treasure or things in there, things that might have been treasure hundreds of years ago, but now they look like dust and, and garbage. It seems like maybe jewelry or anything of value might have already been removed, but you can tell that this was once royalty, like this. This was a king or a queen, um, someone that was once powerful. Mary, do you want to look at the bones too? <laughs> no, I'm okay. We all get a chance. So I'm gonna get the go look at this door over here. So you're just looking at it, kind of maybe investigating it, touching it, seeing getting if cursed or anything. Do it like <laughs> if it was a fire on the other side. We touch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. seeing if maybe Smell it it. Yeah. Is, it can be opened or not. Without. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, it just looks like a door. 
Maybe you know, I maybe I knock on it. Yeah, okay, yeah. So when you, as soon as you you hit with the knock, you hear like a crackle, just like in a, and you see a kind of a wave of magic just disappear from the door, and it goes, whoa, and, and just comes whoa, open whoa, whoa, whoa. just a little bit. It cracks open a little bit. You yep. said, uh, guys, this door is magical or something. It opened by itself. Oh well, that's my. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> comes back to you. Look at this Cartman. Yeah. Basically, yeah, I, that's what I was thinking yeah. too. The walking doesn't help either. I like make sure he's not behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for traps. Do you check traps on this door? Yeah. So sure. Decker's going in first? Oh no, I'm, I'm checking it for traps. I knew it. I knew Sc- he wasn't. Scanning it down. I'm just scanning it. Roll 20. I mean, he has, do that, your investigation. he has that power that you like can detect traps while you Yeah, move. while moving. It's like it's nice. basically always on. Uh, I don't know what I add to that. 16. Okay, that's good. You tell that there was once magic on the door, and it has just uh, released moments ago. Gotcha. Uh, when mm-hmm. Mary knocked on it. Oh, well, it's all clear. Uh, you guys should be safe. Uh, it's always good to let me check these things first, though. You know, for traps, in case you get hit with traps. Anyway. You guys. Uh, Are you, you gonna guys... go in there or not? What? No, I just cleared away for you guys. You guys like uh, you guys like exploring, so you know it's clear. It's safe. That's what I'm saying. Hey, everybody! It's all clear over here. It's all safe. We checked it out. It's all good. We can go in. Are Decker. you gonna go in there or not? Yeah, Decca and I checked it out. It's all good. Are you going in? I'm going in, Shattercock. Deeper than ever. So I go in, but I'm Green looking. Green right, Shattercock looking follows Greenmo in. I'm, oh, I'm going like, why are we? Where are we going? Where are we going? The bones are right here. <laughs> yeah. King's bones too. They're probably taste a little bit better. Have <laughs> right, you nice put a bone aged. in your mouth yet? What? I just hold on to it. Oh, okay. Got a good dry rub in there. Yeah, Skittles is I do drool heavier though. now. No, oh, yeah, because of all the marrow. He's a, well, yeah, he's full of marrow and he's got way more bones. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got three legs, uh, four arms. Uh, One of those ain't a leg. Well, he—that's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. No. So I think like we, a human foot is a dick. Grimo and I went in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just got just, one foot on his crotch. <laughs> I followed Grimo in there. Check out my cock. Looking at Derek, Five or heads. not Derek, uh, Decker. Decker. Then I turned around, and followed Grimo. Okay. I went in there. There we go. Ooh. So the dimming torchlight casts flickering shadows into the chamber before you. The room reeks of human filth and excrement. In the far corner stands a steel cage, its doors open. Within it lay two young girls. <laughs> if you'll put those in there. They appear bewitched, neither awake or asleep. Opposite the cage is a broken old bed, stacks of tattered books. A tiny, wrinkled old woman hurriedly, hurriedly flips through a book, wheezing wetly and laying on the bed. Ooh. Ugh, gross. We did it, guys. We can kill an old woman. <laughs> the old woman's about, girls. about five feet tall. Her head has been shaved down to the scalp on either side, revealing tattoos of an ancient forgotten symbols of an old language. They extend down beneath her robes, covering her entire body. Oh, no. What's her name, Baga? Yeah. So her, her long gray hair has been woven into a braid that falls sloppily over her. Her teeth have all but rotted away, and her face bears the lines of untold years and many fierce battles. Her smile is forever crooked, lending a sense of depravity to every look. Her withered frame is covered in a thin burlap robe, the skin beneath waxy gray and translucent. Around her neck hangs a necklace of bone. Inky blue tears ooze from her eyes forever, marking her face and clothing. I know what that means in the old language. Damaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank the creator, you have come. I begged and prayed for help, and now you're here. Put a cork in it, you old bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing with these girls? I promise you the children are in no danger. I seek only their aid, and now yours too. Shove it up your ass, <laughs> <laughs> you old witch. Take them out of this cage this instant. These are sisters of somebody's. The, the, the cage is unlocked. They can go. I just need your help. With what? Show your dirty pussy mouth! Oh, oh God! Piece of shit, witch! <laughs> oh, what a foul little these, creature! <laughs> these are sisters. These are somebody's daughters. Somebody's sisters. So, <laughs> while they're while they're talking, Shattercock runs over and try and again on the ceiling still tries to uh, get the get the cage open. The cage is open. Cage is totally open. Mm-hmm. So opens the door and then touches ah! to the girls. Yeah, they're they're. Uh, what? Is, uh, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just ah, ah, ah. Grimo takes out a little small, uh, like a little toy that he had. A little, it was like carved in marble that belonged to one of his sisters, toy? and he presents it to one of the little girls. A little, so, like, so she, it's like a little toy she doll carved in marble. Reaches up to it and snatches it real quick and, and holds it real close. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Grimo, I, I think they're, they don't want to leave. I think they want to stay here. 
Good dog, Shadowcock. You don't uh, understand sisters. So <laughs> Derek <laughs> runs Is in. Is anyone listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Derek runs in holding the bone and he goes, I think it might be a king's bone. <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of notices the situation. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Sit up, you old whore hound. Yeah. Uh, oh. At this point, Skittles runs in and he goes, You have to excuse my uh, midget friend here. Uh, you lovely, lovely lady. Um, <laughs> what can we uh, do for ye? Is he hitting yeah, on Skittles the witch? Yeah, hitting on the witch. Well, it's the only woman he's met who's got like the same sort of look. <laughs> oh, oh Mr. Skittles, yeah. I'm so happy to see you again. And, and, he goes, and he goes, Magpie, is that you? <laughs> you haven't aged a day since high school. <laughs> and it's a joke because there is no high school in this yeah. world. Yeah, oh, nice, good that. joke. Yeah. <laughs> One of those trans-dimensional jokes. Yeah. Uh, he leans in for a quick kiss on the cheek, and, and, but they do like the little French thing, so it's just, mwah, mwah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> but he's also all, a skeleton, so it's just, let's just chop, chop. <laughs> his skeleton head actually withers just a little bit after kissing her. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. think a skin flake comes off of her, and she blushes, obviously. <laughs> so does he. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I promise you all, the children are in no danger. I just need your aid. So Decker, Decker's running analysis on here. Basically, uh, is Decker inside? No. I'm, I'm like. So I'm, how do you know what's happening? I'm hearing it, and I can see it through the doorway, oh kind of. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Whatever. What do you, what do you want, Bruce? <laughs> I want you inside. Why? Ooh. Because, because we need your help. I'm, I'm helping from out here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, sure. antisocial to the end. Yeah, I know. Because I'm rolling Arcana on it. Uh, on it. Yeah, on the lady. Okay. Trying to figure out what the, what, what's her deal? What's her magic situation all about? Uh. That's 23? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, I took these skills thinking they would be useful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know she uh, seems to be ancient. She's probably hundreds of years old. Super, super powerful wizard. Uh, or witch, I guess, since she's female. Um, she's got, you know, it's it's dark magic, evil magic. Uh, and what you roll again? It was 20-something? 20 23. Uh, you actually, you notice a resemblance between her and the good witch, uh, Yaba, that you had met uh, oh, yeah. however many episodes ago now. They they look very, very, very similar. Except this one, uh, you know, the gray hair, nasty, gross skin, uh, bits of flesh and things are, are missing. So uh, one looks twisted while the other one looked good. Um, yeah, you, you do no- you notice the presence of what is extremely powerful magic. Okay. And it's um, evil bad magic or just magic, magic? Evil bad magic. All right. Can I can I go in and s- smell at their cage to see if I recognize the scent from when I smelled the clothes? Yeah, twenty to a twenty. Two. Ooh. Oh boy. Smells like shit. It smells too yeah, bad. Yeah, they smell like burnt. The the just because the whole room and those mm-hmm. nasty flesh creatures you you beat a minute ago, uh, your olfactory is just so filled with nastiness you, okay. you seem to be clogged up or something. So I, I, I just I beg your help here. Uh, we can end this soon. I just I, I've lived so long, such a long, long life, uh, far too long and, and I need your help to end it. Um, time is a curse, you know. My, my body is frail and ruined. Every breath is a labor. every step is is fresh agony. I was a fool and once dealt for an endless life without considering the this fragile human body. And I'm in pain, I'm dying slowly. I just, I seek an end and, and your help to achieve it. Will you please help me, kind people? And then you can take these these young girls home and, and do good and whatever it is that you're here for. A moral dilemma. Yeah. A shivo, if you will. Mm. Um, <laughs> Skittles wants to get up in that sweet old snatch one last time, but he doesn't say anything. Mm. <laughs> oh, what a gentleman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's thinking it, just so everyone knows. He knows how to work Gr- the ladies. Uh, Grimo is going to cast Disguise Self and t- try to change his appearance to resemble the girl's father who we met. That's nightmarish. So 19. That's true. Don't turns into your dad. Nine, yes. 19 and then small version. Uh, <laughs> maybe deception. I don't know. Sure. So uh, your your form starts to appear like the father for a brief couple of seconds, and their eyes start to widen, but immediately the, the magic just seems to dissipate and end. Okay. So no. So there's something in, in the room that's preventing what, my magic what is, from happening. Is that the case? Uh, yeah. I, I have magic barriers in here. I, I don't know what you're trying, you nasty little man. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn up those magic barriers, I'll slit your throat. Oh, 
That's no, what you want, right? My flesh won't submit to your simple weapons or, or, or petty magics. What, are you, what kind of help do you need? Tell us I, how to kill you, you old bag. I'm getting there. Yes, thank you. So you will help me? No. Just oh. tell, what do you need? I have searched these tomes and found a ritual that will break my power and bestow upon me the peace of an end that I scarcely deserve. You need only allow these innocent, unspoiled ones to anoint this blade with their pure blood. She pulls out uh, like a six inch long bone and presses a little button on the side and the blade flicks out cool. of the end. Oh, Run this one. through my heart with their pure blood and you will end my dark story. And she hands the, the bone uh, knife over to Grimo. How old are these girls? I'm going to say <laughs> seven, six, seven, eight, something like that. Okay. Sister's secret. You know, little, we should wait what? seven years. Why? Oh, oh, so that way they're no good anymore? What? No, so illegal. Oh. <laughs> so we, I just need, I need the pure blood on the blade, ram it into my heart, and it will be done Does it just here. need to be anyone's pure blood? Yeah, let it me It must be pure, innocent Virgin. blood. Virgin. There's, I was say, there's, Virgin. Only, there's only per one person I know who would ha have the most pure blood out of all of us, and it's Shattercock. Oh. oh. You bet. <laughs> so I'm, all... I'm not a virgin anymore, obviously. Okay. Is that obvious? Why? I wouldn't assume Why? that. Yeah. Because. Are you beautiful creature? Are, are you unspoiled? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. uh, so can I... Wait, well, what's the opposite? Is, I, ruined? <laughs> I, I just wanted to borrow these girls for a short period to, oh, period. to help end, <laughs> end <laughs> this existence, this pain. So, and, so I, what you need is a virgin's blood. It's, it should be. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. More so than a virgin, we I, I need pure, unspoiled blood. Can I can I roll Arcana on this ritual to see if it's actually if in my presumption it seems like it would do what she says it's going mm -hmm. to do? Okay, I drop my d20, so I get to roll the hoss now. You really had him. Well, never mind. Ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, you've actually somehow forgotten everything you know about this type of magic. He was never fucked a woman. <laughs> so what do, you mean, what do you mean by pure, unspoiled blood? They're they're, they're innocent. They are young and unspoiled. I think we keep him that just, way. We'll I just go think, now. Just I still think blood. we cut Decker. Uh, it, just, it, it just takes a little drop. No. Of that pure, wonderful, little, innocent blood. So, can, can the witch hear everything that I say, Shattercock says? If you're saying it out loud. Well, I was going to like kind of huddle up with the, with the group. Okay, you can go and whisper. Um, so, I, I kind of huddle up, but I'm, again, on the ceiling still. Uh, Does Decker huddle? You should probably yeah, ask her what those things, things were. So, so, I huddle up, and I go, all right, I have an idea. Hmm. I'm, it's that time of month for me. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is drop a little bit of that blood Ugh. on the dagger, we stab the witch, see what happens. Want to try that? I think that's a bad idea. I, I agree, but that's the only idea I have. How about Skittles? we just Skittles is a gas. How, How about we just do his old friend? Take the girls and leave. Agreed. Don't take them, please. She can hear me. us. <laughs> this is magic. What were those things out there? Oh, my monsters. I, I was hoping they could, my they could monsters. help me oh, my monsters. <laughs> with this ritual. And then take the girls home. That's why I created them to protect them on their way home. I don't think this is very sure nuanced. Did. She's an evil witch. She wants us to help her regain Not her life. Not all evil. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I've done evil mm -hmm. stuff. Sure, but sure, sure. I, I've done a few good things. You killed a lot of people. Um, they deserved it. Yeah. See, I don't think we should so, do anything. She's so just, she she has the knife. No, uh, she, she does. handed to. Um, I, I gave it to that nasty little man. So uh, Raxon loses all control. Uh, and Skittles has taken over completely now. Takes a knife from Grimo and performs the ritual. Well, hang on. You can't <laughs> nope, to, you have to, to roll to take it. You have to try. Yeah. yeah I'm, if you're I'm trying, trying to, to move it. the plot forward because he clearly wants us to just do it. Hey, we can do I anything just want we want. To. That's true. It's our you have, you have to roll to take it because Grimo was going to do something okay. with that knife. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll roll against you. You want to fight? PVP rolls. I love it. Do oh, it. Man. Once again, this is Skittles. Is it PVP it. zone? <laughs> Blame it on 14. Oh, oh three. boy. This will give me time to find my D20. Yeah. So you, you give. <laughs> I'll never let you take this boat, so it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no. um. He's trapped under something again. <laughs> um. So he, he got the knife away from you, but. Yeah, he. I was just going to stab it. the witch. I, I was not going to put blood on it and just stab the witch. It's what not going to work. I, I, but I, think, I think she wants us to like bring her her youth. I don't think she she wants to. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust her. I, I don't I see. seek an end to this mortal existence. It seems like two young children here 
tr locked in a cage just so we, you could perform this ritual, which you said they you already created monsters to do, then it doesn't really add up. Why would you need two kids? Why would you only need a drop of their blood? In case one just a drop! Here. Why didn't you already get that drop of blood, That's huh? what I was thinking. I can barely move from where I am in this bed. I use all of my energies I, to research these books. I just found this ritual. Please, why do you not believe me? What's down this set of stairs over here? Oh, I don't. Is that stairs? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, down there? I'm That's excited. where I poop. Oh, Derek. Grandma's Derek, gonna uh, check out the poop. Oh. Derek <laughs> it tries to reach into the cage to try to pull the it's two poop. kids out. Okay. So I'm gonna reach at them and grab at them. Okay, yeah. If, if you're grabbing them, they're they're not gonna fight you. They're just kind of a little okay. Then I'm out. taking each one under, under an arm, yeah. basically. Please, please don't leave with them. Just just end me. No, let's go. I say we go. I agree. No. All right, so we all start walking out. I, mean, I don't gonna, know what's down here. I, I have no control. Skittles has taken over. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, did Skittles perform the ritual or? I mean, or not? I, I'm ready to roll I'm, and I, stab the girls. I have both of the girls, and I'm headed towards the door. Okay. Good luck with your immortality. Stop where you are! Oh. Please! Oh. Here comes. No! <laughs> what? We're leaving! What's in the poo hole? I'm, yeah, I'm Hold checking, I'm hear, checking I what's I down here. No, Shadow Cock and Green Are one. you just asking me or are you commanding? Are you just asking me to stop Please, where I am? Please, I beg I of you. I continue. <laughs> hey, hey, Dan, we're checking hey. what's down here. Okay, it really is. Is there a hole? I mean. There's stairs and then there's a little there's thing a, right there. Okay. I'm like backing it, I, out I, with Dirk. Is it facing really good? Her. It's just shithole. Okay. Okay, so she, she's able to get to the shithole, but she can't get off the bed. I it's think there's old a hole in poop. it. It's old to poop. Hold on. <laughs> it's fresh to me. It's old. So then I, we'll walk the other way. I'm, I'm, we're yeah, all walking out with the girls. I'm going. Up so I'm sure I cover their eyes in. so they don't right, have to see well, the see you later, fleshy witch. bit. Everything we do is to spite Mr. Skittles. See you yeah. later, witch! Yeah. You have to play in our adventure, not the other way around. Yeah. I mean, why would we stab the girls we're trying to rescue and well, help just, the witch? Just a drop! Just a Still <laughs> the door. Still <laughs> going. Hang on a second. I'm trying to oh, wait, 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 wait. That's what I was for. <laughs> magical barrier is another door. Yeah, that, I was going to say, there's got to be a magical barrier. I was surprised. I mean, right now, Skittles is chasing you with the knife going, yeah. ah, <laughs> Wait, wait! <laughs> Dan's like, uh, a giant fighter! Uh, stopped you. <laughs> So yeah, he's he's ready to like stab. He was just gonna take a finger blood, but now he's like ready mm -hmm. to stab the girls in the back. So as, as soon as you try and get over to this area, yeah. uh, giant black tentacles come out of the ground, ah, wrap oh, around gotcha. your legs. Dang yeah. it! Yeah. Um, so close. Take eight damage. Oof, shit. Please stop! I, I don't want to hurt you or the children. But you just hurt us. I, just a little, but I needed to get my intentions across. I we we can fight here, but you could just kill me and be done with it and take the girls home. Sounds they like really are way precious little die. creatures, and I don't wish to harm them. What you said we could fight here, but then you said you also can't move. So which is it? All right, the, the, shut up, little man. <laughs> I just. Why? Why did you guys just? Why won't you kill me? I'm, I'm, I'm offering you an easy, <laughs> easy way to, to finish this. Grimo stabs her with his short sword. Jesus. So um, I'm not gonna make it. I bet. So she that that's move. a nine. Hopefully you can nail her. Just yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna do it. I stab her again bed, with my short not sword. Moving. How many moves do you want? Uh, <laughs> I, I reroll. Oh, lucky one. roll. Lucky roll. Ah. So, 12. Oh, I thought that was a 1 Does again. Does 12 do anything? <laughs> yeah, roll damage. Oh. Wait, no. Because I'm going to keep Wait. stabbing her. Wait, no. You're going to keep... Why, stop Mr. stabbing Skittles me, little man. <laughs> well, I want it, right? Ow! I, I, I could kill you right now with one word. Do it. Oh, Is that true, Deckard? Deckard? Grimo says, anybody that kidnaps you know, little girls don't everything. deserve no no patience from Grimo. When I rolled this thing, I did. But Shadowcock's gonna come back here and be like, yo, don't do that again, because I only have one more healing potion. Grimo got two. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you're, you'll be dead. You can't use it on yourself. I think Mr. Skittles might have been Shattercock. on the Yeah, Skittles is... If I die, mid, I think Skittles tell is Deckard. diving right now, ready to slash the girls like, <laughs> no, I won't tell Decker anything. <laughs> can, can I roll for... Slashing for to hit the girl and take some blood. Yeah. Okay. It, it would have just been a small slice, but now it's gotta be yeah. a, like it's gonna be mm. a, a gash. Ooh. Uh, Twenty. Mm -hmm. Good use of words. Eleven. Uh, now you got a little blood off of one of them. Okay, so he trips and <laughs> 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 for magpie. <laughs> he calls it. Uh, so, so he's got the blood and he's moving back to the, well, the you, old witch. You're gonna have to get it from both of them. Oh. But the witch points at Grimo. Oh. 
and goes, Die, little man, creature, shit. Nice. Nice. Oh, good spell. Fuck you. <laughs> How much health do you have? So I have seven points. You dropped it. Okay, so Remo's dead in his last breath. He says, Fuck you, you old cum receptacle. Nice. <laughs> Good burn. <laughs> You're dead. You're most dead or knocked out? Knocked out. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> the shotgun goes, here we go again! Yeah. Oh, no. And he comes over here and pours the fucking I mean, I, I can do my, I can do my death saves. Okay, sure, you want to? I mean, it, it's oh, yeah. up to... That, that gets you back to if one. You, if you want to, yeah, if you want to give me the health potion, I can, but... Well, uh, sure, yeah, yeah, I'll give you the this, health potion. I, I'm just I'm, sitting there watching, not doing can anything. Can I struggle <laughs> against these <laughs> tentacles? I feel uncomfortable with the Roll 20. Um... 19. All right, you get out of them. So right. struggle real good. So Damn, I, I give the health potion to Primo as well. Okay. Yeah. So I just get oily. Yeah. Oh. Down the boobs again? Down the boobs. Same deal. So I need to pour it down. Derek. Yeah. Uh, you got to beat a 21 on a wisdom hand. saving throw. Pour it. A 21 on a wisdom Ooh, saving throw? On. So you're stuck to the ceiling with one hand, you pour it on your chest, and then it just runs down your well, stomach. Well, that's impossible. I can't. It jumps down through my camel toe. Yeah. Sorry. Well, with dog man. And she does kind of uh, twirls her hands a little bit. And, In bed? And flicks them. Oh, well. Yeah, she's laying down. Okay. Return to me with those girls now. Um, and you're compelled to turn Ooh. around and take them back. Okay. But thou must. Please, OK. We we can do this the hard way, um, which is yeah what you're leading towards. But the man <laughs> man with my my old friend Mr. Skittles, please talk some sense into your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Falls out of his feet. Skittles well, he's really got the blood, right? Yeah, Skittles he's got the blood. He right? has half the blood. He needs to stab the other girl. Decker's eyebrows go up from behind his sunglasses. He says, guys, I'm detecting plot here. I think we actually need to do this. Can I stab the other girl and stab the old woman? Roll 20. Is anyone going to try and stop him? 19. Uh, I, 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 am I completely taken over or just from the you're waist down? You're just like, you're returning with the girls. Okay, so completely. So I can't really do anything. Can I shout that there is no good spell involves stealing the blood of the innocent? Not stealing, just a little bit stealing. 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 Yeah, stealing. Yeah, I like try and hold onto his legs or something to stop him. Because I don't want him to do it. Oh, jeez. I rolled a 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you beat a 19, Miri? Yeah. I'm Remember, everything is writing on this. Nope. No! <laughs> All right, let's say you, you get your little droplet of blood. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Skittles, you find the best people I've ever met. They're just the greatest. They didn't vote me most funny <laughs> You were funny. I remember yeah. that. Thank you. Gonna get up That's what that. I keep telling everyone. Gonna get up in that young witch puss. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. I just like that Adam got bored of Raxan. <laughs> yeah, he's like Skittles now. Yeah. All right. He Let's stabs the old woman. Don't do right. it. You're trying to talk sense into a skeleton. Yeah. Good luck. Look how foolish you see. You look uh, so I didn't roll for that dumb. healing potion. It's kind of oh, got yeah. lost yeah, over. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So four... Plus one, so five, so six, or seven. Back to the old seven. Wait, did you pour the potion down yeah. this, this time it went through the titties, but then also through the camel toe, so it kind of oh dripped. Boy. Wait, aren't you upside down? Yes. Aren't you out of your period? started at the camel so, toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, okay. you get a little extra point or two. Yeah, there. you bet. <laughs> For period blood? For oh, menstruation? God. Blood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tastes a little gamey. Grimo says, Stem Bloody cells. Mary's again. <laughs> 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 Oh. All right, so so as oh. as the the blade goes into the old witch's heart, her body stiffens up, all rigid, and yeah. then and then poof, she falls to ash, and some cool. of the ash is kind of oh. in the air. Good. Ah, she she actually lying. died. Yeah. I didn't think and she was going to die. Her, Thank you, Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Skittles is happy but sad because he didn't get in that sweet yeah. witch puss. Um, is uh, again is, is the spell still on me? Oh, no, no. As, as soon as she she. Okay, so I, can I go over to Skittles and then grab him? Mm -hmm. So I go over well, to Skittles. You, you, if, if he's going to fight you with Skittles, him, yeah. you guys might need to do okay. Skittles is resisting because he has yeah. four I know, I, know, I know what Derek's going to do. Oh. 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 Yes! He goes, no, no! no. So then I grab Skittles and I smash him against a wall. Roll <laughs> 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 another 20 for me. Can Skittles resist the... Five. Oh, boy. So yeah, Skittles' head survives. A few of his are bones are smashed. I do have inspiration. He's not Skittles. He's not Skittles. If you sure, can beat a yeah. ten, he'll just evaporate. Sure, yeah. Okay. Get, get your you can ways. roll that one if you want. Yeah. This one doesn't roll nearly as yeah, well. It just kind of drops. Like, yeah. 
Ten. Ten. Oh. Yeah. Smash the bits. <laughs> oh. And he goes, is this the yeah. end of Skittles? <laughs> That's actually just and you it, talking it's his face there. <laughs> <laughs> I smashed the head that muttered that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh no. Yep, the end of yeah. Skittles. No, no, but I have a feeling that Skittles will find a way back. Well, so I, I kind of lock out of a trance and I go, uh, I'm just sort of like, oh, I feel lighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay. I, Shattercock drops to the floor and uh, starts walking mm-hmm. out. She's walking along. Oh, so we're, we're done? Well, should we I'm, take the girls? Yeah, I'm going, and then I go back yeah, over to the I mean, kids okay. and then start guiding them out. Are they, did they change at all? Did they, no, nope. they're kind of the same. They're, 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 they're still you know, seem frightened and, and just kind of stunned. Maybe they don't, they don't seem bewitched yeah. like they did earlier, but they've been through some horrible experience and they are, are seem traumatized. Grimo, uh, stabbed. he gives the girl some yeah. of his, like his rations, his food and his like water flask. They do the similar thing where they kind of reach out and snatch it real quick and, and hold it close. Grimo thinks that after this arduous fight, Battle adventure. We should maybe take a rest here, but we know safe. <laughs> in, the, in the wood to ship it. Yeah, and yeah. this place is all burnt flesh. And yeah. Yeah. But Ash we've, we've dealt with the dangers that are down here. I mean, we could just walk out. Yeah, and yeah go, we could go to the go outside. Again. Unless we encounter another adversary. Do you want to sleep next to the zombies, the shithole, or the talking head? <laughs> hey, if these little girls are brave enough to get through this, maybe you can too. Ooh, <laughs> that's a green old burn. I that's guess. a green old burn. They probably uh, don't want to stay down here, though. I refuse to stay here because I don't like that cage. Don't like the look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Grimo, <laughs> if you want to sleep down here, more than welcome to. It's like your own apartment. Shadow Cock will stay with you. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I'm going to make my way with the kids to get them out of this yeah, cave. I'm, I'm heading out. The reason I'm going back is because I want to investigate the room. Okay. So should I, uh, should I roll There's to investigate? Poo. No, you're, you're looking around. Shit. Uh, well, yeah, actually Shit do that. Mash. Yeah, roll, roll. Okay. All right. 19. Nice. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you, you find, you find a, a few things amongst the, the shelves and hidden under the bed. Um, I guess you already have that knife. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it was on Skittles, so if anyone wants to pick it up, I guess. I guess uh, it's in the heap. That's fine. Oh, yeah, wow. it's, it's, it is in the heap of bones. The bone knife? Was there anything? Cool it did about not. It? When, when you shattered the Skittles, the knife was not affected at all. Okay. Though it is made up of bone. Uh, so it's a six-inch bone, conceals a blade that pops. Uh, pops what? Exit. That pop, I don't know. Oh, pops out. Sorry, the font's weird. Uh, when you press a small button, triples damage against female creatures. Ooh. Oh, which we have. Yet they call it the wife beater. Uh, uh, extra d4 damage when using a sneak attack. Ooh. So it would be good for a halfling, but um, yeah. So yeah, looking around, you find 38 gold pieces. Oh, wow. Um, 77 silver pieces, two gold bracelets, seven silver rings, and three gold necklaces. Wow. Okay, so the, rich. we'll split up the gold amongst the six. Uh, so what is that, 38 divided? So everyone gets six, and then you get, can keep two. Sure. And then what else did you say? 77 silver pieces. Same thing with that. Just yeah. split that up. We could each get 12 almost. <laughs> so almost. Like 11 each and then f- five more, I think. Oh, uh, five left. Grimo will take the five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He takes the five. So there's also three silver rings. They're worth 10 silver pieces. Uh, two gold bracelets and one gold necklace. Okay. Um, and none of them have any magical ability. No, the, like this is just like jewelry. Um, she probably pillaged from that tomb right there. I'll take all those unless somebody else wants them. I assume Decker does, because Decker always wants gold. Sure, of some sort. cheap shit. So I'll, I'll throw him the silver rings. Okay, I have so uh, there's three silver rings. Each one's worth 10 silvers. Sure. Yeah, yeah, totally. Two gold bracelets, each worth seven gold, and three gold necklaces, each worth 12 gold. Prima lies down the mattress. It smells like vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the one other thing Cat you did uncover is the, um, the ritual book that she was holding. Seems to be a, a magical book of some kind. Yeah. Written in another language, it stands out from the rest. If you, if it's something you want to, I would absolutely love to pick it up. Yeah. All right. What uh, it's in a language I don't know. Yes. Do you not? Have, do you have an example of that language? I or? don't. It's something. It didn't. It doesn't look like that giant language. It doesn't look like any language you've seen before. Okay. So it's something that would need to maybe be decoded by a smarter or more studied person in languages. That is not me. All right. Okay. So what are you guys doing? You're gonna camp out. Or you're I'm gonna... leaving this cave. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to Dirk. Come with me, Cam. It was going to take eight hours. Boop, oh, because I'm not going to stay down we're here. In a, we're in a place and we can do it. I also want to check it. on my bones. We don't know what's going to come up on, a, on it. All we need to do is say we're going to sleep here for eight hours. I don't trust this place. I'm going to get these right. kids out of here. Remo, I'm staying with you, but everybody else is leaving us. Shattercock, we know what the dangers are down here. Okay, we've seen them. I yeah. think it would be good to rest here yeah. and leave with the girls when we are all rested. Yeah. We have all our spells back in case we approach danger. I agree, but you can't separate from the group. Grimo just did, Shattercock. 
You know so what? Grimo's sleeping on ash right now? He's sleeping yeah, yeah. on that old woman's remains, okay. yes. Weird. Um, uh, uh, Grimo, you sure you don't want to come? Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure you don't want to come? Positive. Sure? All right, all right. Here goes Grimo. In front of the poop hole. Oh boy, all right, perfect place to stop. Oh. oh. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll figure out what Grimo does next time. All right. Grimo. Okay. People. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Hey, what the smell? All right, so so as oh. as the the blade goes into the old witch's heart, her body stiffens up all rigid, and then ah. and then she falls to ash, and some cool. of the ash is kind of oh. in the air. Good. Ah, she she actually lying. died. Ah. I didn't think and she was going to die. Hear, Thank you, Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Skittles is happy but sad because he didn't get in that sweet yeah. witch puss. Um, is uh, again? Is, is the spell still on me? Oh, no, no. As, as soon as she she. Okay, so I, she... can I go over to Skittles and then mm-hmm. grab him? Mm-hmm. So I go well, over you, to Skittles. You, if, if he's gonna but fight you with Skittles. us, yeah. you guys might need to oh, do yeah. Skittles is resisting because yeah. I have yeah. four I know, I, know, I know what Derek's gonna do. <laughs> Oh. 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 Yes. He goes, no, no. no. So then I you... grab Skittles and I smash him against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
and you see this uh, from behind you, a uh, little cylinder flies past you and right into the little spider guy. He, he drops to the ground. Spider guy, we barely knew yeah. you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> all take a moment to remember spider guy. <laughs> can we do a montage? Can we, can we, can we remember <laughs> the good times? It's a slow motion <laughs> shot of spider guy running out, <laughs> spider guy putting on the ring, on the spider carousel. guy getting killed, and then that's it. Oh. <laughs> December 2016 to December 2016. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, please, he's kind of, he's dying there, bleeding out. He goes, please spread the word for my people. A demon has seized control of the queens of our realm. Its evil has taken our lands under a brutal regime. I seek to send out the word and, and find, and then you see another one of those little cylinders pop it and it kind of. Where are we coming from? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, a few other spiders kind of run up behind you. Um, <laughs> How big is Spider Guy? Yeah. They're, they're, these are big spiders. You know? But big like, spiders like, could be like a, like a nickel. Dog <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Let's <laughs> uh, say uh, a big dog. Okay, dog. Okay. Dog, okay. Size, okay. dog size. Dog okay. size spider. Um, like its legs are, are huge, but no, spider's body is kind of You could ride it if you really wanted to. Oh. Did I, yeah, you, yeah. You saddle it up. Good. Yes. So yeah, so, some spiders come running out. Uh oh. Grebo's asleep. Yeah. So the spiders actually <laughs> make, make for the the one dead spider and try and grab up all of its stuff. <clears throat> cool. Okay. I don't know what you guys are doing. Um, just staring well, I at have with an impact. So impact. I was say walking with those two girls. Oh. Yeah, you have girls oh, yeah. on your arms, right? Yeah. And so. I have a halfling in mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna basically put my back, push them into this little corridor here, and then put my back in front. And then Where's the take dead my spider? It's right the there. little one on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, we're gonna have to cut it open. It? And they'll have to climb inside. Oh, oh, it's the only way. Climb inside the spider yeah. <laughs> and control it. You live here now. <laughs> so the spiders are just looting the other spider. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, three of the spiders rushed up, kind of past you guys over the ceiling and the walls and stuff, and they're just grabbing up all of its shit. Okay. Um, did they did they shoot the cylinders or no? I mean, I, you could probably assume that. Okay, yeah. so. you, you didn't see it, but. Okay. Well, the little cylinders came, fired, killed the guy, and then the not spiders were immediately not there. Not I mean, yeah. Well, they're kind of blocking the way there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, should we converse with the spiders? Yeah. Does anyone speak spider? I don't think I don't think. Was I it do. like you can walk chickety, on the chickety. ceiling? I can walk on the and I can shoot a web, but I cannot speak spider. I don't. Think. Oh, maybe mm. you can pretend to be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Blend in. But I, the problem is, I have the halfling in my arms, so I can't. Right, right. I can't. I can't really. We'll, do we'll that. paint you in blackface. And then send you out there. What? <laughs> what? I, I what? Black the spiders are red. <laughs> we'll paint them in black. I'll, I'll, I'll shout something out. I'll, yeah. Hey! What? Did you just kill the other large spider? So yeah, the the, the big purple spider. We'll say this one kind of turns around and There's looks at one, you, I guess. and it like keeps digging through stuff, and then runs up the wall while still looking at you. Far, far away from you? Or? Yeah, kind of away from you. Okay, I'll good. So he he's moving up here. He's got all this stuff. Does anybody else want to chime in? <laughs> Oh God! I, um, I, I, maybe anybody? Can I inspect the uh, the dead spider? Sure. Do I find anything? Or you guys got to roll for yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know. I roll eleven. Anything? Sure. <laughs> yeah, anything to that? Uh, investigation is two plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, you noticed that uh, he would be a red spider, and they're purple. Um, okay. You know, he's dead and bleeding on the ground. It's a race war. Um, Good job. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, their, their eyes are all glowing green. Okay. Kind of funky. Um, I chop its head off and use it like a puppet. There and this go. is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is the spider head? He is he is he is now uh, he's now Professor Spider. Uh, is there a timer? I, I, that's, it's like two minutes in. Yeah. This is goes, the one that was dead. Yeah, and he goes he goes hello there. I'm Professor Spider. Oh, not again. How are you there? <sighs> and no one says anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Thank uh, God Grim is asleep. Baker's gonna walk up and be like, man. We don't need this. We don't need Spider Kingdom bullshit. We just finished a quest. Let's go turn that in. Let, let, let this crap happen. I, I agree with the smart dark one. <laughs> Let's follow him. Uh, I take out an axe and I cut the spider head out of, of <laughs> Roxanne's uh, hand. You gotta roll for that. Yeah. yeah so I'll roll against you. Well, I don't think that's how it works. Strength Damn it! Oh, spider head dead. Oh, spider head's cut. Professor uh, Spider is gone. <laughs> uh, why can't I have characters? Your tenure is over. Uh, <laughs> that's a professor. That's a good school joke. joke. Well, I still have some of its eyeballs on my fingertips, so we'll go. see what happens. Used to that, right? Did he have parting words, Professor Spider? Uh, it's a tally hair. <laughs> <laughs> So can we make it past those other spiders? Well, yeah, so or? the spiders kind of look at all this and then just skitter away. Oh, okay. okay. Gr oh. Grabbing all the stuff from that one. There's a one behind us. He's still kind of standing there looking at you. <laughs> okay. Right. So the big oh, one's that's... been fully looted? Yeah, yeah. 
Spider. Awesome. I mean, if you want like legs or like parts of its body, Ooh. you can see uh, that. I'm sure what Raxan does. Nope, but. there's nothing left. Let me see what I can. It's all gone. So eight legs still and just a thorax. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Get a good marionette going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start meeting these girls. Leaving the girls out. Yeah, I'll follow, I'll follow Derek. Like this. I'll follow Derek with three mouths. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is me walking. See? Did anybody notice that was really weird? Let's kick this dead thing Why in the fire. Why those other spiders call <laughs> that spider? I don't understand. It's just, uh, this it's happens weird, a lot. I've heard yeah. about it. It's in, really weird. There's uh, spider civil wars. It happens more, to you, more than you think. Keep me looking at that guy. Uh, I want to face him. Oh, it's walk away snoring. I don't know. Or whatever. Yeah. And uh, as he exhales, uh, Shatterhawk Labia just. Oh, no. <laughs> She's not that loose. I guess she is, actually. Oh, well. oh yeah. Everything's Balloons are up. tight until you get the first breath of air in them. <laughs> and then they just expand. Oh, gross. Um, I'm going to make my way for the stairs. All if right. anyone has any I'm objections. following Derek. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following Derek. Do we all go? We're all leaving? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, yeah. This is how. This is, there we go. I'm so out. you guys make it up. Boom. Oh, oh I dropped him. Uh, Rolling down the stairs. <laughs> bunk, bunk, uh, bunk. Does that wake up head, head, head. head? So uh, as soon as you guys clear the stairs, the that weird goo, oh, yeah. um, oh, the goo, goo yeah. kind of solidifies ah. as soon as the last one of you makes it past. Cool, man. Fuck that. Um, well, the spiders fuck with their own shit. I don't we could we could hear the uh, the echo, of Professor Spider, as the. Goo solidifies, or at least I do. <laughs> Only <laughs> accent. Echoing. He's like, I'll see you soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> accent taste. <laughs> well, it's further down. Oh. He's a very wise yeah. spider. <laughs> very well traveled. Spider of the world. You know how accents fly. change depending yeah. on what altitude you're at? <laughs> yes. Echo. Miri, yeah. watch these girls. All right, I have to take care of something. I got you. And then I run over to my bone, my bone pit. Oh, and yeah. I just, I'm checking everything to make sure everything's still as I left it. That's right. You do so, it on no, the actually, a few of them have moved. A few of them have moved. Yeah, like but far? nothing. Nothing seems to be gone. Okay, so they, then I, I take like the ones. That, I immediately have. notice the ones that have moved, and I'm moving them back <laughs> to where they were before. So where were we supposed to go after we got these girls? We take them back, right? We take them back, yeah, right? So, some village they disappeared from. Well, do yeah. you guys want to rest? Oh yeah, we should probably rest. I mean, there are, That's fine. there's a spider civil war going on. <laughs> Down below us. <laughs> Part of the spider cinematic universe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like it's featuring spiders. green spider, yeah. red spider. Yeah. Like stomp on it a bit. Yeah, I guess that's solid. I, fuck it, let's sleep. Uh, Shattercock. Just fall right over. <laughs> Shattercock goes to, like, prepares a bed, puts Grimo down very gently, hmm. prepares a bed, and then yeah. immediately puts Grimo back in her arms as she Aww. falls asleep. Aww, so she nice. lays down and Grimo's head is in my crotch. There you go. Uh, yeah, Grimo then, can't sleep unless uh, his head's in someone's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the vagina, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Shattercock's just queefing. It sounds like Grimo's oh. snoring. Oh, yeah, that's just my normal. It's a natural it queef. It's a, yeah, it's a natural oh. queef. She sleep queefs. She's getting treated for it, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a problem. She needs a surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Call it's, called, it's called sleep flapnea. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, make, make a cyber weave on the branches over here. Cyber <laughs> weave? You fall asleep on like a you can make digital a hammock. hammock. Out of, is that like a, it's like a dream catcher? Well, you can yes. make a hammock out of living. you say cyber weave on a digital hammock? Yes. <laughs> Yes, Decker is cool. It's some sticks. <laughs> I hope you have ASCII dreams. I'm gonna do that next time. Okay. Am I sleeping next to a skeleton? Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, that's good. Is, I mean, that's kind of where you drop down. Okay. I like that your hand is constantly in the state of <laughs> waiting for, oh, waiting uh, for skittles uh, and covered in blood. Um, ben, do I have to let you know if I'm changing the spells I have prepared? Or can I just do this? Is everyone going to sleep? Right. Yeah. Guys, yeah. Well, I wanted to do one thing before oh, I go. Do you right. say your weird thing that you have to say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You did. Right. It hasn't been a day yet, has it? Maybe yeah, it not. Has. I think it's has been, it? the day's been going on the last, I think it's been two or three days. I don't days. think he did one the last day, though, this day. Two or three days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gosh, spiders are creepy. I'm kind of glad, but also sad we don't have another Raxan companion. Uh, oh. oh I don't know. Out. <laughs> They're annoying, but I like them. And now you're, that wasn't very good. Now I'll, you're I'll prepared think of a better one. Spider was gonna get a spin-off, and you. But no. <laughs> Before I go to sleep, I want to use as an action. I want to, because I'm curious. I want to use the locate object spell, which Ooh. is an action, because I'm curious about that little ring that that guy had on, and that they took. So I can sense where it went, as long as it's within a thousand feet of me. Okay. Uh, you actually don't sense it, which I suppose you would take to mean that they're more than they're a thousand feet away. Wait, which which ring are we fast. talking about? The, the, the guy that warned us. Oh, the friend. spider ring. Okay. He was yeah. trying to talk to you a little bit. A red spider boy. <laughs> so I kind of the infinity spider ring, <laughs> yeah. as it's known in the SCU. The arachnid. <laughs> that's, that's the power <laughs> ring. So I kind of roll in place in the yeah. film. <laughs> I don't know how they got him, but they did. So yeah. I kind of like, hmm, but I can't sense anything. And then I put my bed kit down next to the 
girls and go to sleep. No, hey, dwar Miri. no dwarven prayer before sleep? No, I'm too tired. Hey, Miri. Yeah. Don't you think it's a little selfish that you're using the bed kit and you're making the kids sleep on the ground? It's nah, childlike. they're already unconscious. They don't know. <laughs> they can All have right. it. They can have it tomorrow. Well, so right. Bad defense is not working. Court. You don't have a bed kit, Derek? No, I got these bones. <laughs> well, and I'm sitting on the bones, sharpening, yeah. sharpening I my uh, Derek work is the bed kit. Well, good night. Yeah. <laughs> your everybody... crotch looks furry. They could use that as a pillow. Mm. That's disgusting. What? That sounds like uh, Professor Plum or whatever talking through, <laughs> talking through you. He was a spider. How hard is that to remember? And a pedophile. <laughs> Spiders can't be pedophiles. So I guess we're all asleep then? Yeah. Well, I guess before you, before you fall asleep, a little rat comes up and uh -huh. grabs one of the the skeleton bones yeah. and starts to make off with it. Well, hey, does it, can it grab it? And then can I just grab it? And then now the, the rat is holding onto it with its mouth and then I shake it away. Sure. Real cool like. Real cool like. Oh, really cool. You're going to leave it alive? Uh, yeah, I just toss, I toss, I toss it and so it flies off the bone and then I put okay. the bone right back where it's supposed to be. I don't wanna... So the rat runs over and kind of watches you mm -hmm. try and fall asleep. That might well, I stare at, I stare at it and then, but then I fall, end up falling asleep, sitting upright, <laughs> staring in the direction of the rat with my uh, sharpening stone on the, on the orc river. Yeah, everybody okay. sleeping. All yeah. right. Yeah, get my health back, baby. Get your life spells, and your spells recharged. and whatnot. Arcane recovery kicking sleeping in. Sleeping in queef. You guys are all rested up. Any, anyone wake up in the middle of the night or anything? Mm. I'm, I'm assuming Grima's up first because he, he wakes he up. He's the first. best sleep of his life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's rejuvenated. <laughs> mm -hmm. How does Grima wake up? Remember, Shattercock's still asleep, but Grima's on top of Shattercock. Oh, he's on top? Inverse. Yeah. Oh, like okay. this. Can you actually There's... roll a 20 for me, yeah. Elise? Critical That's strike. That's a 1, but I re-roll on 1. So, 15. So, I, I was going to say, if you rolled under a 10, you had a mass boner. Oh. But since I mean, you rolled 15, you were controlling like it pretty well. Regardless. Maybe you had a nightmare that you had a massive boner, oh. but you woke up and it was gone. <laughs> Grima <laughs> wakes up. Half chub. <laughs> he wakes up in, in, in a vinyasa. He oh, praises okay. the day. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. Um, does Grimo look over at Derek, who's now like curled up on the ground, like running in place? Grimo, he oh. actually, he's gonna get up. He's gonna walk over to Derek. Derek. Who? He will move him. Derek. 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 And he's kind of, but Derek's kind of like. <laughs> he runs into this. <laughs> dog brain. Dog brain. Wake up. Wake up, dog brain. Wait, wait, what's going on? Where, where, where'd the squirrel go? Hey, listen. We gotta have a talk here. You've been taking care of these these girls. I don't care. It's out of, they're sleeping on the ground or something. I don't care about those girls. I'm just trying to get that prize. Dog brain, let me level with you here, okay? And please keep this between you and I. Yeah, I'll tell everybody. No, I'm serious, okay. dog brain. Right. I'm it's serious. I'm, right. I'm level okay. with you here. All right. I got two sisters at home. <laughs> nobody you? knows. Nobody knows that about me. I got two sisters at home. Okay. okay. And seeing these little girls scared and and in harm's way. Don't make Grimo feel very good, okay? okay? So you gotta take care of these, dog brain. And if you don't take care of these girls, you're gonna hear from Grimo, all right? I, but I have a feeling that maybe you feel a certain way about these girls, too. Listen, I don't care about the girls. I'm just trying to get whatever reward we're gonna get for getting them back home. Yeah, maybe they'll throw a few buns of kibble your way. We'll see. Can you get back to sleep now, please? No, dog brain, we gotta wake up. We've been here for eight hours. We gotta, so that's a long rest. We You've been sleeping for eight hours. I've only been sleeping for seven and a half. All right. Well, How do we have a concept of time? We gotta get a move on. We gotta get a move on. We can't stay here all day. So let's get up and go. Uh, I wake up. <laughs> all right. What are you guys arguing about? What's going on over there? Jeez. I kind of get up and I wander over to this tree and I pee on it with one one foot slightly off the all ground. Right. All right. So are we, we're heading back to the. The city that we were going to go to. I forget what was it. What was the name, what was the name of the city? Jayen. Jayen, yeah. Is that where we're going? All right. We're heading back to Jayen so. to return these young chillins. <laughs> chillins. Will you? Uh, uh, can we talk to the girls? We'll ask them what happened we, along the along, along the, way, the way. While we're marching, you can do whatever. You what do. what happened? What happened to you? You two? Is How it, did you end up in this witch's cavern? Uh, they're actually kind of non-responsive. Good okay. conversation. Well, should we just walk My back favorite to, kind to of people. Jayan then? Well-developed character. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the march from Yule's Crown to Jayan? A couple days, actually. Oh, so it's, okay. it's actually two days of pretty hard travel. You're crossing a huge mountain ridge and uh, down to the river. Would it be oh. easier to go down to the river to Titan's Tooth and then come up? Probably another All right. day Whatever shorter. two days. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll go wherever. So we're, we're going to go up through the mountains yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. So, right, yeah, so, you, so you have a, a tough day of travel, you know, up and down, up over a ridge line. Uh, at night, on the, the first night, you hear a bunch of kind of animal noises. Sounds mm -hmm. wild. 
His name's uh, Derek. The, the wind is whipping around. Uh-huh. Um, but nothing really eventful happens. Um, you do, you reach the river the next day. Oh. Oh, um, nice. To the Moondog camp, basically. Is yeah, it, if that's where you guys are kind of retracing your steps. Yeah, might as well. We know there's camp already made. Yeah, we're kind of going back towards that way. All right, so yeah, you, you reach the river, um, and it's time to get across. You don't see uh, the the boatsman. the boatsman that was there previously. Mm. How deep is the river? Um, it You would be in over your head mm. at the middle, who, but say the tallest person it? in the group. Yeah. <laughs> but Green was short, so. Uh, say it's about six feet deep, okay. seven feet deep at its deepest. Okay. Well, is it throwable? No. Uh, um, how long does like it take you to swim across it? Five minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Somebody go- <laughs> Are there any trees nearby? Yeah. Roxanne. <clears throat> you, it's time for Grimo to call in a favor for I'm all still the- mourning over the loss of Professor Spider. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's sullen the whole time. Roxanne, yeah. look, I know your best friend, Professor Spider, was taken <laughs> too early for this world, and I agree for you, and I feel for you, and I'm sorry. I, I shed a single tear and pour one out for my homie. <laughs> I notice you are shedding a single tear and Grimo stares at you. Uh, oh, God. And he, Ooh. he too, sh- he makes oh himself, gosh, your he eyes. makes what himself shed. What's wrong with your eyes? You know, like in karate when they teach kids to like shake their whole bodies? No. Oh, no. Grimo shed <laughs> a single tear to replicate your sadness oh, okay. to show you he, that's what they do in the gyre. He's okay. empathizing. They Solidarity. empathize with someone. Uh, I don't and say then anything, he, but I don't. Appreciate being mocked. And he also <laughs> he also pours out some lamp oil to demonstrate a pouring out. Okay. Yeah, he's, now it seems like you're making fun of me. <laughs> he says, now that I have empathized with you by Jaya tradition, I ask that you repay me this favor and carry me on your back as you swim across this river. I'm not swimming. I was going to chop a tree down and try to make a bridge. But you could swim that river in five minutes. No problem. How wide is this river? Wider than a tree? Probably, Because yeah. we took a boat. Yeah, he took a boat. Yeah, so five minutes swim five is minutes. a pretty wide river. I'd, I'd yeah. say the, it's it's also moving a little fast. So yeah, it's, so it's we're not like swimming across a pool. We're gonna do this. You, you will be carried ah. down the river. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Will we get if we try to swim? Will we get carried down? No. I mean, maybe a uh, uh, hundred yards or so, just from the current. Oh, okay, it's, right. it's not that dangerous. You you can swim across the river. Okay. All right. We we all have super cool magic powers. We could probably try mm. to chop a tree all down right. in like no time. Hey, Grimo, hop on. <laughs> I feel like Are you serious, Shadow Cook? Yeah, get on my back. You want me to mount you? No, get on my back. Should oh. Shattercock lie on her back and then use her buoyancy to float across? <laughs> okay, that's what yes, we're, we're going to do that. Okay, so. Yes, you should. <laughs> so, so, okay. I, I say, get on. And then I, I basically just belly flop my backwards <laughs> yeah. on my back. Well, so you, then, like, I'm, I'm like this, and my boobs hold me up. So I, my, my mouth is, the, the water's right here along my mouth, and my boobs are like this. Yeah. So Because okay. they're basically like flotation devices. Can you like, make well, a Transformers like, noise when you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Shattergock goes in, disappears under the water, and then pops back up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it reaches like a whale. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, like, Grimo, come on. Let's okay, go. Grimo takes some of his sweet. lamp oil, and he like rubs it on his thighs so he doesn't chafe. It's good. Oh, nice. And, uh, and okay. then he like gets on Shattergock. Can we all ride Shattergock like a raft? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can. How many? How many can I hold? Yeah. You can definitely get Grimo. You're super yeah. buoyant. Maybe, you know, the dwarf for sure. Maybe Mary? That sounds like a, that Mary, sounds like wanna, a constitution check to me. Oh. <laughs> maybe you want to hop in my face? Yeah, kind of, but I, maybe I should help Derek with these girls. So oh, yeah. Right, right, girls. Right, never mind, never mind. I'll take the girls. Well, I'll uh, take the girls. You're going to take the girls? Yeah. I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> Unless you want them. Do you want them? I mean, no, whatever. Take them. I don't care. It sounds like Derek wants them. Uh, Shadowcock, mm-hmm. I hate to be too forward. But I have to say that maybe your buoys would be uh, uh, more uh, flotatious were you to release them from the harbor, so to speak. Do you want me to take my top off, Grimo? I, I mean, I'm just saying that maybe. How dare you! I'm keeping my top. My top is on. <laughs> I'm staying on. I, I, I respect that, Shadowcock. Jeez. I respect that. And huh. then, so we do. We we get in the river, and then we start to float. Like floating well, across. We so get, before you do that, uh, oh, oh. Uh, Decker's going to go up to uh, oh, Grimo. Grimo. Tech. All right. Wait, hold, so hold on. So Grimo's, uh, Shattercock's on the water. Grimo's yeah. Grimo's literally on sitting on top yeah. of Shattercock while you're talking. <laughs> he's, got a, yeah, he's got a little captain's hat on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he like had it in his hat. <laughs> so I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But since you're going to stay dry, I need you to do something for me. I'll rustle around in my bag and pull up my laptop. Be like, keep this dry. If I lose this, I lose everything. A single tear sheds. <laughs> eyes are shaking. Now I feel really mocked. Decker, it would be my honor. Take this. 
So since he's wearing cool sunglasses, you don't see, but he's grimacing in extreme pain oh, oh. to hand this over. <laughs> because he's got glasses on? Yeah. See his grimace. Oh, he's always grimacing. Though. Okay. <laughs> so he's always doing that because he hates everything. But he's especially pained, even though it's really hard to tell. Just letting you know. Grimo smiles back at what he interprets interprets to be Decker's smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Grimo's really bad at empathizing. Is he kind of holding on to it as he's yeah, handing it to him? Yeah, like these fingernails are digging in and leaving little claw marks as it's being pulled out of his Grimo, hand. Grimo, he takes it, he bows lowly mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. Decker, and then he takes the laptop and he like puts it between Shattercock's breasts. Oh, that's like nice. a Like yep. a file. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> While this is all going on, can uh, myself, Mary, and Derek have been building a raft this entire time? <laughs> yeah, you just, just say that's, what, you're, just say that's what you were let's doing. Roll, just roll with it. It's just a pile yeah. of trash. Well, let's, just just roll with me. Can we, can we Dump roll? it into the raft. All, <laughs> all three of us roll, and it depends how good the raft is. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. 15. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. a good this roll. Boat. This is better than the one from past. Lost. Yeah, that's a good roll. Okay, okay, so, so we just go, boat's done. They're already in the water, and we find a boat behind. Hey, there's a boat behind this bush. So we're floating, and I say, may I say, Shadowcock, you are a veritable human life preserver. That is very true. And I'm really wet. Oh, boy. <laughs> Grimo, uh, he thinks to himself, like, nice one, Grimo. Like, like way to flirt. Are you flirting with me? That's what he thinks he's doing, by calling you a human life preserver. <laughs> um, I carve on the side, SS Professor Spider, R.I.P. <laughs> on the Shattercock? No. <laughs> on the, on the boat, boat. Yeah. Oh, okay. now, You guys are floating to your death. You're, you're done. Um, how is Derek doing with water? Well, like, I was say, how big is the boat? It can fit three people. Does he like water? <laughs> yeah. Fit three people? And two small girls. Oh, okay. A lot, okay. A lot of dogs don't like water. Well, I was going to say that it, it, if Derek had to swim, he could. But it would be like this. No dog paddling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, wait. How about this? There's only enough room for two of us, two girls, and we can tie you to a rope, and you have to doggy paddle. I have to drag you it across. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are no oh, oors. Oh, that's so nice. You have to. Oh. Conv- you have to convince me that it's a feat of strength. Okay. Hey, Derek. It's a feat of strength. 14. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So fine. I reluctantly agree to put a <laughs> rope around my waist, and then I'm. I'm. Paddling like this, <laughs> so you're pa- you're taking the boat across with Decker Pulling and the girls the boat. and, and Raxan. Uh, mm-hmm. No, not Decker. Uh, oh, Decker's okay. So right. I, I've got the two girls, I've Mary. Because I've got Mary riding on my face. We can, we can send wanted, the boat did, back. Are you in on the face? No, I was building the raft, and I thought I was oh, on the raft. I think he was just talking. He was, on your face. he was just saying he would love to uh, sit on your yeah, face, but he's not. I thought you traded spots with the girls. He's covered. I was gonna carry one as we or help Derek carry. He's covered in in plate mail and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Decker. Uh, just stand there frowning at the river. Just for the record, I would like to point out I had a teleportation stick this whole time, but, and I chose not to use it. I chose not to use it because I, I really just wanted to ride Shatter across the river. That's good. Uh, he'll just grunt and then start wading into the river. <laughs> and then, like, his jacket will get caught up and he'll start, and he'll like, fall back on shore. And we'll just stare at the river again. All right. I think we all forge it, yeah? Yeah. You, Do we you survive? Get you get across pretty easily. We get, right. we get to the river. other side. Uh-huh. And, uh... <laughs> well, actually, everybody but Decker's across. I don't yeah. know how oh, he made it sorry. across. He's, I mean, he just Because he walk. attempted and then... Yeah, back. I mean, he'll we get can, into it. We can do the thing where we all lock arms, right? Oh, yeah. And, okay. And grab, grab Decker. I'm saying we could. We don't have to. Odds <laughs> are he'd, like, get tied up and then, like, <laughs> end up down here somewhere. Yeah, he's, like, like, a quarter of a mile down there. Wet leather jacket. Wash down. Coughing. Hold on. His jacket's all wet. Just coughing. <laughs> so is it nighttime now, or is it day, like still daytime? Uh, no, I, we'll say you crossed it uh, early morning. Oh, okay, great. So then, um, how long does it take to get the giant? Uh, the rest of the day, stupid. actually. Oh, the rest of the day. Decker, you displayed some true athletic prowess there. I, I mean, you must work out all the time. He well. didn't even drag a boat. <laughs> and you rolled my face! Uh, Grimo gives uh, Derek a treat. <laughs> 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 But Decker, I was so impressed with what you just did there. Uh, Shadowcock, give him the laptop. I'll give him the laptop. Turn away, grunt. <laughs> then I give you the laptop. Dry turn as away a, bone. a little bit. <laughs> He'll turn turn away a little bit and then hold it up to his face. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> kind of like, kind of feeling it again. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah, it's nice. Is he smelling it? Mm-hmm. You might smell it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. It's that sort of like creepy smell that's totally obvious, but you think you can get away with when you're like 14 and slow dancing. <laughs> Karina sees Decker smelling the laptop. And he, though he he respects Decker so much, he doesn't like what he's seeing. Oh, that Decker wow, is wow. sniffing what was betwixt Shattercock's bosom. God King bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting now. Yeah, he's sitting. 
There you go. He's having a good time over here. <laughs> well, we're heading towards Jaya. Yeah, now we're, I so guess now we're, he's keep. Yeah. yeah, so you spend the rest of the day hiking. Um, you remember most of this path since you did it a couple days ago. Uh, as you crest a mountaintop, uh, the sun is setting, and you see a familiar valley view. The river dividing the valley that feeds into the Rathwella. Uh, the hills are terrace fields of rice and tea, and on the north bank, down across the valley, from uh, where you're looking, you see a grouping of buildings that you remember to be Jayen. Mm, great. So you follow uh, some of the terrace lines of T until you reach a trail and start moving down. Hey, that looks good. We should all get drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was Mary, the thing he shouts. That's yeah. the greatest thing you ever said as our leader. Uh, I'm escorting the girls down the street. We found the girls! Who are we dealing with? Does anyone remember? <laughs> so, okay, so we're as, as you're going through, uh, you're, you're going down the hills, uh, getting out of their agriculture area or whatever. You see, you hear a, hey, wow, whoa, oh my god. And a little kid runs across one of the lines and falls right in front of you. Uh, you're, you're back, you're back, mama, they're back. And she uh, kind of gets her little tea bindle and puts it back on her head and sprints down the, the stairs, the path, uh, down to the village. Um, so yeah, you descend into the valley. Damn. There we go. Oh. Oh, sweet. Oh. Right, cool. So we go to the, the parents' Where, where do we come in from here? Uh, well, yeah, we'll say you come down from, okay. from there. So which one is, is the home of the little girls? Uh, the Nim home? They're up here. This is the Paca home. Oh, okay. So do you guys just want to go directly um, to... Got a lot of town to get through. Uh, uh, let's build a raft. Oh, sorry. We can, we can walk th through. At a certain point, I go, uh, I go to Miri, hey, deliver these girls, give me half of whatever, or give me, figure, make sure I get my cut of whatever we get. So, Kids? You got it. Have a great life. Wish you all the best. And then I head <laughs> immediately to the blank <laughs> I, I head immediately to the bar. The brewery. Well, which the where's, bar? Where's, 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 where's the brewery and a bar? Where's the place we wrecked up last time in the that fight? Would, that would be the bar. All where, right. Where so then at. I immediately head there and okay. go in and order repairing <laughs> the window and order five <laughs> five drinks. Wow. Okay. So um, as you you walk past uh, Somchit, who is the village elder of Jayen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who he tries to like greet you, but you Got walk you walk right past. <laughs> he goes, "The gods smile upon us this Mono Ipe. Our harvest is sure to be bountiful. You've returned to us." He reaches out his arms for a hug to to Derek as he walks past him, him, and then kind of turns <laughs> turns over to whoever's next behind him, which I guess is Miri. Miri, yeah. My, my gods, you, you found the Paca girls? It's truly a mono miracle. <laughs> oh, beautiful children. He, he runs up to the kids and grabs one. S tears start to flow from his, his eyes. It, it's impossible. <laughs> you, you are all truly the most wonderful creatures of God's green jeeb. He reaches uh, to Will kiss. Will you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill this guy. I know. He picks up one of the kids and, and uh, re leans over to Decker and kind of Plops a little kiss on his on his oh, cheek and, and wow. hugs him real tight. Koli Lili, it's a true miracle. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys react to some cheese. Bartender, five <laughs> drinks. I was like, I like Where did you're Derek getting go? served. I want well, a yeah. drink. I want a drink, dude. Uh, I guess I'll talk to the you guy. You gotta pay for yours. Um, what? Sorry, I got this card. Let's gives me free drinks. Did you get five drinks for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I try to talk to the village idiot or whatever in his, <laughs> his language. Um, <laughs> Jibo by uh, <laughs> little girls are back. Uh, is there a ruru -roo reward for us? Bye bye so, people. So kind of out of nowhere, uh, Saite runs yeah. runs up and oh, shoves, 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 shoves some shit out of the way with his nub and puts his arm around Rax and he goes, "My friends, my best friends, you're back, you're back, I'm my doing best this. friends." I'm not touching. <laughs> I'm not touching. Time he's just, out, time he's out. just hugging. Does he still have a stick arm? Uh, no, it's back to his nub. Oh, and you know, time out, time out. Saite, we ain't got time for your gibberish right now. We gotta take these girls to their parents. Grimo shoves his ass, He goes, friends, friends, on, I told girls. your tale far and wide in Jai Yen. Oh, the bravest, funniest, craziest group of yeah. badasses. <laughs> and I guess you guys are, are walking oh, past Oh, way past yeah. Saite. Yeah. 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 How did it go with the uh, the Saite's or... talking to you guys, and I'm actually following him. <laughs> He's limping a lot. Trying to like talk to him, but he won't listen. Saite, <laughs> these girls need to get to their family. We don't care about your gibberish and your nub. <laughs> <laughs> What happened with the other the other orc that you guys were looking for? I'm sure you like killed him good. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we're drinking in the yeah. bar. <laughs> I, uh, I throw some money on the ground. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he falls to his knees, digging it up. <laughs> oh, hey, how much money? Yeah, how much money? Did you yeah. Throw? yeah, you had a note on your sheet. Uh, I threw two silver. 
I like, oh, wow. I like they're scrambling eventful. for it and they don't even use that currency. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm, just, I'm just like, okay, homeless. <laughs> no, no homeless. <laughs> that guy's just excited somebody will like compliment him. So he's trying to engage with Saite. So Saite will compliment him a lot. Oh, man, you guys are going to talk for hours. Yeah. So are you guys taking the girls? <laughs> yeah, Miri, well, he's, well, Decker's dealing with that. You want to take these girls back to their parents? Yeah, I guess we should. I'm really tempted to just go into the bar and kind of put them <laughs> on the table, but the I reluctantly back. go up to their home. You got to sprint to the finish line. That's yeah, the are, you with, are you with us? Yeah, I'm trying to get away from Saite. <laughs> I, 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 feel, I feel really guilty as they're walking down the street. The kind of bar doors swing a little bit, and Miri can see in to uh, to Derek and Shattercock clinking Clink. glass. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking is great. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, so great. I just let out a deep sigh and keep going. Miri, Alice, do not. Fear, my friend, for soon you will be drinking the praise of having done something noble, as you are a very noble man, and I know that about you. Thanks. Uh, so are you. <gasps> for the gyre. <gasps> <laughs> Still walking. He remembered. Grimo has a new best friend, oh, no. and his name is Miriadis. Sorry, Decker. That's all right. I have a new best friend, too. Yeah, I'm you pushing are 2,000 and <laughs> late. All right, we're at the house. So yeah, I guess as, as you're coming up, the parents kind of stream out of the house and come up running. Uh, you know, tears in their eyes. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, beautiful, wonderful creatures. You've 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 done uh, us uh, the a most solid. amazing favor. Uh, thank you for saving our children. Uh, and and the girls actually start to kind of open up finally and start sobbing and crying. Uh, their tears are a little blue. Oh. Um, Mercury, yeah. Mercury, yeah. Mercury demons. <laughs> so actually, the, also people from the village have started kind of streaming in. Uh, the heroes have returned to the village, and this group here is actually starting to be consumed uh, by people trying to like touch them and talk to them oh, and be man. around them. Grimo is lifted on the shoulders yeah. <laughs> of Miriadis, his new best friend. Uh, I'm gonna roll the hide. Sure that doesn't Raxan. happen. Yeah, he's a hide. It doesn't person. happen. <laughs> yeah. Raxan pushes you guys over. Yeah. Uh, um, but then two other villagers pick you both up on their shoulders and, and parade you around. It's like a Jewish wedding. Decker will like look around Saite's shoulder and see that people are getting lifted and he'll just. Like, <laughs> 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 he wants, he wants the acclaim. Um, I shout to the people and say, "Thank you, thank you for your praise." But we couldn't have done it with our friend Saite, who's a pedophile. <laughs> 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 Boo! They all start booing <laughs> Saite. Yeah, Saite runs. Run like, I, I heard my name. Uh, <laughs> Grimo says, "Is there a doctor? We have a spider that needs help." And he and he what? like gestures to Roxanne with the Professor Spider had a PhD. He was also a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he could have fixed it. <laughs> he could have saved his own death. <laughs> I didn't really say the pedophile thing. Not a medical oh. doctor. <laughs> I don't, I don't. In your head, you do. These are all things that Raxan is saying out yeah. loud. I didn't really say the pedophile thing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But yeah, is there a doctor that can help the so spider? Been hung. The spider is gone. Spider's I know, that's gone. a joke. <laughs> you get it? Yes, there, there's a doctor. Uh, oh, thank God. They need to humor them because they're the heroes, so now they have to try to... Oh, I see. Once again, I feel like you're just mocking me, and it hurts. <laughs> So, squeeze, it, squeeze out another tear just to let him know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> Bartender, two more. <laughs> Clink. I oh, love oh, drinking. This is great. <laughs> so, what's happening? So, uh, <laughs> that's let, what I let me you guys roll with it. Is that what Raxon says out loud? We, we got a 14. Roll, what do you roll like? We're moving. He said, roll with it. Everybody's getting carried. Yeah, all the um, that Decker's is like kind of always on the outside, like waiting for people to swarm him and pick yeah. him up, but nobody's doing yeah, it. There, there's like chance of Mary at us, oh, yeah. Mary oh, wow. at us. Um, I, I get down and I, I ask the parents real quick, why are your daughters crying tears of blue? I've never seen this before. They just must be so happy. It's a, it's a oh, miracle that's, that's of some sort. Okay, well, there was a witch village. involved, so you might want to kill them. All right, let's go. Three. <laughs> Primo's yeah. going to go down to the smithy. Oh, well, that was clear. He, he's, he, he bows to the parents and he says, no reward necessary. I'm just glad. Can you say it in Japanese? Nani ya? Shinkamani? Ipa? Nakami. And he goes down to the smithy. Okay, so uh, back over here, uh, the village elder, Sumchi, uh kind of tries to calm the crowd because they're just all over you guys. He goes, everyone, everyone, calm for a moment, please. Tonight is the eve of Mono Ipe. Alone enough time for us to celebrate the gifts of the earth. On this special day, our champions have returned to us and brought us the most precious gift. We have an extra reason for joy this season, Jai Yen. Keely and Loli have been rescued from the clutches of evil. 
This world is good and wonderful, people. Let us continue our celebration tenfold this year. Make our champions here feel our gratitude. We shall treat them like princes. So, you know, the people are fawning after you. Someone pulls out a big jug of drink and Ooh. is pouring drinks around. Nice. Yeah. Drinking on the streets. Free yeah. drinks. That's a nice celebration. <laughs> Icon Miracle? What's the name of the... It's Mono, Mono Ipe. Mono Ipe, of course. Hey. The E. Hey, Shattercock. Yeah. I got these muffins. I've been carrying around these muffins I for always like see them. a well, week. I wonder what they are. Do you right. want? You want? I had one of them I thought yeah. of my mom. Okay, you know, what? Uh, yeah, I'll take a. You want to try a piece of muffin? You Which kind some, of pizza muffin of you want? You want some muffin? You got? Is it got chocolate chips? Maybe. Oh, Grimo, we he, he's the walking muffin. to the Smithies and he hears this, <laughs> <laughs> and he hears her offer to her muffin. <laughs> so Grimo's just. I'm just joking, Grimo. He, he's just listening outside the bar door. Shadowcock sees Grimo. I just. He's <laughs> Grimo. <laughs> Grimo, come here and have a drink. Come Who here. Who are you talking to? I'm talking yeah, to Grimo. Okay, yeah, I come Who? I'm going to try. I'm going to try some of this muffin. Oh, no. Muffin. The whole cigarette came out. Oh, no. Uh, I'll glue great. it back it on. It was glued on. Okay, I'll I'm going right to try some of this muffin. I think I'm going to try this one This one of the chocolate bits. Is that a piece? Yeah, here, you just have a piece of this Ooh, muffin. Okay. What does it do? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Chattercock eats it. All right. Uh, real, actually, is Decker still wet? Uh, I think it was a day. It was a big leather coat. Yeah, how long does leather take to dry? Probably a long Days. time. I probably smell really. Oh, I, I noticed that there was a, a drying hut over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Decker, "Hey, do you want to you want to dry if you look a little wet?" I don't take this. I don't off. think that means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> what does the drying hut do? I imagine that it would be for drying like foods and spices yeah. and, and but it needs. But it's still, yeah, no, no, I, yeah. I, I, so I, I now he smells like beef jerky. Oh, yeah. 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 So we go to the drying hut uh, <laughs> and we. So, uh, as a, a little schwitz. <laughs> oh, well, so here's the problem. Decker is, <laughs> dis despite seeming like he's in excellent phys physical condition, mm -hmm. Decker is actually pretty scrawny, uh, hence the giant coat that he wears. Oh, right. mm -hmm. uh, you, may, you may not know this about him, but you might be a little self-conscious about his physical appearance. Oh, yeah. So uh, he's going to refuse to take the coat off. That's uh, fine. Does he have shoulder pads um, in there? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I, real, I, I recognize this and my empathy kicks in. So I, do I still have the orc head on my head? Mm -hmm. What's on my head anymore? I don't think you got anything. So I'm, I'm naked and I just put my helmet on and it's covering my eyes. I put it on backwards. <laughs> I'm naked. So I'm laying in the sun and I'm like, it's all good, man. And <laughs> Get your sweat on. And I'm drying, but I smell like meat. <laughs> Decker tries to nod very coolly, but it looks really stupid and lame. I don't see that. Yeah. <laughs> also, since I'm wearing sunglasses, I can look wherever I want. Okay. Uh, while we're while we're in the drying hut, I'm going to look through or type through my little Wikipedia thing on my laptop and see if I can figure out what blue tears mean. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that investigation? Yeah. All it's right. an electronic band from 1982. Yeah. <laughs> blue tears. Blue tears. They're Ooh, oh shit. Oh, that's good cool. one. So that's 23. Holy fuck. Yeah. Um, this is the only thing results. my character's good for. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, Googling um, shit. <laughs> I, I would say the blue tears aren't tied to anything specifically, but it does click in your head that you remember the old witch mm. uh, that you guys uh, killed last time. Having just stains of blue all over all of her clothes and some kind of long, traily stains on her face, uh, where tears would have been. Interesting. She all put right. her body into the, oh, the little girl. Just just like yeah. You don't know that. You're drunk. Eat your muffin. Yeah, you, we're, dr we're drinking. Oh yeah, back to the bar. Grimo's just he's just observing them eating your these microphone. muffins. Oh, yeah, you're not oh. gonna have a drink with us, Grimo. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking. About. Uh, Grimo doesn't maybe need to drink the same size Come as everyone. Well, we maybe just a thimble. A thimble. What is Mary doing? K, K, uh, K. We'll get to that. <laughs> Are you buying? I'm just so staring at the edge of the map. I'm the hero of a giant. Okay, Grima <laughs> takes a drink and he says, to the giant, to the giant. <laughs> to that place. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> Grima downs the whole yeah. like, pint. And that's a lot for him yeah. compared oh, to so Also, by the way, we ate a muffin. Yeah, so we you had, ate a muffin? And I we both had parts muffins. of the chocolate muffin. Okay, so uh, you, you actually both... <clears throat> Slowly over about uh, I don't know 10, 15 seconds, grow to ten feet tall. <gasps> okay, so you're, you're yeah, like wait, massive. We bust through the roof of the well, well, not the roof, but you like crush the uh, furniture that uh, you're sitting uh, on. What? what happened? What are we so Grimo big? sees that this happen. 
Uh, and he uh, scrambles on the ground for crumbs. Uh, <laughs> and he just starts. Uh, and he's just li- he's looking at him. Are you doing that? Hey, this is some really <laughs> strong rubbing stuff. Rubbing it into his gum. I, have you ever seen? What did you give us, Grimo, bartender? You at this have point. you ever seen boobs this big before? <laughs> oh Grimo's my like, gosh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Do the crumbs so, have any effect? So you actually get that inch, so you are now three feet tall. Would <gasps> you always <laughs> told everyone you were? Grimo's just. <laughs> Grimo, are you taller too? Why you said it, God, you huge, know this. Grimo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your cigarette bigger too? Yeah, it <laughs> or is. Or is it more tiny? Well, it's it's bigger. Um, we're gonna need bigger glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, barkeep shows up with two like you know mini kegs for each of you. And, oh, and that's a jam's oh, like handle. Oh, <laughs> we're giants. That's so cool. <laughs> Grimo is drinking finally from the the size of a mug that a, a real a, a normal sized yeah. person would use. Yep. Still a little big. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually he drinks from like a shot glass or like a thimble for a shot oh, glass. Oh wow, we are having a great time in that bar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the mirrors. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. 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 We're just knocking stuff Mary's over. just staring at him. Yeah. So yeah, Mary's still engaged in conversation with the like parents. Yeah. Yeah. Taking every yeah. Yeah. Well, that and, <laughs> that and I'm, I'm taking as many free drinks from the villagers as I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the so the dad has just been talking to this whole time. He's like, oh yeah, we've been having a good harvest here. Yeah, good times. You know, sometimes the sky gets a little dark and you know feels in the the old uh-huh. cows, the milk's uh-huh. gone bitter. You know how that goes? Yep. Yeah, you know, you oh, know how that goes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, yeah, he's I putting know, his hand on him. Like, the uh, daughter of some cheat, uh, Nimpana, who actually runs the local brewery, walks up to Miri uh, with a huge jug and a giant mug, hands them both to him. He goes, this is uh, Gosse, uh, a milky honey liquor drink that we drink this time of year. All so right. So starting, you know, overflowing awesome. your drink while you're downing them all. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I keep the keg, or is she just yeah, she thinks, me it's in. like a big carafe or so. Oh, okay. They they make this milk liquor in huge vats. So can I? Oh. Can I? No, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, please finish your story I'll and then we'll You're come back a dwarf of the highest honor, Myriadis. Drink with us, and uh, she downs a huge gulp too. Awesome. So I I do the same thing, and then. I keep the craft, or she just handed it to me to pour a drink? She's not taking it back from you. Okay. You can drink straight from it if you want. All right. Well, thank you. No, I pour in a mug, and then I kind of keep it over my shoulder, and I'm like, I'm going to go see what my companions are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Can but, I but, but excuse myself? But before you leave, you know, okay. they, they keep trying to engage you in yeah. conversation and <laughs> not let you go. Get, I'm starting to get tipsy. Yeah. 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 These are the worst types of people. <laughs> <laughs> just say goodbye. Yeah, they're just overly thankful. They they don't want to leave your presence. Okay. Can I just keep backing up and see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're you're backing up and back into the village, and they're just following you. Like, hey. Oh yeah, you don't want to bump into <laughs> oh, no. nightmare number two. Is he being chased out by a mob yet? Or <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I just got a file. Damn. So what I want to do is I kind of keep backing up. I eventually lose them. I want to go like I'm going to go into the bar, and then I turn in there and I see that they're huge. <laughs> <laughs> you get shorter. I kind of, I kind of look at the drink she gave me, and then I, I just go into the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> right, we don't want no little guys oh, hanging with us, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you bufooks. Let me tell you, you bufooks are my two favorite people in the bufooka party. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're the best. No, Jaya you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best decker. Decker's the best guy in the world. <laughs> what are you doing? What is your problem? I'm not crazy about Decker. <laughs> what? Decker? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kimmy is the most popular guy here. All right, all right. You know I what? thought you were into Miri now. Well, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do a toast for her. To Decker. To Decker. Yeah, yeah, best guy whatever. we know. Longest coat in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, did you know it's like mono Ipo here? Hmm? Mono, my APA? You got what? mono? Yeah, I heard him tune outside. It's like big holiday. What? Yeah, Shycock, I'm gonna give you a present for the holiday. Oh, what kind of present? <laughs> Grimma just keeps laughing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, out, you out really know how to pick up a shot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, out in the streets, uh, after I guess the commotion of you guys coming back has calmed down, uh, the people kind of get back to work. They do seem to be preparing for like a festival. Uh, they're you know getting meat going on grills and, and pulling fruit and bread and whatever together. Mm-hmm. 
um, kind of putting stuff together in, in, a, in a space over here, kind of an open space where everyone's starting to gather. Smell you it. smell that? Yeah. It smells like meat. Where there's meat, there's bones. So then we both duck underneath the, uh, the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just a silhouette of a giant man? A giant woman, a giant yeah. tiefling woman. Dog Get all my tail to be like hitting Grimo in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Grimo, yeah. come on, there's food, let's go. Grimo does a combat roll. <laughs> <laughs> Meat. <laughs> so we go towards the where the barbecue was. Sweet. All right. So um, Sue Tor, uh, her her and her brother uh, walk up to Shattercock, kind of tug in this boar after them. Um, Shattercock, Shattercock. It would honor us if you would make the first cut on our Mono Buto this year. Two villagers uh, help them. Kind of, they they pull this boar over in front of you and hand you like a ceremonial knife. Oh, Our feast will be so spectacular this year. Please do us this honor. All right, well, Shattercock's not very good with knives. Uh, yeah. And also, Shattercock's really drunk. He's my orc ripper. Uh, so now Shattercock's got a knife and an orc ripper. Yeah. But they're both really tiny for yeah. ten foot yeah. hands. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so tiny little you're kind of holding it like this. Yeah. Swing away, Shattercock. Uh, uh, does it, where do I make the first cut? Where does the first cut normally go? I think you cut it. Cut the head off. Cut Who would eat that first? Cut the head off? Is that what Sutor or whatever her name was? Is that what it is? Yeah, go right under the neck. <laughs> and she <laughs> swings and absolutely, totally misses. Uh, hits Derek a little bit in the foot. <laughs> and the other and the other cut goes basically... Chops off only the the ear of the boar. Oh, oh okay. no! Uh, <laughs> uh, so I so it. the the boar squeals and actually kind of gets away and starts running down the street. Uh, oh. Shattercock goes chasing after it to go to go get the boar. She catches it. She because she's ten feet tall. Yeah, okay. uh, she, she's ten feet tall. He's making all the calls. She grabs she grabs <laughs> boar. I can roll for it if you want. You want me, want me to roll for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. you're, you're chasing after the boar down the street. Look out for that yeah. grease we'll, we'll pig. Yeah, 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 we got a swine on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Anyway, we'll give you advantage since you're 10 feet tall. Okay, that's a six. So you can roll again for advantage. Oh, all right, there we go. 11. Okay, yeah, you get, you get the you get thing. All right, I get the boy. But it's all greasy, right? Yeah. So then she's getting greasy. Yeah. And, oh, oh, yeah. You're a little bit bloody, too. I'm a little bit bloody. <laughs> you're turned on. God, this is <laughs> boar porn. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> point, yeah. So I'm wrestling the boar back towards the barbecue. Okay. Yeah, somebody else should do this. I got way too drunk for this. Becker's going to lean out with a piece of beef jerky on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Just lean back in. Um, Mr. Derek, could you do the honors? Ow. There's an axe in my I'm foot. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ow. Oh. It's, it's little. You're big here. Just, uh, just take a break. Uh, he rips it, but then Shattercock rips it out of my foot. Ow! <laughs> yeah, here. Uh, you take a damage. Ow! Oh, I took a damage. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Derek. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, pe- I peek out, and I see um, Matthew Boar, as I have named him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I run out, and I just hug him. Oh. And I'm like, good to see you again. And I run back. <laughs> and I bring the axe down. Okay. Does it kill me? Yeah, do a 20. <laughs> You're just right in the way. Oh, oh, no. oh no. It goes Critical right back failure. into the hole in my yeah. foot. Oh, no. <laughs> Ow! We're way too <laughs> drunk. Uh, before I leave, we go, call me. <laughs> we are way <laughs> too drunk. The boar? Yeah. Okay. He's an old friend. So Derek missed, I missed. Grimo's. Grimo, 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 you're our last hope. Yeah, here we go. Grimo <laughs> takes his little knife and he just starts stabbing the oh. door like a billion times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time for celebration. <laughs> it's, it's squealing and oh. blood is, you're covered in blood. Oh, yeah. The door's not even dead and he goes, dinner's ready. <laughs> Oh, shit, <laughs> along the ground, bleeding out. Oh. We are your champions. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Here I'll try>. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother Eva. <laughs> and he eats the pig's ear. That <laughs> oh, yeah. Raw. All right. See, they 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 take the boar off and put it yeah. you know, over a fire. <laughs> Whatever. Like, whatever's left of it. Burn him alive. God. Jeez, well. So, okay. um, Saite actually pokes his head in the in the drying hut. <laughs> you guys are trapped. Does he block the exit? Yeah, you're trapped. <laughs> He's Saite. kind of standing Get in the that doorway. Wet blanket. Out of the drying <laughs> hut. <laughs> so, um, he shows up with a giant craft of the gosse and uh, hands cups to Decker and Rax and Marvelous. starts pouring. I check if it's yeah. room feed first. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll wave him in. How is he doing it? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he puts down the carafe and then hands them the glasses. Can I, can I add a little, little attachment? I was going to say, can I add to the lore that yeah. he has almost like, like a screwdriver, like an interchangeable screwdriver attached to his, his nub? Yeah. And he can just, so he put like a <coughs> serving tray 
<laughs> but it's, it locks in, and so he's holding it. So now he's better. Okay. Yeah. He's like, he's like he's a white gloves and gadget. All. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's utter pain every time he attaches something. It's just, it's, oh, it's, it's it twists the, the skin inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna grind in. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not gonna stick. So he, yeah. he, can he always be wincing when he's just like, hey? He's always like, but he's trying to be a badass like you guys, so he, he covers it up a little bit. Yeah, he's missing all sorts of limbs, right? He does all right with covering it up, but you yeah. can see the grimacing. Okay. Uh, Decker so recognizes a good grimace. Yeah. I appreciate a good grimace. So he's trying to give us a drink? Yeah, so he gives you a drink, um, and he's pouring into uh, Decker's cup. Mm. And he goes, so we have another tradition here in Jayen. On Mono Eve, the children of the village leave out little sweets for Kadulf, a happy old sun elf who in return leaves little gifts for the treats and treats for the good little children. That's petter talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> so some um, some little children actually kind of flow in behind him. Into the drawing um, hut? Yeah, and they're, they're kind of giggling and laughing. Isn't Raxan naked? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have, no. He has the helmet on. I have, I have a drumstick over my cock. Oh, yeah. Gosh. There you go. So, what? Yeah, you're not. So the little that. children put a hat on you. Oh, look oh. at that. Oh, nice. His his expression doesn't change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> greasy hair. Yeah. So Codolf is a lover of all things, especially children. This year it was going to be my honor to put uh, to help the little kids of the village and uh, play Codolf for them. But please, this year, do us the honor. And come sit next to the fire and play coddle for the kids. Oh, so you're gonna sit on his naked lap? Is that well, no, it's I'm naked. It's Decker's Decker's not. Oh, Decker's not. Yeah. Oh, Decker doesn't take off. Conscious about his yeah. body. Just yeah. super sweaty under a leather jacket. Yeah, in the sweat tent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good and, to sit on that. And just kind of greasy and gross looking. Uh, my my great axe is now so over he'll my junk because <laughs> I realized the weird situation Saite has put us all in. <laughs> so Decker will stand up. Just, uh, you're saying I get candy? Is that what I get a No, us? absolutely. <laughs> That's his tradition. All right, let's go. So you kind of walk to the clearing up here. Come, children. Tell me how great I am. <laughs> so, yeah, the children line up um, one by one, and they have you kind of sit next to this fire, and they all come and sit in their lap and, and tell you what they Santa. want for Mono Ipe. He's a mall Santa. All proud of it. And then so I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll They'll get about a half sentence into what they want to be like. Shut up. I kid. want a pony. Yeah, give me your candy. A pony. <laughs> yep. Okay, and then he hands you like a little a <laughs> little go, sugar great. bun. What Next. You, what'd you want again? Pony. Whatever. You got it. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll shove them off. I'll just be eating. All right. Next. I want, I want a dolly. Yeah, I want a new dolly. Want Hold on. Pay up first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He hands you like a, a dried fruit. Oh, I hate this. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, Stickers awesome. the worst. Yeah. All right, next. So uh, Saite looks over at Raxon, walks back to the hut, kind of pokes his head in. Uh, so he's doing great. Great. All right, together again. Huh? Takes his pants down. <laughs> I'll, I'll join you. Yeah, and he strips oh, completely. Oh, he sits down next oh. to you. How, Puts uh, his nub arm up on your how shoulder. Visible, how visible are his scars? <laughs> oh, very. Okay. He's horribly burned <laughs> every, yeah. on most of his body. He's oh, boy. Uh, I, I just go, hey, how you doing? Uh, friend of friends? <laughs> so I try not to throw up. <laughs> Kadolf, uh, he always had little gnome helpers, and he pulls a little oh, hat out of his stuff and, okay. and puts a hat on you. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. So they, I'm still naked. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Kadolf's little gnome helpers uh, run around in the streets completely naked and sing, yeah. sing songs and dance and perform little magic tricks uh, okay. for the children All while right. secretly judging them. Mm. I'm the naked one, but I'm judging them. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do it naked. That's just the tale. Holiday. Okay. I mean, I, I have what would be the equivalent of a fantasy uh, banana hammock. Okay. Yeah, I'm wearing one of those. Made out of leather? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I guess maybe it's I... It's one I, steel plate. I mean, maybe I use some of the Gotta meat breathe skin. On it first. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's maybe some leftover boar. A bay just... kini? Yeah, there we go. Grima <laughs> a borkini. sees Decker and and he sees the hat and he sees the kids and he and it reminds him of the gyre holiday, oh. uh, Mima took, oh. where the old cheermeister Jibawu would have children <laughs> come and uh, <laughs> racist. <laughs> really not okay. Jibawu. Uh, oh, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's when the bamboozled uh, would. Come. Uh, old the old the old cheermeister Jibawu is. I mean, Chibawoo. Oh, Chibawoo or Chibawoo? <laughs> Chibawoo. Oh, okay. I know what you're thinking, Bruce, but that's your problem. That's, that's your... <laughs> that's me. That's my that's racism. That's your racism. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so then uh, 
Grimo goes and he, he, he tears start streaming, streaming in on his face because he's reminded of home. So then he runs and he jumps on Decker's lap. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you bring about? me a treat? Decker. Oh, I guess at this point I'm standing next to him with my hands over my junk. Yeah. Just like <laughs> holding your balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost, right. You're almost like an enforcer. Smile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I said, next. Decker, Keep it quick. Can I tell you what I wish for? What? I wish you were my dad. Dad. Oh God, get her out of here. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. That's enough, sir. <laughs> Where are your parents? Where are your parents? I, I, I don't. I'm telling you. I, uh, I treat next time. Yeah, I, I, I uh, enforce Grimo out into the meat hut and toss his drunk ass in there. Oh <laughs> no! Next to Saite. Oh no! Oh, no. Up, Who's man. naked? So Saite pulls out another hat and yeah. pops it on uh, Grimo's oh, head. No. There we go. So they, uh, he kind of grabs them up. That you put on a little bit of clothes or whatever, and they walk out of the hut. A little bit. Um, some little kids are, are nearby, and he's telling Grimo about the Kotolf's little gnomes. And he goes, so the gnomes, while performing tricks and dances, uh, will secretly judge the children. And uh, if you're bad, little boy or girl, the gnomes report back to Shegwe, who comes in the night just after Kotolf. Shegwe tosses the rotten little kids in his sack and steals them away. Oh, he pulls out their fingernails and then right. eats them. <laughs> and kind of sp oh, spooks the little kids. Very Krampus. Oh, man. Yeah. That's, okay. that's not how Chibawoo does things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm offended or not. <laughs> Decker will look at the line. You hear that, kids? <laughs> <laughs> you better brought your A game today. <laughs> okay, so I have to do I have to do a pre-interview before <laughs> I go up on the lap. You could, how, however you want to handle your duties. Uh, okay. Judging these children. Uh, bring on the first child. I'll do. The, I'll conduct the interview. But I, I want to tell Kotoff about the dolly that I want. Okay, but what makes you better than the rest? <laughs> um, I'm pretty and smart and funny. What would you say is your worst attribute? Probably too pretty. Okay. Um, Look, little girl. You cannot judge yourself just by your appearance. These are things that society has indoctrinated you to think that that's all you're worth, but you're more than that. You're smart. Get up on this man's lap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cut Decker Cut. Yeah, whatever. What? Decker Claus? <laughs> Decker yes. Claus. Uh, what, what, what? I forget. All right, time's up. All right. <laughs> Don't waste my time. I, I throw her in the meat hut. Because oh. <laughs> it's tradition. Again, you know, she see screams. that, kids? If you, if you panic, you're going in the meat hut. <laughs> Get on your game. So that's it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What you guys, I mean, this is kind of going on. Are you Everyone's doing meat? Yeah, 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 I'm drinking in the shrine. Still drinking, drinking in the shrine, huh? What's in the shrine, by the way? I'm kind of just uh, kind of the first one in there. Say a few idols and sculptures kind of from different gods. Is Mary alone? I guess he's in there by himself. There's probably some stray cats. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm getting drunk. I'm kind of... Just drinking that craft and just kind of reflecting on things and trying to get pious and then hanging out with the cats. The cats, some of the cats are nice, so I'm petting them. Derek, Derek comes yeah. running up. Yeah, he go. sniffs something, <laughs> and then I'll he follow. comes sprinting over there. I'll follow. And giant Derek comes crashing into the shrine and You're causing shit all everywhere, uh, causing all the cats to go. Well, and just, in and there just too. banging <laughs> into. Hey, where's those cats? Hey, I saw, I saw, hey, saw hey, some cats. Hey, I smell hey, some cats in hey, here. Hey, where are those cats? What are you doing? Scared away my, they were purring, man. Where'd they go? Man, come with us, come on. Just come with us, we'll go drink on somewhere else, come on. Fine, I was on, man. Let's gonna go. pray, but I'll do come that later, on, I guess. It'll be fun. All right. Will you follow us out? Yeah, I'm just right. following you. You have to drag Still me. Still carrying oh, yeah, the yeah. graph. Okay, <laughs> like Shadow Clock's dragging. Like pulling. Yeah, come on, the cats are gone. Oh, so as you're walking away, one kind of does like come around the corner and oh. stares at you the whole way. Yeah. Don't worry. You're 10 feet tall, they're tiny little cats, don't worry about it, it's okay. Don't scare them. Don't worry about the cats, they're friendly, it's okay. Come on, let's go. Some of them were. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. So we all, we all meet up with this, yeah. right. what the fuck, they, like all of us are like, what the hell is going on? We walk past an internment camp of crying kids in the drawing room. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are all wearing hats. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. must be this high to ride Decker. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, kids. I'm uh, I'm collecting fast passes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pile of sweet bread next to me, and I'm just casually chewing. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What what is this? Uh, it's tradition. Pedo Saite wants the kids oh, getting up nice on time. Jack lap. 
Who, yeah, what? Dude, so I heard somebody say Chibaloo. Uh, yeah, Chibaloo's and Jacklaps. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on. Oh, I'm just staring at you guys. I'm like, I know I'm short, but are you guys taller than normal? No. no. What, how, how'd you? No. No, I don't think so. This is how we always are. I've always been this height. <laughs> you look a little taller, but. I, the same. Are you kidding me? You fucking kidding me? I'm a hundred times taller. <laughs> what is all going on when children are around? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're all wasted. Wow. What a beautiful scene. <laughs> all right. Just imagine Shadow Cock is like. Standing over the line. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Straight up in her vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like wind over a bottle. All right, all right. Festivities. 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 I think that's as much bit as we can bit out of that bit. Unless <laughs> well, something else happens. <laughs> no, no, okay. So, um, I learned about all the children's worries, or, does, or half of them at least, before I kick them out. Are we Are we on the last child now? Yeah, yeah, we'll They've see. They've been waiting for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last last kid's done. Okay. Decker stands right, up. Here, here Job go. well done. Okay. All right. I'll escort you over to the meat hut. Primo yeah. validates his I'm parking. <laughs> picking up all my like, well oiled machine, yeah. fruit and treats and stuff, and then I I like turn my jacket into like that little like apron hammock, and I'm like piling everything in there, and they're just kind of walking off with it. Okay. All right. So the behind you, the the great big fire, uh, it blazes up. Smoke starts to fill the air. Side uh, fall on it. <laughs> <laughs> Flames uh, turn. Been quietly pouring lamp oil on them all day. Let me just chug on them. It used to be burned. Day. See, the, the flames uh, turn dark red and flare up and then extinguish. Uh, sm- kind of smoke fills the air, but the place goes dark. All the lights go out. All the fires oh. go out. Oh, oh, why is it so dark? Hello? Did everybody see the fire? You have dark vision, and it should be really good now. So you, you start to hear screams. You hear, ah, oh, oh my god. And uh, yeah, who does have dark vision? I do, and so is Mary. But you're also drunk, so. Yeah, I'm a little drunk, though. So I'm seeing Dark double, double vision. I'm being, yeah. seeing double everything. <laughs> Decker quietly takes out a rice ball and starts eating it. So, uh, yeah, smoke fills the air. You hear screams. Uh, those of you that can actually see, uh, see this large elven figure, a horrible demon with wooden skin and two huge thorn-like horns. It has razor-sharp teeth, and its massive tongue writhes like a snake. The creature has talon-like fingers, and its left hand clutches a sack. Three scrawny, naked little orange-skinned goblins scatter from around it, running in all directions. They're chasing after the children. Uh, awesome. Did anybody yeah. see that? <laughs> um, well, yeah, I go. Well, you saw it, so. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking. And, I go, and then I go. So that'd be cool. Oh, jeez. It's more sweet Napoleon art. So yeah, this thing is nasty, kind of kind of heaving and uh, cool. chasing after little children. Okay. So I think that Christmas legend is real? <laughs> well, it's yeah. not called Christmas, it's called Chickaboo. I'm sorry. Chickaboo? No, the gyre. Chippaboo. Chippaboo. Chippaboo's the gyre. Chippaboo is the gyre Santa Claus. Yeah. So all these little ones will be little children Uh-oh. that they're chasing after. Oh, the, oh, the no. orange ones are children. Yeah, the little orange ones are children. Okay. Guys, 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 we gotta help out the kids! They're getting taken! Okay, I take one of them to the meat hut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ironically, packing them all in the meat hut was actually good for them. So yeah, you, you hear more screams and see villagers kind of being tossed around and to the side. You hear screams of, Shai Gui, Shai Gui! Shai Gui grabs a little boy and lifts him up by the ankle and stares into its eyes. It growls, wicked, and tosses it into its sack. Nice. Whoa. Looks around and kind of runs after another child. Okay, so uh, I think uh, right now is a good place to stop. Oh my god. Uh, we'll jump back into this fight next time. Uh, uh, thanks for coming. Mary Chibawoo. No. no. Oh, the Chibawoo is the Santa. I don't, I don't remember what I called the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> or Jabberwockies or something? That's, uh, yeah, I gotta write that stuff down. My, my great axe is now so oh, he'll junk because <laughs> I realized the weird situation Saite has put us all in. <laughs> so Decker will stand up. Just, uh, you're saying I get candy? He's having to get a meat No, house. absolutely. <laughs> That's his tradition. All right, let's go. So you kind of walk to the clearing up here. Come, children. Tell me how great I am. <laughs> so, yeah, the children line up um, one by one, and they have you kind of sit next to this fire, and they all come and sit in their lap and, and tell you what they want from Mono Ipe. He's a mall sandwich. All proud of it. And then so I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll They'll get about a half sentence into what they want to be like. Shut up. I want a pony. Yeah, give me your candy. The pony. <laughs> yep. Okay, and he hands you like a little a <laughs> little go, sugar great. bun. What Next. You, what'd you want again? Pony. Whatever. You got it. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll shovel them off. I'll just be eating. All right. Next. I want, I want a dolly. Yeah, I want a new dolly. Want Hold on. Pay up first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He hands you like a, a dried fruit. Oh, I hate this. Get out of here. Stickers <laughs> oh, <laughs> the worst. All right, uh, welcome back, Twits and Crits, uh, holiday special. My hat. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your hat. Elise, you will know. Mine have 
uh, fell off when I saw that. Oh. It fell off right there. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> it's it's on the ground. I, well, no, no, in, in the game, I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's right I'm there, though. Yeah, and we're so telling you in the game, it's right there. <laughs> For the sake of the video, maybe you should. Maybe you should play. So, yeah, what, what went on last time, Decker? Well, uh, Decker reclaimed his or claimed his rightful place as Lord of the Children, <laughs> um, harvested Not all of their sweets, <laughs> and uh, there was something about them telling him his wishes, whatever. But now all the bad children are being punished for not bringing him the appropriate sweets and snacks. <laughs> sure. uh, uh, a real-life mo- mono-ipe miracle is occurring, uh, and that a demon has manifested and is yanking all the naughty children away from their parents and loving homes. And Decker is just celebrating. I know. And Decker is just sitting there eating his harvest of... <laughs> Candy, watching this happen. Uh, oh my God. There, there were some other incidents. Uh, let's see here. Shattercock and uh, Derek are now ten feet tall. Are we still? Yeah. Owing to their their magic we'll say, muffins. Yeah, we say it goes for a couple hours. Does awesome. that equate right. to additional strength on their same, part? Same stats. You're just too much. Oh. That doesn't make any but sense. But they aren't yeah. the only ones. It's like Ant Man, yeah. but worse. <laughs> uh, Grimo. Grew a whole inch that day. Whoa. And is now a full three feet tall. <laughs> it looks more, maybe an inch and a quarter. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. So I guess your hair also grew to scale, meaning you got another quarter inch off that. Of that it. pompadour yeah, is <laughs> extra quaff. The only guy in Middle Earth with a pompadour. Mariatis got drunk in church. Um, mm. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Raxan and Decker, before Decker became... The Mono Ipe miracle he was meant to be. Uh, Codolf. Codolf is the name. Codolf? Yeah, yeah. No. Codolf? Sure. Okay. However you want to say it. Uh, they were chilling in a drying hut, staring at each other over racks of, of smoked meats, which is a very tender moment for the both of them. And, uh, and Taisei, Chaisei. You know what? Saite. 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 Maybe you just go watch the last episode. <laughs> 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 All right, so we've we got this, uh, this demon there. elf running around snatching children and throwing it in a sack. Yeah, throwing cool. them in a sack. Mm-hmm. I, I'm cheering him on. Going, yeah, yeah, you go, you oh, go. No. <laughs> so this, this, whatever this thing is right here is going to be our, our Shai, Shai Gui. Shai Gui, mm-hmm. yeah. So he, he grabs another kid and just, naughty, liar, and then tosses it in a sack. That's what you kinda, do. Kind of <laughs> looking we gotta, around. We got to help. We got to help. The kids, they're getting, they're getting abducted. Uh, Grimo shoots so an arrow sense. with his short bow. Oh, can at that Grimo see in the dark? Nice. Uh, oh, so it's completely dark. Yeah, it's dark. It's lit. dark. All, all the flames went out. Uh, so only dark vision people can actually see what's going on, other than hearing screams. Cool. Okay. I guess I'll use my tinder box and like light a torch <laughs> then <laughs> instead. Okay, let's uh, roll for initiative if we're going to start. All right. All right. Let's do it. You don't want to barter with the thing. Nope. Despite, so, I will roll for initiative, but Decker is still not convinced that he should interfere. Yeah, okay. Just a, yeah. All right. Uh, four. Um, seven. You got a thing? No, a thing? 23. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, Mary? 17. Nothing great. 19. Six. Do any of your spells illuminate? Like, I've got a, I got don't. fire. Yeah, I uh, think burn the village down. Mine, mine don't. That's for sure. Also, yeah, from from people who can't see his perspective, there's just like this demon voice and a lot of a lot screaming. of children screaming. Yeah. Yes, yeah, which is pretty cool. But both Mary and I can see. And that's like a campfire around there. Uh, yeah, but when it went out, okay. yeah. you can smell. They knew it was coming, man. Deer They're all could, inside. Deer could passed out, right? He woke up when oh, okay. you, you, when Shattercock was screamed. screaming. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, right, Saitaze is there. there. He's, He's back, back. dragging awesome. us down. Notice his initiative roll was the worst. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did get a one. <laughs> he can't roll. Oh, Saite. His and uh, he can have another attachment that's like a little cup, and he just rolls. The, the next, the next episode, he's going to be in a wheelchair. Just. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. He's going to go down on Shattercock. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's not like a long a... capacity for that. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a tinder box and oil and all that, so I'm going to relight that. Fire in the center. Mm-hmm. Using those, um, and that, that I'll, I'll assume will be my bonus action because then I will shoot my short my short sword at that creature. Oh, a big one. Yeah, with my. You're shooting your short. Sword? I'm shooting my short sword. Okay, we'll say because you're using it as a bonus action, that you're starting to light the fire and you get just just enough glimpse to shoot. Who are you trying to shoot at? That big guy. Okay. So nineteen Boom. plus five. Ooh. Wow, dirty. That definitely gets him. Yeah. <laughs> Downs him in one hit. And then nine. Jesus. Ooh, nice. Boy, that was a good hit. Nine. Yeah, I know. Nice it was unexpected. It's a mono ipe miracle. I'm going to be saying that a lot. <laughs> yeah, Decker keeps saying that. Everything yeah. that happens. He's muttering it under his breath every turn. All right, Decker. 
It's still pretty dark. Yeah, I was gonna say, what can I see? Is this fire uh, lit? You should probably cover no, your it, eyes. No, it, it is. Yeah. It is I'm starting sunglasses. to go. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can see a couple of feet around you, and you hear, oh, of course, screams and there's smoke everywhere. Still they start from the swinging fire. wildly. See what happens. Yeah. Um, I mean, could I cast fire on the fire and make it more fireable? Sure. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just. I'll, I'll take a bite out of whatever like sweet bun I have, chew that for a little bit, uh, and then I'll, I'll cast Firebolt. Um, well, since I'm casting it on something that's not sentient, do I need to roll anything? No, we'll just uh, roll for the sake of rolling here. All right. Do a 20 for me. Right. Ooh. Oh, Is that nine? Right? Okay, yeah, that works. All right. All right, so that in combination with you starting to light the fire, we'll say uh, it goes up. Maybe some other villagers are starting the other fires. So you, you all can start to see a little bit more here. Oh, cool. Uh, we'll call that Decker's turn unless you want to move. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm trying to see how this plays out. <laughs> you <laughs> just want a better view? As of, usual, Decker's kinda, just yeah. going to hang back. I'm just the curious. children being snatched? Yeah. All right, Mary. All this right. Should be, should be, uh, so naughty. Dan, tell me if this all makes sense. I don't know if I can do this all at once. I want to use my Divine Smite, which expends a spell slot. Um, but I don't think it's actually like casting a spell. It's just kind of I it's use like it. It's like an action kind of like yeah. special ability you have. Okay, so that would be my. I could only use that as the action, and, and that's it. Or so isn't do, the divine smite attached to an attack of some kind? It's when I do a weapon attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know if I had to like summon it and that counted as an action. And no, then it, it'll all be like if you wanted to walk up and divine smite something. Okay. That would be your attack. Okay. Well, I want to do that. But I can't, I, I can't cast a spell also that's separate, right? That's going to be a separate action? Correct. Okay. Um, okay. Then, so I just sort of am reacting to this shocked. I kind of go, ah! And I, I go up to that big guy, and I divine smite him with my sword, my long sword. There it is. Uh, which is, what is that? Did I get closer to God? D8. Oh, I have to roll for... Although, wouldn't a dwarf god be in the ground? Ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Apparently, I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. What does the Divine Smite add to that? Well, I'd, I wouldn't hit him, so it doesn't okay. matter, right? Correct. So you didn't use it, so that's good. Does that, is that how it works? Yeah, you you didn't connect on your attack, so you're, mm. you're, you're not smiting him at all. All right, so all right. Fire. We'll let you keep that one. Cool. <laughs> Look up the actual roll next time. So, yeah, this guy, he'll... he'll Turn around oh, after you no. missed him wildly. He's going in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> so his, his, childlike. his right. tongue goes right into your face and you know, it punches you. Cool. Um, like tongue punches Does it have a comical boxing punches. glove on the end of it? <laughs> We've all been there. I think he's your girlfriend now. <laughs> so uh, six six damage. Ooh, that's a big tongue punch. Oh, wow. um, it, so and then uh, with its hand that's not got the sack, it tries to claw you in the face. Holy oh, shit. Good God. It gets to roll for each one of its appendages. Miri's dead. Yeah. <laughs> no. Divine <laughs> smut. Miss. <laughs> Claws him right down. We are kind of disturbing natural order of what I imagine happens annually during See, the holiday. See, you have to you have to respect the local culture. Yeah. <laughs> Another reason for you not to do anything. Yeah, right. And it, some way these kids seem shitty too. Right? Is the thing. They lied. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that kind of claw goes right past your face. Oh, god, close. Close. Close, close. But it does go into your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it takes through your heart. heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this goblin runs up to this kid. He grabs him and runs him this <laughs> direction. All the kids are terrible. Well, um, let's see. This guy will Kansas grab this kid and run over here. Oh, okay. Is there another bring goblin him back out the there? Sack. They're bringing him back to the sack. Yeah, yeah there's another one right there. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna run over to this kid. Gotcha. Is there right, one innocent cop. kid in there okay. that's just like smug as hell? Possibly. Okay, we'll see. So <laughs> the first thing I noticed is that uh, Grimo's hat fell off. Like, Grimo, what happened to your hat? The oh no, hat? I think it fell in the fire when I was laying. It. I don't think it did. I see it right there. I'm oh. gonna pick this up. Uh, this is good improv. Here you go, Grandma. You want to put this oh, on? Oh, sure. You should put it on. Grandma, you sure you want to put this on? Sure, you see. Good on you, baby. It looked better oh, on you, baby. Put it on. Oh, oh, yeah, you look great. First roll is no butt. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then I put the hat on. Um, Sweet. Oh, that looks great on you, Shadowcock. I can't believe I almost fell on the fire. Oh, that's right. I can't believe I almost fell on the fire. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so glad you spotted it. It suits you. It suits you. So then I shoot, let's see here. I shoot Ray of Frost at. 
Let's shoot it at the shy guy. That's a, a at, at the big guy there. Right on. Um, that's Ray of Frost. Love him in Twin Peaks. Ray of Frost. A frigid beam of blue white light streaks towards a creature within range. <laughs> range spell attack against the target. On a hit, it takes one d8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by ten feet. Gotcha. Uh, I would run right. further, but I can't. <laughs> Can't get to all those kids now. 16! Oh yeah. Plus, um, plus your range spell Was it attack. two plus... I think it's the charisma then? Yeah. So, six. Holy shit. Good god. Yeah, so 22. So yeah, that works. Um, and then also, I'm using uh, meta magic. So I'm using an empowered spell. So what that does is, when you roll damage for a spell, you spend one sorcery point to re-roll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma modifier. Okay. So, basically... So if you roll and don't like it, you can... Bingo. Um, and it says 1d8, and I always forget, is it... I think it's this one? Is it this, this, the guy, this one? This one. This one, okay, yeah. cool. Alright, so... I'm gonna re-roll that for nice. sure. Um, and it says the one source of re roll a number of the damage dice up to your charisma one, so it's just only one. Okay. Please be better. It is! Whatever, just barely. Three. <laughs> so, three damage. Cool. And then, uh, it slows it down, though. So, Shigway can... slows him down by ten feet. Until the start of my next turn. Okay. Raxon's turn. Oh, okay. Um, so <laughs> I look. I look around and I see the. Where did you um, go? <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, my goal right now is to like rescue these kids because that seems to be what they're going after. They're not attacking us. So I see the um, the hollowed out boar from earlier, but it's uh-huh. just like a, it's like a skin bag now. So I pick that up, and my goal is to pick up these three kids and throw them in the bag so I can have three of them at okay. the same time. Okay, we'll say so you can get two of them. <laughs> okay, I grab, I go for two. Can I, can I just have to roll for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm rolling to grab two of them. Uh, that's a nine uh, plus. Maybe what's your strength? kid grabbing? <laughs> yeah, have, yeah. What have you been snatching? My uh, what's my strength? My strength <laughs> plus five. All right, you got them. I got both of them. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be honest. I thought you were gonna dive into okay. that sack and wear it like. A no, 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 no. So I got the sack. Um, and do I have? Can I still move? Um. You can move, we'll give you three squares. Okay, so I move three squares and I throw the sack to the demon. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the faster they finish, the faster they leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Derek, what are you doing, buddy? Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> What's your I'm... character's alignment? Neutral. <laughs> yeah, sure. He likes I... to stay out. No, someone things, said it, though. It's like, part. this is their tradition. We probably shouldn't be uh, fucking yeah, with it. You guys immediately start firing arrows into Santa, basically. Well, they're, stealing, yeah. they're stealing children, so... I think yeah. that's probably <laughs> the best <laughs> way. Where are the children? Where are the parents? We, we don't know that it's called all, eugenics, We man. don't know that they're all naughty. Well, he'll judge them. Hey, if, <laughs> if he judges a kid innocent and then puts it in you the sack, then we can interfere. This sounds like a giant problem. Yeah. We also don't get any experience, just so you're... Huh? All aware. I'd be more worried about Saite around my kids. These guys, <laughs> He's personally. A rumor. I need to get a new sack. <clears throat> um, I shout at Saite, uh, what's going on? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. Something horrible is happening. That creature's stealing our children. Sounds like it isn't Help. a tradition. You're right, Help. Saite. <laughs> and so then I'm going to get it. Get it. I'm going to move Saite towards this guy. Yeah. Oh, We're not from here, but he's been here for a while. Oh, he's a not welcome. He's a, he's a tourist. Move towards this guy. He's a tourist. Yeah, he kind of just showed up Do and it. wouldn't leave. Up here. I've yeah. and I got my two axes different. out, and I'm gonna recklessly attack. Okay. Uh, that means you get advantage. Right? Yeah. Seven. Sixteen. Damn, um, that's the one. Plus three. I'm assuming or yeah, attack yeah. bonus orc ripper plus two, so that's. Okay, 18? so so one of them will hit. What? Oh no! Okay, no, no I, you got I, advantage, you got right? Advantage. You got it for both. Yeah. Okay, so then are they orc? No, they're at all. Ones. All right. Well, I'm still gonna swing at them twice. Nice. <laughs> uh, six, seven total, I guess. Or do I add strength? Oh, uh, you add your strength. All right, so then ten. All right, yeah, you just destroy that Ooh, thing. Ooh, annihilate! Just gone? Yeah, yeah. So just into wanna... bits. <laughs> Um, all right, so then I do, he's busy carrying the kid, and I just run up behind him, and then I, I, almost tripping over myself, bury one, one axe into the top of his head, and the other into his lower half, and then I rip it apart. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Split it. Pulls and then all, the but all the blood and stuff splatters all over the child who's standing there. <laughs> <laughs> just gets it covers him in it. Yeah, the kid falls to the ground. It's sort of crying, but also sort of happy that it's mm-hmm. not in the clutches He'll of He'll be explaining this to a therapist. Nasty little one. goblin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, they're less, they're ten or less in, yeah, in right. strength, mm-hmm. so. 
You can wipe out these goblins real quick. So much easy experience. So Saite is kind of slowly coming to realize what's going on. Shai Gui, that, that's just a, just a myth, a tale we tell the kids to keep them in line. Oops. See, Decker? <laughs> <laughs> Raxan's looking at the sack. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he makes it over here and kind of pulls one of the, the sack children right behind him. Sack children. And uh, he's got he's got his one long spear, or actually, I guess he didn't have any weapons on him since he was party. He has that serving tray. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that <laughs> metal tray kind of tries to slap upside the head Jesus. of, of Shai Gui. It's gonna hit Miri. I was gonna say he's not. He's gonna miss and do damage. He's gonna fall in the fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, get super hot. So the, the, the tray, arm the tray hits the the side of uh, Shai Gui's head, but doesn't do anything. Oh. Good old Saite. <laughs> Good job, Saite. Yeah. Yeah. A Grimo. Piece of, piece of so I'm going to shoot <laughs> another bow at Saigwe. Wait for it. So that's 15. That was a traveler. Hits. And then nine. I don't want to hit Saite, but can I at least like brush his ear? <laughs> Just a little bit. Didn't like one of his ears get cut off? I, I, I feel like something, something else happened point, to yeah. him. Well, really? We burned him, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or he, he got burned, I should say. <laughs> what have we not done? Yeah, well, shouldn't apply ownership or fault there. All right, Decker. All right, uh, unless you wanted to move, Grima. Sorry. Are you good where you are? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to like look at a picture of my sisters and look at the kids. You, you see one looking right at you, hoping you'll help it get away from uh, the monster. <laughs> but you don't help. No. no. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant one of the goblins was looking right at her, hoping that she would help. <laughs> We need to capture these kids. All right. Uh, so I guess having heard Saite's constant painful wailing, uh, <laughs> Decker will decide to help. He'll sigh, or he'll he'll finish eating his bun, sigh heavily, boot up his little laptop, wait for it. It's got to grind up a little bit. Warms up, and then he uh, he'll cast Scorching Ray, uh, but use the wand of boost to catch cast it at level three. Good God! Nice. So that's four rays of fire. Yes. Uh, I make a range spell attack for each ray. And on hit, each one does 2d6 damage. Fire damage. Yes. So I got to do a lot of rolling here. So it's four four rays each spell. Okay. Okay, that's 14, 20, 17, and 11. Two of those hit. All right. So can I borrow some of these d6? Ah. Six for one of them, and five for the other. Okay. Straight up. You don't add anything to it? Nope. Just that much fire damage. On the, was it Shai Gui? Yeah. Still kicking, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a, a tough boss. bastard. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't as much damage as it could have been. All right, Mary. All right. Before that divine smite. Try, try something else this time. Uh, since I'm still right next to him, I'm going to hit him with Ensnaring Strike, which is weapon attack hitting a creature before the spell ends. A writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact. Mm. A target must succeed on a strength save throw or be restrained. Larger creatures have advantage. Uh, so I guess I should roll. Nope. Oh. And I miss again. I'm still yeah. too drunk. Oh. <laughs> well, you got really sauced up. I thought it would embolden me, but it didn't work. Mm. I mean, your confidence is through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's perfectly accurate. Execution yeah. on the All other hand. All those jokes landed. <laughs> I can lift that. <clears throat> Did you see how high I lifted it? It went above my head. <laughs> Doing anything else? Oh, what else can I do? I missed. Uh, you could like run away. Or <laughs> no, I'm disengaged like disengaged to combat or something. Look no, around and tell everybody you really didn't miss. I need yeah. to help. This is my destiny. I need to bring this thing down. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, going I'm not down. running away. I'm spinning around, whiffing, but staying next to him as much as I can. So it is Shai Gui's turn. Oh boy, here we go. Um, oh, poor Miri. He's gonna get he grabs slapped Miri's head and rips it off. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, he goes for that. <laughs> and then he gets all the work. <laughs> Battle of the century. <laughs> goes for that tongue punch. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Not again! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I do I like a, a I do like a three sixty each time because I miss and then yes. get punched <laughs> by the tongue. Divine! <laughs> Divine! <laughs> So that was seven damage. Oh, oh boy, oh, a tongue weird. punch again? Um, I hope he doesn't tongue he, punch Shattercock's lady box. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, he's going to. Ugh, That's going to be the only great. thing that might make a dent. He takes a few steps away, um, and I guess we'll get a provoking attack from you. Ooh, what's so that? So you get to roll a 20. It, he, he, he was to engaged disengage. in battle with you, yeah. so he was, he was he's moving away. And you <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get oh, I see. Run right. away! Right. Also, <laughs> he's <laughs> slow, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. So. He, he was fast to begin with, so now he's normal. Face is all slow. 
So now you get to try and attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, you do yeah. your normal attack. Normal attack, no yeah. spells or anything. No, no. All right. Just a, like a regular Come on, slash. Miri. Hey, ah, hey, 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 that's yeah. 16. Oh, got him. All yeah. right. Uh, I'll use, I'm using but it my... Hurts you. Yeah, what yeah. weapon do you have in your hand? I have my long sword in okay. one hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. it, which it's is just like a wooden a tongue. It's an eight. <laughs> Five nice. plus strength and proficiency, that's ten. Boom! All right. Yeah, nice. Got him. <laughs> yeah. First you're try. saying through one bruised bloody <laughs> yeah. eye. Come back if you want another one. Uh, better one. So, um, the... The Shai Gui kind of does one of these <laughs> moves and yeah. uh, a bunch of a uh, gas cloud kind of oh, comes out from him and these Christ. spores go in a 15 foot cube around him. So that would hit uh, these four. Oh, shit. And let's see what it does. That's uh, disgusting. Succeed on a DC 14 constitution saving throw. So roll a 20 and then add your constitution modifier or you become poisoned. So I have 13. Mm. Oop, three. Mm. You're dead. 23. Oh. All right, so you saved Shadowcock. Thick. Uh, 11 plus 3, 14. All right, so you two save, and then you two are going to take uh, five poison damage. Wow. Jeez. At the start of each one of your turns. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Um, at the end of each one of your turns, though, you can repeat the saving throw to, okay. s- to stop the, the poison from hitting you. All How right. does this relate to Mark? <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. I kind of want to just get rid of this. But I want to get rid of the goblins, though. It comes back to you. I'm just you're, so, you're too far away. I'm, I'm also really bad with everything except for the stick that I have. Um, let's do magic missile, but uh, let's do one on the goblin over here, one on the goblin over here, and one on Shai Gui. Okay. <laughs> two damage because there's to which guy? Close one, two one the that goblin there, the one closest to you, Dan. And then three to the other goblin. And then five to Shagway. Nice. Better and better and better. Any other actions you want Pick to do? Pick up a child no, and I'm hit him with it. <laughs> I was going to use it as a meat shield, but that's a better idea. Oh. All right. <laughs> Goblin's turn. So he drops this kid he's got and uh, charges up to this Raxon. Oh, bad idea. I am indeed with the power of <laughs> naked. Does so 16 hit your AC? Oh, what is your AC? No. Oh, you're 17. All right. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, this uh, goblin it does not runs, runs up with his runs up with his mace uh, and swings it. Just kind of hits off your armor. Damn straight. Doesn't right. seem to do too much. Even though I like uh, bought it at party soon. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't even recognize that you're trying to help him. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> and I? then then looks horrified. He uh, should be. Because now whatever cod piece I had yeah. fell. <laughs> his face is at cock level. Yep. Just right there. And since this is fantasy, it's very uncircumcised. <laughs> very <laughs> extra uncircumcised. There's so much extra. <laughs> just hanging off. He, he has a tiny oh, dog, so it doesn't like grab. an elephant's tall skin. Yeah, it's like a balloon knot. <laughs> Double oh, bag. I'm it's, allergic it's, to foreskin. Oh, it's, it's a built-in comment. Co- common? Common. Condom, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just, yeah, just pinch t- it off. I just tie it off. So uh, with this kid in its arm, this one runs up to Miri and slashes at him uh, with his little spear. Poor Poor Mary. Mary. Oh, he's got additional child strength. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Nat 20, so he does connect. Yeah. Of course, some Miri. Let's see. Puts, puts a core through his How entire How much life body. do you have there, Miri? I've, I've got enough. Don't ask. I've got 16. I'm just curious. Just, he just died two I've got 16. Ago. Divine smack. Ah. <laughs> That's a hole through his body. <laughs> so seven damage with his spear. Oh. Is he also poisoned? No. No, yeah. oh, I luckily no, he saved, saved that, that one. Yeah. All right, Rexon. Okay, I'm gonna swing my great axe at this mofo for trying to fuck with my uh, my lady. Six plus five, I think. Or no, oh, no, that's just I just rolled a six. Oh, you rolled a six. So yeah, your uh, axe swing goes right over its little goblin head. Fuck, what a waste. <laughs> Dirt. No. Fun turn. Um, <laughs> Unless you want to move or but, anything or. I imagine if he's Toss swinging, the foreskin is probably trailing. I have no him. skeleton. <laughs> I have no skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Just I have, <laughs> I have a great finishing move I'm working on, but I don't know if I'm going to get there. Um, around. I'm going to recklessly attack this guy that just attacked Miri. Come on, that's a nine, which would be eleven or nine. So yeah, your your reckless attack is a little too reckless. Okay. Even though he's got a kid, little child under one of its arms, it's able to. Well, I'm also around. coughing from the poison too. Oh, yeah, that's right. So oh yeah. Uh, Try and beat a 14 constitution save. Oh, okay. I did. All 15. Right. Nice. Sweet. You were actually, and you were supposed to take five damage at the beginning of your turn. I did. Okay, cool. Saite did it. Come on, hit it. 
<laughs> Go kill something. Where is he? He's like right there. Alright. He's grabbing the kids. Surrounded by the children. He'll run over here, pushing some of these ki- kids back. You know, run, run away! And then swings. Run to my house. Yeah. <laughs> Go to my house, there's free candy! <laughs> Leave your clothes! <laughs> I'm Lord of the Children, they call me. I can't see you if you're naked. (laughs) So he smacks this one with that silver tray that's attached to his little arm hook and uh, knocks it down, Uh but it's not quite dead. It's it's uh, is it prone? It's prone. It dropped the kid. It's it's laying, you know, hands on the ground, butt in the air. Who would give Saite something valuable like silver or respect? Silver looking. It's probably not silver. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. okay, good. More respect. Okay, so I'm going to use my shocking grass. Sorry, shocking grass cantrip, and I'm going to imbue Derek's axe. With the power of 1d8 lightning damage, Ooh. so the oh next boy. time he attacks, and I'm hoping that he'll attack, yeah, the Saige or whatever. I don't know what this, <laughs> what's the monster's name. I honestly don't know what Jigwe. it is. Jigwe. Jigwe. It's Saite. Jigwe. Saite. <laughs> <laughs> attack Saite. Got it. Yeah. I'm you hoping. Know. I'm hoping he'll deliver like a pretty powerful blow. You could take Saite out in the, con- in the chaos of battle, um, and no one would know. I thought I'm gonna, about it. I'm gonna take a health potion to try to regain a little bit of my HP before I roll. My XP before I roll for uh, my saving. So I didn't. I didn't make it. So I take another six damage. Five. How much did I get from the health potion? Oh, you're supposed to roll for your potion. I think it's like two D four. So that's three. So and I'm I think take... you add two as well, so it's five. So five. So then I took five damage. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. <laughs> Are you moving or anything? Uh, oh, if you don't consider that my bonus action, spits up into the person. Then I a will. Bit. Still move. I will take a cunning action <laughs> and and disengage. So I'll move five squares. Are you engaged? I don't think something? you're engaged with well, anyone. Uh, okay, I'll just take a cunning action then, and then I will just do a hide action. So I'll like okay. hide in the bushes. <laughs> So brave. <laughs> All right, Decker. Uh, I'll just cast Scorching Ray again. So I uh, got the program loaded up. It's ready to go. Might as well do another one. So they don't have a, a boost this time. So cast three of them. 11, uh, 19, and uh, seven. So only one of those hits, I'm assuming? 11, 19, and seven. Yeah, one. Okay. Ten. Nice. Yeah, all right. This thing uh, is, is starting to look a little rough. It doesn't have blood. But it's you know it's got skin that looks sort of made of wood and bits of bush and brush are, are falling off of it. It's hacked up and splinters are kind of coming out. Its tongue was once wild is now kind of starting oh, to no. sag a little Punch bit. Tongue. It what will Shadowcock do now? Another lonely Miri. night. What had happened to the guy that's kind of right next to me and Derek? He got, oh, he he's he like pruned on the hand, ground, yeah. like bleeding profusely. He's pretty much done, more or less. All right. Uh, Here's your chance. Finish him off. Be a hero. <laughs> he's, he's down at your level. He's kind of done though, so I think I'm gonna go after the. Uh, oh yeah. Shai, yeah. J- J- what's his Shai-gui. name? Oh, Shai-gui. Shai-gui. Here we go. All right. I'm, write that down. I'm gonna try. Here we go. I'm still. Divine smite. <laughs> I still believe that my destiny is to vanquish <laughs> this evil. Uh, so I'm gonna swing at him with my longsword. Thirteen. Hey. Hey, all right. Plus. Add prof- proficiency, right? Proficiency yeah. and strength. Okay, 18 then. Got him. Yeah, yeah all right. So 1d8. You sounds so jubilant. Ah. Yeah! Oh, wow! Plus you add- divine smite! <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't cast no. it. Oh, you didn't uh, cast it? No. Oh, oh dang come it. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, plus proficiency and strength no, again. Plus your strength. You don't plus add strength. proficiency to the okay. damage. So that plus was 10? Uh, Another 10? Plus... Strength is three, so no, it's eleven. Oh, and you didn't use divine smite. Oh, no, man, think what could have been. <laughs> I kind of tried to cast two things and fail, so I should. I'm out of slots more or less. All right, so uh, yeah, your sword goes, you know, into its belly, takes out a huge chunk of of its wood skin, uh, and it, it screams in pain and turns around, uh, swiping at you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're dead. Shit, twenty. Oh boy. Another wow. well, you hit him that one time though. <laughs> from he's gonna take that That's away from you. Hit. I mean, he's got ripped yeah, arms. He off. will take everything <laughs> away from you. I'll take Here your brain matter. Uh, Fourteen damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, oh dead. no! But how brave you were. <laughs> I'm out of potions, by the way. So I don't know if anybody else has a health. Uh, uh, I was, he I was the healer. I have fourteen. Jeez. Primo Double sees damage. Mariatis die from the bushes, and he can't believe what happened. He he now he's the shortest person in the group again. He's like, damn it. That's all he's upset about. No, he, he Weren't you always the shortest? I just grew. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right, we're 10 feet. Does that scare them at all? The demons? Yeah. Yeah. I heard it a hit, Shattercock. Oh, did Shy Way go? Oh, yeah, he turned around. Oh, yeah, he turned around and, and uh, killed, killed Mary. Mary. He killed yeah. Mary. Mary out. I'm going to go around here like that, just a couple squares, and then cast uh, Agonizar's Scorcher. Because that's the one that just doesn't, it just goes straight through them. And what that is is a line of roaring flame, three, 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, emanates from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. Creature takes 3d8 fire damage on a failed save. Do I need to roll for the cast? Yeah, you roll for the what the save needs to be. Yeah. Uh, it's 11. Oh. Yeah, save. He saves that. Mm. Absolutely, he does. All right, well, there you go. Didn't cast it. <laughs> but you made this fire burn a little yeah. brighter. No, no it fire came out of me at all. So yeah, well, I get your the fire does come out and, and yeah. blast through the air. It just doesn't affect He's, you know it, he wipes it away. Yeah, <laughs> nice. A, a few little of the bushes on his that are growing as his hair kind of crisp up and he the, opens his mouth. They barely, it all goes uh, in there. Barely noticeable. It smells good. Uh, goblins. Um, are there any left? There's oh, these two. two. Yeah, one two. Oh yeah, there. this one that's gonna keep wailing. He's still staring him. at my foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazed. Yeah, its mouth is literally hanging open, staring at your dick. It swings. <laughs> like a ten uh, Seventeen hit. <laughs> no, uh, I mean my armor class is seventeen. Okay, so yeah, he gets it. Yeah. Cut your foreskin down by go half. All the way up in. Oh, okay. You only have six or seven inches left. <laughs> you were gonna sell that foreskin. <laughs> See, his 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 mace goes right into your ass for five damage. Five ass damage. Man, that's a lot of ass damage. He's fucked. I will fuck him. <laughs> Give him some ass. I'm gonna damage. fuck him to death. <laughs> so this is happening. The, the one that gets <laughs> pissed. The one that's kind of fallen over managed is to kind of climb up, get back to his feet, and uh, stabs at deer again. He gets advantage because I recklessly okay. attacked. Well, he rolled a twenty. Boom! Um, oh, but he gets dang. advantage, so <laughs> let's double that. No. Uh, six damage. Uh, and it's going to use its bonus action to kind of grab at the back of the neck of one of the kids and kind of pull it closer to him. This is when Raxan yells, I will fuck you. I will fuck you. <laughs> I will you. fuck you to death. <laughs> yeah, Raxan is your go. All right. Oh, no, He's... don't do not do it, Adam. I well, will fuck here's you. Here's the best part, too. Also, oh. I have an action surge, which allows me to push myself beyond my normal limits. Oh, mm. good. Uh, which allows me two moves. So I'm <sighs> fucking this goblin to death one way or the other. <laughs> 18. Oh, there we go. got him. Okay, right. for damage. Unarmed. One plus five, Grapples. but I can use my action surge. One plus five get, okay. gets him. So I throw him on his on the ground. I literally <laughs> fuck him to death as I put my axe into his back and I look at the kids and go, this was for you. <laughs> oh, that's our thumbnail. One of them is actually like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I, am, I am like just, just ripping him apart oh, with my gosh. raging heart on. So I have, a, I have a question. If you have about three feet of foreskin, no. Do you have to yank it all back, or does it fold over onto itself? I believe I believe his uh, cornhole does it for me. Oh yeah, yeah. And pulls yeah. the skin back. But you would have to line it up because his butthole's so tight yeah. that when he slides in, yeah. it causes all the foreskin to bunch well, up. Yeah. I mean, sure, but like, okay. And so when that head gets in there, it just so we, so imagine imagine this is a dick, and then foreskin is like all the way out here, but yeah. it's limp. So it'd be like drooping. This ain't limp. And then when it goes in, it would just pull. No, because as the penis becomes flush with yeah. blood. It tightens, it tightens the foreskin as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I it see. becomes like a, a skin so sphere. You'd have to be back here and get a little run up because <laughs> you want to get it, all of it. And then you <laughs> see it crumple and crumple. It's like yeah, when you gotcha. see a okay. crash test dummy crashing a car into yeah. a wall. I, I, think, 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 I think that back to I didn't hit him with my great axe. I'm just pummeling the back of his head in oh, like gosh, a donkey while, punch. While fucking, yeah, yeah, while fucking him to death. And these kids are watching. It would have been nice. Uh, and I'm smiling while I'm doing it, giving them the thumbs up. So that everything's gonna be okay. Good God! I yeah, did so, this for you. Children. So the kids are actually really happy. They're crying in yeah. terror, but they're like, yeah. they're some of when them I, clapping. When I stand up, he's still attached. <laughs> oh. And then he just kind of <laughs> falls oh. off. So yeah, there's just they're a pile a of goo left. Yeah. Like two legs are split open. <laughs> Oi, I'm Captain Goblin. <laughs> 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 oh man. No, we won't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, you doing anything else your turn there? You want to move He's done or, or I think I light pull a him cigarette. Off. <laughs> okay. And I, I smile over his corpse. All right, Derek. All right. So, my axe got imbued with some lightning powers. It's 1d8 damage unless the, the awesomeness of these two things combining produces more effect. That's really up to the DM. Yeah, lightning orc ripper. Here's the problem. I need to get over there and oh, you're and close. Miri right away. <laughs> To, to get knocked down, but uh, you'll take a I'm gonna, attack of opportunity. If you I see that Miri went down, and then I go into a rage, and then and so then I, not thinking that there's a goblin behind me, I'm gonna go attack this guy. All right. 
Mm, 15 hit? Yes. Okay, so he gets you for two damage. All right, so he cuts me as I'm turned, but I don't even notice it. And then I come running over here with both my both my uh, axes. I'm going to do a reckless attack while in rage as well. Oh, wow. From the bushes? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> so this will be... It's like upside down oh, in a shrub. Oh. We've got to shake the lightning out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five, you're going up. Okay, that's, I just fucked a goblin in there and I find one of them. There you go. There you go. 21. 21 Ooh. definitely To be is. fair, it wasn't the fucking thing. 21, yeah. and now so... Well, I mean... Two, I'm doing, doing two good. strikes. One of them gets 1d8, right? Mm-hmm. So this is just going to be base oh, your, yeah, axe your, your damage. Your axe has the, First the power of the lightning. three lining. plus... Six. That's, that's six. And then that's... Well, six. Six, so that's 12 total. Plus your... Plus two for rage damage. Is 14, right, and then, then I get your D8. 1d8 D8. lightning nice. strike. Nice. Is another four. Damn. 18. 18 Good damage. God. I'll fuck him to death. Yeah. <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> they always come back unless you fuck them. Okay, so Shy Gwen uh, stumbles back, actually drops his sack. Oh no. Uh, kind of stumbles back, falls Into the fire. on the fire. But it's, yeah, it's, it's still there. Let's we'll see if He's it alive? Takes. He's alive. But Holy shit. Just barely. Grimo was, he was focusing so much that his like hair and eyebrows singed a little bit. <laughs> he was smoking up. Smoking up. Uh, so <laughs> it, he, he fell back into the fire and took another five damage. Oh, oh nice. nice. Which he he's made of wood too. Yeah. So, yeah. so he, no, he got knocked back because because Derek did the, his new move, which is where he puts his axe on the bottom of his foot, and then he kicks it into his throat. Oh, oh. I see, yeah. So Fucking that was the lightning one. Sweet yeah. You monster. Right. So he's not dead. <laughs> not, <laughs> almost. I, over dead. I go, <laughs> how brutal, and I look uh, over at Rex and just, <laughs> <laughs> Does Derek acknowledge at all that Grimo did this really cool, badass thing? Like, he's a really cool guy. As, as he pulls his lightning still axe out, he looks at it, and then he looks at Grimo. And he goes, <laughs> give one, him a little thumbs up. thumbs up. Also, Grimo, you're huge. Grimo calls out the shocker. He hit you with the shocker. You don't yeah, really need to make so it sexual. Say it in Grimo. Hey, Derek, hit you with the shocker, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that is Grimo's turn. He's making so many best what friends. What about Saite? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. That's okay. Don't forget about, don't about Saite. He's, he's, he's easy children. to forget about. And... I've got everything I came for. <laughs> Yeah, so Saite gra- grabs up one of these kids under his arm and then oh, so grocery dinks, list. dinks the, the goblin, uh, yeah. goblin on the top of the head and oh. it drops. I thought he was going to start knocking the children drops out. Drops dead. Uh, oh, yeah, you killed it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saite yeah. killed it? He got it. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Nice. <laughs> but he doesn't get experience for some reason. No, yeah, he gets less. So. That's all of them, right? Uh, Everything's dead? 13. Well, no. This guy's He's still, still alive. alive. He's really? Still in the flames. Yeah. I rolled 13 for my... Short bow mm-hmm. to hit him. So uh, thirteen, the the it's, it's, arrow's yeah. whiz kind of passed its head. Oh, I, you were aiming hit at it when two. it was still standing up, and Derek knocked it down, and oh. you're yeah, you let loose before. And then I'm gonna roll for my poison, or yeah, so it's you got to be two. fourteen Constitution. Oh, seventeen. All right, I no, continue you, to roll, or that cures it. That cures it. You're okay. done. Well, nice, Decker. Uh, I'll just hit him with a firebolt. It looks like he enjoys fire. I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> How would you like some fire? <laughs> With that fire. Get flamed up. Oh, nice. Yeah. 24. So that's just a hit, though. So it's a... Uh, it's a hell of a hit. Uh, three damage. <laughs> Yeah. When you're on fire, it's hard yeah. to notice that someone hits you with a fireball. Ever so slightly more on fire. Like a breeze. Yes. Okay, so uh, Shagwe manages to stand up. Uh, looks Decker right in the eye, and its little tongue swats you on the on the head. He gets he gets advantage because I recklessly oh, attack. Well, that's good to know. He still misses with that one. Nice. Idiot. Um, but then he, he snatches up his sack and tries to swing it and hit you in the head. A with sack, a sack full of children? <laughs> you gonna try and hit me with? All right. Uh, so yeah, the the sack just kind of flumps, hits you, and doesn't seem to have oh, any okay. effect on you. Do I hear muffled cries? Oh, from yeah. Well, you beat up all those kids in the Coliseum. Oh, that's yeah. true, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, you, not, that doesn't affect There's you. Child new. attacks. Yeah. All right, Cheddarcock. Does anybody have? Nobody has any health potions for Miri. I do. do I, I do. Well, wait, I have my little, I reincarnate with this gift. Oh, you know, yeah. actually, I skipped Miri. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you need um, to do a saving throw. No, you got to do a save. You roll, you roll a 20. When you're when you're unconscious, you get three attempts to come back to life. Oh. Three attempts to die. <laughs> All right. And if, if, it, if it's 10, you want to, I know you want to reincarnate. He doesn't trust Dan. 14. So you, it's a success. On your yeah. little there's sheet, like a little box. there's little dots. All right. Uh, and you fill in one for the success. It's oh, right so. under the... 
What do you middle need to get, column. You need to get above. 10. Over ten. Yeah, yes. ten, ten or above. You get three chances to get that. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Wait, it, you no, also three like failures as well. If you get a one through a nine three times in a row, you're dead. Dead, dead forever. Mm -hmm. No. Permadeath. All right. So many things. Sorry for skipping you, Mary. It's really okay. It's just his heart beating right. once. <sighs> Let's do acid splash. Oh yeah, burn him. Yeah, <laughs> he's already on fire. Feel the burn. Water spray. Oof. There we go. Now That's we're talking. Splash. Twenty-five. Extinguishing Definitely cloud. Some... Four. Nice. Not bad. All right. Four damage. See, so, yeah, acid starting to burn away all of his uh, his his shrubbery he's hair. On fire for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, um, th th it's it's panting. It, it's hunched over. Um, and it's try, you know, it looks like it's gonna try and uh, run away or escape. It doesn't swing at me and hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> all those Probably goblins. Dead. All those notices goblins that Mary's dead. coming back to life. <laughs> yeah. Stabs it. So it's uh, Raxon's turn. Um, I have a javelin I can throw. So I notice that a little bit of so as I pull out, um, <laughs> I notice that a little bit of his orc intestines falls out of his ass. Oh. And so I take that and I wrap it around my oh, javelin for, go. for good luck. For good luck. I feel like it should take a <laughs> significant chunk of turn for you to pull out because you'd have to move back like about that far to get all the way out of him. Uh, Those are five foot squares. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, so uh, roll for my javelin throw. It's a 12. Yeah. Is it plus proficiency? Do you have proficiency in plus javelin strength. tossing? Uh, he absolutely does. You get a plus five. Plus five, that's what it is, yeah. Oh, so uh, 17 hits. Nice. And then for damage, this is, I believe, a plus five is a plus three for piercing. So eight plus three, yeah. Damn. 11 piercing right. with intestine. Uh, <laughs> that came out of a, uh, what do you call goblin. that? Goblin. Yeah. A goblin. What's Asshole. It called, what is it called when your ass? It's prolapse. A prolapse anus. Yeah. Of a, uh, of a goblin. So yeah, your anus javelin ends, ends that guy, if you want to tell us how that works. All the work everyone else did, this guy's um, anus javelin. So, <laughs> I feel like this guy has some sort of um, magical spirit thing where when he touches things like powder, he, he gets their Always memories. Powder. So as the intestine goes through his eye socket and rips through, he lives the life that he had. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, nice. And he experiences getting fucked to death. Okay. Oh, shit. You should just have the javelin hit him in the ass and then go <laughs> on. Oh, yeah. Well, it goes through his eye, and then when he falls over, he falls on the javelin, and it then it goes through his ass. Oh, okay. So and it, it puts went the through, intestine yeah, back yeah. in his intestine. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And he, he's just living that, that death over and over and oh, over. Wow. I just, <sighs> I just imagine everything's dead, everyone's covered in blood, there's intestines and everything, and then we turn to the children to go, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ipe miracle. Grima comes out of the bushes. Oh, yeah. He says, kids, are you okay? As <laughs> he's holding my cigarette. <laughs> Is that everything? Did we kill everything? Yeah, I think he killed Did everything. Did the kids right? react to Grima saying, kids, are you all okay? So yeah, I guess they're they're all still terrified and, and screaming, but... Uh, Grima screams with them, ah! Like, that's how they, they're <laughs> clapping at the amazing kill of Shai Gwei. So, Raxon, you actually... Uh, fall to the ground unconscious. Okay. Where, where'd your guy go? Not right here. Oh, no. so naked kind of next to some children. <laughs> I thought yourself into a car. <laughs> no, okay. It's all good. The melatonin gets released. It's just demon blood and intestines just all concentrated in a band around you. a little bit of spun coming yeah. down on my chest a little bit. Yeah. So uh, you have this vision, uh, kind of this bright gold, happy, fat elven face uh, says, Raxon Bartooth, you have succeeded. A dark power had gripped me and taken my magic hostage. By slaying that demon, you have saved these children and released my spirit. You must now take on the mantle of Coddle for these people. Every year you must return and bring joy to these children. It's like the movie The Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> I'm Tim the Coddle Claus. <laughs> the Coddle Claus. You are a very worthy successor to this throne. You shall do fine. Okay, I'm naked next to two children. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you're a one-star cod off right now. Oh, nice. oh, that's awesome. How does he get to two? Does he have to rape more <laughs> goblins? Find out next year. He should, he should be wearing that. Yeah. <laughs> should we trade hats? Well, we can worry about that next 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 year. Next year. Next Mona eBay. Yeah. yeah. It's every three months. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now, a month sucks. lasts about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a good job. Better cool. uh, Full time. I wake up. So yeah, you come to. Wow. And I throw up a little bit. <laughs> and I see what I did. It's like, holy shit! Uh, so Saitang's like, the heroes, the heroes, they've done it again. They've saved us all. Can he trip? <laughs> he trips. Okay. Into the, he, fire. I mean, Into the fire. Into the fire. His cool plate 
candle breaks um, and dents I'm gonna, and crumples up. I have a healing potion, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Miri. Okay. Yay. Miri, you can have my healing potion. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like drunk <laughs> and not feeling so hot. Poor Miri. So roll the uh, two d4, and then add two to that. I think technically you would do it if you're like pouring a potion uh, into so his. So what are you doing? Two d4. Four. Four. <laughs> Four. Wow. Ah. My potions are strong. Thank so you. That's done. Also, if if anybody has like the medicine proficiency, you could run up and stabilize him. Oh, I don't. And I don't then you I wouldn't have, have to use that potion. I do not. Have All right, like I can use mouth. one of my own little things to help oh, me out. Use the other lips. <laughs> I go. I go <laughs> myself on it. I go. Great <laughs> shot, Miri. You you knocked him off. Uh, you knocked him off guard. And I hit him a few times. Yeah, you got him real good. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Derek, uh, there was some great axe work there. Uh, yeah. Great assist, maybe. Yeah, it, was really, it felt like uh, for some reason I was just felt really strong. And I don't know, maybe I maybe caught a lightning bolt or something on uh, this axe. Maybe, maybe, maybe did a lot of damage maybe, maybe though, really ripped makes him up good. Maybe friendship makes us stronger, you know? Maybe that's what it... I don't know, I was out there by myself. Well, maybe someone was with you, you just didn't know it. You're right. Thanks for your help, Miri. Oh. If you hadn't knocked him off knocked him off guard, I wouldn't have been able to get that strike in true, on him. I kind true. of yeah, stand up, I'm like, you're welcome. Some great work out there, Miri. Oh yeah, he's really on the shoulder. <laughs> tall. Decker, Decker saw and knows magic, so we'll just put a hand on Grimo's shoulder, oh. and nod in acknowledgement. Oh, I'm smelling. Yeah. Grimo got his mono <laughs> Ipe wish. In, he smell got a little mo- bit. He got his mono uh, Ipe wish. Uh, I, I take a knee, put my hand around both those kids, and goes, "Who wants waffles?" <laughs> <laughs> um, Shadowcock's gonna go to the body of this thing, mm-hmm. whatever it was, Shagway, and see if there's anything on him. So it, you get his sack. That's like the only thing he's really got. Okay. Cool. Shagway sack. sack. Going for the sack mm. as usual. Uh, well, I always have a lot of kids in there. there. Or what's in the bag? Shagway sack. This bag, I, uh, I'll yeah. read it out. I'll read it out. This bag has an interior space considerably larger than its outside dimensions. Harry Potter. Uh, roughly two feet in diameter at the mouth and four feet deep. The bag can hold up to 500 pounds. Wow. Nice. Yeah. There we go. The bag yeah. always weighs You pounds. have to carry it. You can carry it Grima as a around better now. I the best brassiere she's ever had. Yeah. Uh, retrieving a, an item from the bag requires an action. All right, sweet. I'll take it. Thanks, Shagway, or whatever your name was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to see what's in the sack. Oh, I mean, he stuffed some children in there. Sure, yeah. Oh, Bring them along. If there are children in there, the muffle. He hit me with yeah. that sack. Uh, yeah, Shattercock reaches in the sack. Okay, so yeah, you reach in, kind of pull out a kid. Mm. Um, reach <laughs> yeah, back okay, in. Here we go. There's a bunch of shit in there, and you're ten feet tall, so yeah. it's not too like yeah. you're just kind of. Oh, it'll be okay. You actually like ah, t- you turn it upside down and shake it out, and uh, three or four little kids plop out onto the ground, <laughs> oh, and uh, a bunch of uh, little presents, whatever oh, medieval geez. presents for children it's are. A oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so all this crap falls on top of those kids, but it's like a big pile of cool stuff for the kids, and they they start screaming like not no longer horrified from this demon monster, but they see all this cool. Sweet shit, and they're running over and just grabbing handfuls of it. And That's why they're naughty off. children. They're not even asking. They're just yeah. stealing oh. shit. Here you go, kids. Here's some gifts. And then I, I give all the gifts to well, all the children. Shouldn't Decker do it? He's oh, that's right. Santa way. Well, well, shouldn't you do it? You're the Santa Claus. Oh, well, I have to wait a year. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where are their parents? <laughs> <laughs> I so, yeah, the villagers start to come in too, okay. and they're oh, all like cheering your up. names. Yeah. Like, dog man, dog man, <laughs> dog man. <laughs> Grima goes, Grima, Grima, <laughs> Grima. This is a true Mano Ipe miracle. Perhaps we could celebrate by singing some of the songs that we would sing at Chippu Weebu. What the hell is what? I don't know. Chippu, Chippu, Chippu is the guy. Yeah, Chippu. it is also the holiday, I oh, forgot. Oh, um, <laughs> the same name. We perhaps we could sing some of the songs that we would sing during this time mm. of celebration. You're going right, well, let's do it. Lead us. So the, the local uh, wizard uh, reads Grimo's mind and uh, some some lyric sheets just appear out of, oh, out of oh absolutely nowhere. <laughs> oh, you guys were colluding. What a setup. Oh, here, here. Oh, no. We each get one, right? Yeah. Grimo right. might want to like show everyone how the tune yeah. goes, I guess. Well, you want to sing the first part and then we'll I mean, I think we'll it, makes, it makes sense. Oh, no. yeah. It says to the tune of. Yeah, it does say. Well, that's not what it says. That's the wizard <laughs> who did something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, Grimo. How, how does it go, Grimo? Yeah. Jaya bells, Jaya bells, tinkle all the way. Oh, what a fun it is to smoke in a two-foot halfling sleigh. Hey, Jaya bells, Jaya bells, tinkle all the way. Oh, what a fun it is to smoke in a two-foot halfling sleigh. Hey, we're dashing through the hills in Uncle Mugen's sleigh. 
All the halfling holes go smoking all the way Some bark tails ring, making Siggy's bright. Oh, what fun it is to sing a gyre song tonight. Oh, gyre bells, gyre bells, take all the way. So you guys are like wandering through the, the town singing your gyre song. The next one, here we go. Hey, I'm naked. Oh. Skills to fall in. The skeleton head and skeleton body. The life of 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 the life he was made of shit and he threw off it when Grimo stole his bits. There must have been some tragic in that old bum bastard's past. For when they asked him for a trick, he said to suck a pig. Happy holidays, kids! <laughs> 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 Kill the ball man with a shitty decrepit skeleton. With a skeleton head and a skeleton body and a nice voice the size of a skull. I like the all the villagers are cheering. Drunk. Uh, <laughs> that girl be. Oh, that was just magical. Thick was like. He's <laughs> 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 like, hold on, I just got it loaded. <laughs> yeah, we're He's done. Late. When they <laughs> just in. Well, it's, wow. not, it's always nice to find out what Elise is doing on her laptop <laughs> when I look over and she says, <laughs> "Don't look." That took five minutes. I like it. You really did a great job. Yeah, that's really good. All right, so yeah, the, the village is ecstatic with you guys. You're singing songs, you're oh. killing demons, yeah, you're doing, doing bringing right. presents for kids. You guys are just the most amazing people. And I'm going to oh, use yeah. prestidigitation to summon a little Christmas tree. Oh! oh. It's it's really roll roll for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's how prestidigitation The tree sucks. <laughs> there you go. Let's, let's roll for the quality of the, the, sure. the tree. It's a Charlie Brown tree. Oh, it's on well. fire. Is yeah. that a six? It's a six. Middling tree. Yeah. Mm. No lights. Yeah. It does tip over a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. No, it's like it's supposed to be like a little two dimensional little flash of Gr light. Grimo in the shadows again, he uses his mage hand to kind of secretly it push oh, it up. Because oh, he and Decker no. had that moment. That's true, oh. we did. We bonded. Uh, Derek goes and pees on it with one oh, leg up. Nice. <laughs> then kicks. Everybody gets what they want. He's yeah. 10 feet tall, so he's peed That's all over. That's a lot of pee. over. Yeah. Washing some kids away. Wee! <laughs> That's a lot of slime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody gets what they want. It smells like asparagus. Yeah. So yeah, the drinks are pouring. Um, I guess uh, the villagers start to take their kids home. Yeah. You know, after this horrible traumatic experience. Probably the, rest. The village square mm -hmm. starts to empty out. Um, some cheat, the village elder actually walks up to you as a group and uh, pulls out this uh, kind of ornate metal spear tip. And he goes, I would, I would be honored if the heroes of our village would take one of our most treasured possessions and go forth into the world and do good with it. Cool. So he hands, uh, let's see who's the closest to him, uh, hands the spear tip to you. Oh. Th this is Devil's Prayer, an ancient relic from our town. It does extra... Horrible damage to demons and devils of all kinds. Mm. So, Devil's Prayer, it's a 1d6 spear, piercing, uh, versatile 1d8. Um, a magical relic from Jayan, one attack, plus one attack, and and plus one damage against demons and devils. Obviously, I am terrible with the spear. Give it to Mary. So who wants it? Mary, Mary deserves Mary, it. Mary fights for divinity. Mary! And so he, him killing he, demon, being a demon slayer would make sense. He gave his life for us. I think, I think you've earned this. Oh, uh, I don't Mary. know. I might just miss with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Chabawak. Uh, yeah, Mary Chabawak. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the great Myriadis who probbles. No one is more deserving of our, our town's powerful relic. Oh, okay. Here, here. Uh, Go forth and do good. Uh, Jared goes over to uh, to Grimo and goes like, hey, thanks for the, the lightning powers earlier. I, I want to give you something. And reaches back and then takes out his bones. <laughs> his, his that's really hard for bone. that's hard for Derek to Grimo do. Grimo cannot believe he is honored with such a gift. Here, take this. He takes it and he puts it down his pants and it looks like he's got an erection <laughs> for all but the kids. It's, it's not. That's but not for like keeps. <laughs> that's not for keeps. You can just like hold it for now. I, I might need it back. I am honored, Derek, and I sh shall imbue your axe with lightning at a later time. In this story, Mary Chibblewatts or whatever. Mary Chibblewatts, do you do? Grimo can't believe it. His two dads are just showering him <laughs> with dads. praise and love. Shatter Shattercock <laughs> sees the gift giving. She already gave away Devil's Prayer. I understand that, but she she realizes, you know, Decker looks really really lonely. He always looks really lonely. He's always frowning. Promising. So Shattercock walks up to Decker, 
reaches in her giant her bag of 500 pounds and pulls out a super booze, which we got from I forget I have it written down. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but super we have booze. it. Tucker, this booze is for you. Mm. Just grabs it, and grunts. <laughs> nice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, very whatever. Who cares? <laughs> so, heroes of the village, please uh, go find rooms at the inn. Uh, no cost. You are you are our saviors. Go get some rest. Uh, and you know, to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> banging on it. You don't get to sleep. Yeah. Open up! Nope. Uh, how much XP? So yeah, you guys each got 360 experience for that. Ooh. So yeah, the and villagers have all kind of gone home. No, There's a few people standing around still, but it's up to you guys what you want to do now. Just rest, right? All right, so yeah, uh, I guess a few, mi- a few of you might head back to the bar. A few might go grab some rest or sit by themselves with Here? your computer. Bar? <laughs> let's get a drink. Yeah, uh, sure, let's I'm get gonna, a drink. I'm going to... Grimo, come on. Toddle after them. I'm going to make it. I'm joining them. Still got the bone in his I'm pants. I'm going to be that asshole in the corner of the Starbucks just like tapping on my laptop, staring at everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of lagging behind, but I'm, I'm with you. He's limping. Grimo, he falls back. He puts his arm around Mary. He's oh. just kid, come on, Mary. Just because you're the little guy doesn't mean you you're should the drink at this point. Make note of this: surrounded by blood and gore. Yeah. <laughs> this is still low. Guys, everybody's here. Like friends, <laughs> friends. Like, Shut the door and lock uh, it. Yeah, I like the idea of Saite's about to walk in the bar and the bouncers in <laughs> the bar is full. <laughs> Sorry, private party. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think that's a perfect place to stop the holiday special. Um, Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Yeah. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy Jimbo Watsits. Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shattercock reaches in the sack. Okay, so yeah, you reach in, kind of pull out a kid, um, reach <laughs> back okay, in. Here we go. There's a bunch of shit in there, and you're 10 feet tall, so yeah. it's not too, like, yeah. you're just kind of. Oh, it'll be okay. You actually, like, <laughs> ah, you turn it upside Sorry. down and shake it out, and uh, three or four little kids plop out onto the ground, <laughs> oh, and uh, a bunch of uh, little presents, whatever oh, medieval geez. presents for children it's are. A <laughs> so all this crap falls on top of those kids, but it's like a big pile of cool stuff for the kids, and they they start screaming like not no longer horrified from this demon monster, but they see all this cool sweet shit, and they're running over and just grabbing handfuls of it. And That's why they're naughty off. children. They're not even asking. They're just yeah. stealing oh. shit. Here you go, kids. Here's some gifts. And then I, I give all the gifts. To well, shouldn't the, Decker do it? He's Oh, that's right. Santa way. Well, that shouldn't you do it? You're the Santa Claus. Oh, well, I have to wait a year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Twits and Crits, uh, penultimate episode of season two. Uh, who remembers what we did last time? We killed Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. that's right. Evil Took Christmas. Down. Yeah. Murdered it. What was the name of that creature? Jesus. Yeah. Chigway. No. <laughs> was it Chigway? Chigway. I got a sack. The, the giant sack that can hold like 500 pounds or whatever. So you can carry. Uh, you were, uh, you whoa. Can carry Grimo. Whoa. Don't you mix up those characters. Whoa. Only. There's one person watch who watched the game trailer. I was going to say, it's 500 <laughs> pounds. You can, you can, uh, <laughs> at least the one. You can put your bra you know. That doesn't count if there's a mirror in the room when you record it. <laughs> was that? Yes. Is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We okay. saved the town again. <laughs> You're Thank you children. for saving our children of our town, and then you return. Mm-hmm. Oh, you also saved everyone again. Yeah. yeah. And we were given free keep at the inn. Oh right, that's we were right. Celebrated yeah. heroes. That's true. I don't know. We, we, Even though Miriatus, being a folk hero, could stay for free anywhere he wants. No, that's know, not what it says. Did you guys know he was a folk hero? I didn't <laughs> really. Know he was no, a folk hero. I don't remember hero. what happened yesterday. So. <laughs> we we well, no, his it's homeland. Just, it's just a background. We all, we all have traffic. backgrounds. How'd you become a folk hero? You it was I, you have to pick a background. You make a character. <laughs> What's your fun? What made you a folk hero? What made Miri a folk hero? Uh, it was mostly in his show. mind. Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know, that but I, I feel okay. like he, I feel like he probably grew the largest onion. Real quick, real quick, team huddle without yeah. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Let's all just drill him until we get this fucking story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every one of our characters. Him a folk hero. Yeah. Like, let's just get. Well, that. That's what I'm saying. We gotta yeah. interact okay. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so good. okay, so we're in the inn. Yeah, yeah. Right, you we know, all have think... separate rooms because we're we're so successful. Naturally, but there's only four rooms. So we all have separate rooms. There's only four. Oh, so we hadn't. We've stayed here before. Have we bunked down yet? Yeah, yeah. You guys went to bed at the end of last episode, but you guys said they were going. I wake sleeping. up kind of in the middle of the night and I go, you know what, I've always yeah. been bothered by something. Uh-huh. Derek, Derek comes over, he goes over to Miri's uh, little rollout thing because mm. Derek got the bed, obviously. Right. He, he nudges, he goes, hey, hey. Like last time. You mentioned that you're a folk hero. What's that all about? <laughs> I, never, I never said that. So Decker's also working on his his roster of his, of his companions, right? Mm. He's writing out the backstory for everybody. He's on Miri. 
A little blinking curse is there. He doesn't know what's going on. So Decker can't have that. He gets up, walks over to walks over to uh, Raxan. No, nope, you're Raxan. Derek. Yeah, thank you. Mary. And uh, Decker plops down and says, hey, I'm just working on my records here. I don't have anything about your history. Could you please tell me about what you did before you joined us? Grimo pops up. He's oh. been sleeping on a bedroll beside Mary. Because as you'll remember in se- episode 7, season 2 of, no. of no. Twits and Crits, <laughs> Mary told Grimo they thought he was a cool guy as well. So now Grimo's all on the Mary train. So yeah. he pops up and he says, yeah, Mary, you're the coolest guy here, my best friend, but I don't know much about you. Uh, the bathroom door bursts open and Shattercock <laughs> comes out with just a towel. She goes, <laughs> Folk hero. What? Are you a folk hero? Not really. It's more of a. <laughs> I used to think I was. Put it that way. I followed behind. I'm holding a cup because I was already spying <laughs> on what was happening. I couldn't hear very well, and I was like, "Hey, I'm here too." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of confused, like wanting to go back to sleep. Why do you guys all need to know this? I think we're all right sitting now. in a circle around him, like it's story time yeah. now. <laughs> no. That's how I wake up. Yeah. Just. Tell, tell us the story of how you became a folk hero, Mary. Come on, Mary. Yeah. There's no story. It's just it was more or less in my mind as a child, training, running around, collecting things for the what harvest. What kind of training? Oh, you know, the martial type training that you guys have participated in with me, fighting monsters and stuff, sword, I, shield, I all that. I heard from a friend, from a friend, from a friend that you saved a little boy's life. I heard you saved a little boy's life like 10 years ago. What happened? I heard you killed a little boy. I heard you collected onions. Uh, onions, yeah. I don't know what you guys heard about. But tell us about boy. the wolf. Wolf? What wolf? You know the story about the wolf. <laughs> Come on, Mary, tell us about the wolf. Since you guys want to hear about a wolf. Uh, <laughs> Decker looks up. He's very excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, there was a big wolf and... Uh, there was a full cure. It wasn't me, but uh, <laughs> he saved he saved the village. He's being modest. One night, okay. and they could all go back stuff. to sleep. Okay. We and know uh, the end. What How big you... was the village? Oh, not that big. You know, it was a small mountain dwarf village. But where do you come into this story about this other folk hero, Mary? I don't. <laughs> I, I think he's talking about himself, but he's being modest. He's being very modest. Yeah. No, I never saved any boy, all right? Just in my... In Killed my, a boy, yeah. murdered a wolf. Got I it. was humored as saved a young... Saved a village. Hero. Got it. He's a monster. <laughs> From my early years of 102 to 150 as a young dwarf, I was humored by my by my village, my, my fellow villagers. I wasn't really a folk hero. Can I go back to bed now? Us halflings only live to about 100 unless we get the ring. Well, that's too bad. You should get whatever ring that is. <laughs> All right, I guess we got the story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we know. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm asleep. Yeah. Decker's already looking at porn. Rexan, you got those heads? We got to make it to this back to where we got to claim those heads for that prize. Got to remind me about that. I'm all tired. <laughs> what if happened? Were, Who's got heads? We were turn. We claim the heads. Claim Grimo heads. gets his pardon. Grimo can go back to the Jaya, see his fan... Go back to the Jaya, you know. You, wait, Moondog Brothers heads? Yeah. Oh, God. What season was that from? <laughs> I mean, winter? <laughs> winter. <laughs> oh, so yeah, yeah. What time is it? Nighttime right now? Yeah, it's the middle okay, of the night. Okay, yeah. So you guys all woke up. Yeah, we all woke up. Gotcha. Um, Does that interrupt my full rest? Oh, yes. Recovering nice. SP? Also, did you say your thing today? Or is your penis going to blow off? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it yesterday, didn't I? Okay. Just, I don't know if he did. Oh. But have you said it in the new day? Actually, you know, uh, telling us the true story of your folklore might be something that you wouldn't normally say. Mary. Well, then I just fulfilled that thing for today, didn't I? <laughs> Provided it was true, maybe. Some of it was. We'll find out. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, uh, so you need heads. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go to bed. We'll do this tomorrow. Oh, shouldn't we go I to sleep? slept eight hours. You slept eight hours? Yeah. How'd you sleep eight hours? Wait, what time is it, Dan? It's like, can we... it's like two in the morning. Oh, can you, you just be morning so we can go? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, we, just, we just stare at each other. Someone said it was the middle of the night. The clock rolled with it. It's like Elder Scrolls. Yeah, the so clock just you know. sun comes up. You all feel refreshed. Okay. You did a bunch of good shit yesterday. Fantastic. Actually, um, get three hundred XP for. Woo! Um, did we add that or no? Last time we got three sixty. We had three sixty. Well, you oh. get. Oh, so you get three hundred. You're already right now for the for returning the daughters to. Oh wow! Cool. Those yeah, yeah, I had three hundred plus four hundred plus three hundred plus three. I don't know. Uh, just add. All right, so yeah, you guys. I am. Can you guys all wake up in whatever rooms you were in in the uh, hotel? 
So okay. I knock on Raxan's door and ask him for the heads, because we got to yeah. get a move on to claim these heads. I'm and I'm confused, because I'm like, why does Grimo want to give me head? And I'm standing behind Grimo, because we slept together, obviously, uh -huh. in the same room. But we didn't have sex. Everybody, just so everybody's aware. Grimo's wearing Shattercock's like silk robe. Like they're both wearing matching silk robes <laughs> with like lace on them. So she, um, she peeks in and I peek over her oh, yeah. shoulder. I was clearly doing some sort of puppet show with the heads in my room. <laughs> uh, and I look a little guilty and I'm still holding the glass because I was spying on Miri tonight, <laughs> hoping he would at least talk in his sleep and tell me more about his damn story. Didn't. Um, and I go, yeah, I'll be right out. And I close the door. Go back, you hear some shuffling. I have my clothes on, and then the heads are in a bag. Like, we can go now, what? but I want a continental breakfast. Does the inn have that? How would I know? I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got eggs and stuff down there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's grab the rest of the party, and we'll uh, let's deliver some head. Decker, Derek, Mary, let's yeah. go. Well, Decker's already downstairs wearing a bathrobe. His hair's up in a in a cap, oh. but he's oh, also can they wearing be in sunglasses. Curlers? <laughs> well, they're in curlers under the cap, uh, but he's got his sunglasses on. And he's holding his laptop with one hand and trying to scoop out powdered eggs into a plate with the other. It's getting pretty rickety and he might drop something with us. Uh, what about the waffle maker? How's that working? Oh, it's it's complicated. He's already burned himself a couple yeah, times. Those things never turn out right. <laughs> Grima, uh, he skips breakfast, but he dresses. I'm heading down to the smithy. If any of you buffooks want to get some of your weapons tempered. Mm, all right, I'll go with you. Okay, Shadowcock. Anybody else? Dog grabs, grabs like a huge handful of bacon and just shoves it in his mouth. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go. go. I have a spare weapons I yeah, want to get rid of. There's also a shop, too. Oh, no, yeah, that's right, the shop. I just shrug and follow them out. What's in the smithy? Laptop and eggs. Uh, and are you guys all going in the smithy? Sure. Yeah. 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 Wow. I got nothing to do. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> we'll crown the smithy. And I, I, pull, I have my short sword <laughs> that I pull out. And I also have uh, the sword that I, big sword that I got from the skeleton. The rusted sword. Dungeons. Yeah. Uh, what What's inside the smithy? Uh, so there's a guy next to the anvil hammering on some sword or something. He's making. Uh, he's a little drunk and hungover, so he's he's you know hard, 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 hard. Yeah. drunk and hungover. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Party last night. <laughs> Can't believe he has to work on a holiday. Poor guy. <laughs> if I give you this big old rusted sword, smithy, is there anything you can work on this for me? Uh, what you looking for, little man? <laughs> Grimo wants to be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Very quite short in, short in stature and, and therefore strength. But perhaps if I had a weapon that could accommodate for my lack of strength, you know, meet me halfway there. Um, I notice some stilts on the wall and I go, will these work? <laughs> How much for the stilts? Uh, a gold. Single gold piece. Okay, that's a steal. That's, that's a good deal. Primo buys yeah. the stilts. Man, oh, no yeah. He either. flips a gold, gold piece and he says, happy mono weepoe, my friend. But it hits him in the thigh because you're so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just drops in front of him. He's still hammering because it's you know he's got big gloves and it's hard work. And, and you know what? I'll throw in the sword. In addition, just because I'm feeling good. Can, can they be um, like those stilts that like people wear at Comic Con? Is that where they're like fawn legs? Yeah, sure. they're yeah backwards weird. like a dog. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool, freak. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You got some stilts. How much do you charge stilts? for uh, weapon sharpenings? Uh, two gold. Two gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How how good are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm not the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. <laughs> uh, what could you do with a hand axe? I could sharpen it. Okay. Okay, you could sharpen it. Okay. Yeah. All right, I got two of them. <laughs> All right. Do you sell any DIY kits? Maybe just do it myself. Oh yeah, there's a few stones in the corner. Those are those are a couple gold. Too. Oh, you sell rocks? Yeah. Okay, rocks. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll waddle up to him with my little little slippers on. You buying? And I'll just hold out a hand, and I've got some rings, like silver rings and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, the, the ones that look like they're made of uh, silver, I'll take. Uh, let's see here. So you're going to sell the silver for gold? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I've got three silver rings and one gold earring. Uh, did you happen to write down what they were worth? How do you know? He, he, yeah, he, he, I picked them up off of dead things. It didn't come oh, with a go price. Next, get, go next um, door and get it appraised. What have you got there? Three silver rings, one gold earring. All right, I'll give you 40 gold for that. Damn! Oh my God. Wow. His his eyes will open a bit, but you don't see because he's got his cool sunglasses on. <laughs> so his eyebrows, though. He just he just shoves them further at the guy. I'll take I'll take that price. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and I go to shoulder through everybody. I got some weapons that I've been meaning to get rid of. Would you be interested in buying any of these? Oh boy, uh, you guys are starting to clean me out here. Um, <laughs> Jeez, let's rob him. <laughs> Beat him up. Let's kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'll sharpen your axes. What are you looking to sell there? What, you got anything good? One great axe, one hand axe, and one long sword. 
Um, I'll give you five gold for all of it. For all of it? It's kind of getting close to all the money I have in the world. <laughs> yes! I got in there early. You gotta be aggressive. We spent almost no money this entire yeah, game. Yeah, no, I know. No. Five gold We're for just, just the hand axe. I don't, I don't think so. Green right. leans over the Goodbye. smithy <laughs> on his stilts and in an act of intimidation. He says, I think you should give my friend five gold. Will you do an intimidation roll? Yeah, he's he's leaning on his stilts. He's gonna fall into that. So 18 oh, wow. plus three. Oh god, yeah, the little guy's like terrified of, of you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this monster? <laughs> take he's it, take it. He's he, with I me. guess he, he what, what were you trying to convince him to do? Five gold for my friend Miri. Okay, yeah, yeah, he, he throws the coins at him yeah. and snatches the axe. So now he's got more junk. Thanks. I'll yeah. keep my great axe and long sword then. No problem, little guy. We're gonna come back to this town. That's when he's gonna be closed. Yeah, he's gonna be out of for business. Money. Yeah. Good. We got ours. Who gives a shit? Uh, Shadowcraft doesn't really have anything to sell, so she goes to the shop to kind of check out and see what's in the shop. Okay. She walks in. What does she see? Hello. There's Hi. like a little person, you know, pushing stuff around on the shelves. What do you got to sell? Uh, well, everything you see here. What do I see? <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, got a little bit of everything. It's the room of requirement. Hmm. <laughs> do you have anything rare? Oh, no. Um, well, hmm. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, honest here. I know. <laughs> appreciate that. We just uh, sell hand axes here. <laughs> no. You noticed that the shop Ten gold for yeah. little tunnel. This is a conveyor belt. <laughs> Six gold for the hand axe. Yeah, but you know, an assortment of, of, of knives and, and axes. It's all garbage. Two swords, it. shields, all trash. some food. I read the reviews. They're bad. Boring! <laughs> <And> she leaves. <laughs> She's standing out in the road just waiting for the other people. Do you want to go dry off on the hut? Why is everybody yeah. wet on the I guess. Well, That's I'm mean. always wet. Yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be walking yeah. back to, to get on my 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 uh, uniform, I guess you'd call it. Uh, He's and in I'll, his bathroom. I see Shattercock sitting sure. outside. Is there anything good in there? No, not at all. No magic potions, no nothing? Nothing, I asked. God damn it. You should write a scathing review and put it... On Yelp? Well, <laughs> I, it'd be like... Yalpe. Yalpe. Yeah. Two mm -hmm. L's, two P's. It's a scroll in the <laughs> middle of town. Three E's. No, there's nothing there, Decker. Ah, bullshit. Small, no. small town shop. Never had anything. No. Okay, yeah, I'll go back to the end and take off my bathrobe, reveal my stunning physique <laughs> to no one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, it's skeletal. It's 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 ghoulish. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> put on my sweet, sweet gear. Get ready to go. Head back outside. How long is it going to take for these my axes to be done? Okay, yeah, like... 15 minutes. 15 minutes? All right, I'm going to go to the shop and see if they have any other cool stuff. They don't. As you're walking Hello. in. Hello! I'll just say, Do you guys crap. have any... Um, crap in there, there's nothing good. Do you have don't any... Don't waste your time. Uh, battle axes in here? They don't have anything. Battle axe. You know? Or a war hammer? He's just, uh, just my wife. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, the dude disappears for a second. He goes, what about this? And he, he pulls up a great big old hammer. A big old hammer? Yeah, hmm. Yeah. How much for the hammer? Hmm. What did, what did it what did it say there? I don't know. What's the going rate? It's like two gold. It's like two gold. Two gold. It's more than that. The shop Whatever James says, wrong. Rate. It's like two gold no, for a hammer. Costs. How are you supposed to know that? What page is it on, James? 149. While this wow. is happening. Wow. 15 gold pieces. All right. What if I told you I saved your whole town twice? <laughs> 10 gold pieces. Oh. Eight. Nine. Eight. Because you're such a good person. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, deal. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. Well, we're negotiating with money we've never spent. Grimo, yeah. uh, he goes over to the shop. Uh, he's having a hard time wielding his stilts. Yeah. So you have, to, like, you have to duck to get into the doorway now. Yeah, he's never experienced that sensation. You have to brace before. yourself on knocking stuff off shelves. <laughs> he he got through some mud, so he's like traipsing oh, mud on no, the stilts no. in the shop. But he kind of goes up to one of the shopkeeps and really quietly he says, "Excuse me, there. I'm looking for a, a gift for." A, a lady. Per hmm. chance, do you sell any kind of uh, er erotic garb, <laughs> if you will? Hmm. You know, not here, but we do have an old lady in the village that makes some clothes. Let me uh, stay here for just a minute. I'll go run and see what she's got. This old lady makes sex clothes? <laughs> what, what is the sex clothes? Oh, uh, you know, like a lingerie or something. Hmm. Let me go find out. Lace yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah, I love okay. your lacy. When the shopkeep comes back, just tell him you saved the city twice. <laughs> Got you. Got you a deal. Got you, dog brain. Thanks for the tips. All right, so he scuttles away. A few minutes, comes back with a bunch of lacy stuff that has a giant um, kind of iron breast holder of some oh. kind. <laughs> I guess it's a bra. Um, it does have a crotch, though. So I don't that know out. if that's a deal breaker. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my or friend, my buddy, my, deck, my buddy Decker can cut that out for me. 
All right. right. What's, your, what's the going rate for this here? Uh, 22 gold. What about for oh, a hero yeah. who saved the city? Twice. Twice. 19 gold. 10. 19? It's, it took so long to make this. Old lady, whatchamacallit, spent <laughs> months working on all this lace. 15. All right, little man. You okay. drive a hard bargain. Uh, I will be driving something else hard. <laughs> wow. oh. I don't get that. So you guys uh, actually suddenly hear a few oh. explosions oh, outside. God. Just bam, 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 bam. Just like right outside the shop or like over the city or what? Uh, yeah, outside over in this direction. Okay. Mm. Again. I investigate. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go there too. Turn, whatever. I save <clears throat> lingerie. All right, so, so, so you kind of run up here and as you round the corner, uh, you see a bunch of dudes that are still wasted from last night. Just going, woo, lighting oh, okay. off fireworks. Can Grima roll to see if how we're, uh, or how his um, stilts hold up? Stilts hold up for yeah, the yeah. run. Are, are you sprinting down the street on the oh, set? Oh yeah, with everything he's got. 20. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> I, I re-roll on ones because I'm oh, lucky. Oh, yeah, that's a... right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, 18 plus whatever. God, Man, killing it's, it it's on the perfect. Stilts. There's even a, like a really big old pothole that you didn't see. You stepped in and still keep going nice. without really I do really a little falling. spin around it. <laughs> this is Maybe. impressive. Well, hey, what are you guys doing? What's wrong with explosions? <laughs> it's the they're, explosions. Just, they're just lighting off fireworks, Why kind of ignoring we... you. It's, it's the, the beautiful uh, red lady, or purple. I forget. Oh, I'm not sure. Purple. Man, she hot. Woo! And they're just she still I mean, yeah. taking shots yes, and that's true. lighting stuff on fire. Why aren't you guys drinking in the middle of the day? Woo! Why? Woo! Why? <laughs> that's a good answer. All right, well. Uh, Shattercock goes and grabs the uh, fireworks, like, kind of away from them. What? Yeah. These are mine. Fun police. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, come on, man. You'll, you'll hurt yourself. You'll hurt on. yourself. You'll hurt yourself. It's celebration day. Well, yes, yes, I thought yesterday was a celebration day. Well, no, today, today is Mono Ipe. Yesterday was, was the big celebration eve. We just we were partying all day, man. Come on, come on. All right, how about this? I'll give you each one firework. I'm going to give each one. There you go. They, they light them and stare at you. <laughs> Kind of toss it at your feet, still staring at you. Yeah, that was fun, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, Joy. They're they're kind of trying there, to like eye you up and down, trying to figure out how to get their stuff back. Is there like a fantasy keg around here or something? Oh yeah. Okay, I have to take from the fantasy keg and do take a fantasy it, keg drinking. Soon. Yeah, take it from a magenta solo cup <laughs> <laughs> and kick back. What are they drinking? Oh, uh, it's like that stuff? that milk liquor. Yeah. Okay, start drinking milk liquor. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you get ripped room. pretty and, quick. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm doing limbo. Immediately drunk. <laughs> Deckard's feeling a little mischievous. Uh, he he sees that Shattercock's holding all these fireworks. That's not cool. It's a day of celebration or whatever. Uh, how many fireworks is Shattercock holding right now? Like an unsafe amount? Sure, yeah. You, you kind of snatched up a bushel full or like a bag full. Oh, okay. They had a bag. All right. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna cast Firebolt. Try and ignite them. Oh, oh boy. I like it. Do I need to roll something? Whatever, um, never yeah. hold the firework. <laughs> no, no, it's a, just okay. a bag. It's roll a bag. 20. Uh, no, that's a four. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, so, I don't know if anything gets plus to that. Well, yeah, a spell attack would put it to I mean, nine. it's just fire going at a bag of fireworks, so. It can't defend itself. Yeah. It, yeah, the, the bag searches to catch a light. Not any of the fireworks yet, but it starts going up. Oh, my God. Dicker, Dicker! Dicker, you lit the fireworks! What are we going to do? He's, like, doing this. He's, he's yeah. running yeah, away. Basically. <laughs> Dicker, come back! And then I uh, throw the bag at the at the guys. And oh, I go, Where's your fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And they, and they all and I guess it's, I assume oh, they, yeah, they go up. up. Oh, they yeah, go yeah. up. What are we messing about with these fireworks for? We gotta take those orc heads back and get our rewards and get pardoned. Take it, they are giant man. <laughs> giant man. <laughs> well, no, 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 I call I call you little giant. Oh, <laughs> can you call me my giant? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. I call you Billy Crystal. Yeah. Look, you, you, you schizo buffook. We got to take these heads and we got to oh, go man, out. You're right. I don't care if you're the best limbo master I ever seen. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Saite actually walks down the oh, street no. oh, smoking right. a cigar. Uh, I suddenly uh, stop having fun. He's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sober and upset. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Firebolt on him. Oh no! Was that Saite? Saite? Firework? No, I'm joking. No, okay. joking for now. Oh, we'll, see. No. we'll see what he says. What does Saite say? Uh, he he actually sits down next to Rax and and uh, just sits in the middle of the room. Just sits in the middle. Yeah, right next to just you. Just sits there. Yeah. Sits on the floor. Like, you know, crosses, sometimes, yeah, sometimes legs. people just sit on the floor. They come out. They sit on the floor. <laughs> I don't like Saite. Let's get a move on. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm done here. I think. Oh, you know what? 
laundry. We gotta go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Saite, we got this thing. We, need a, oh, yeah, we can't we need back out going. of it. Yeah. Yeah, so Saite is smoking a cigar and, and walks up to Miri. Uh -oh, no, uh, Miri, don't no. talk to him. <laughs> Miri, Miri, don't old, give old, him a sandwich. Old friend, tell me, uh, oh, tell me. I know we heard the story about you guys and that uh, nasty evil witch and the and the dirt, the girls, but uh, whatever happened, did you ever run into that good witch? I think so. Oh, she kind of just disappeared for a while. Yeah, but that's all I remember. <laughs> I'm not what? even sure it was her. There must be some big tale to tell. Not that I remember. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's sort of a problem. Folk hero. No. <laughs> not really, no. Saiti is just going to talk his ear off. We, we don't know. He, it, he just gets his talons into you. Why do you want to know? I just, I love listening to the, the sound of my best friend's voice. Best friend. Oh, okay. Best friend, get the fuck out of there. Get out. <laughs> disengage. Disengage now. Well, you guys hear a I gift remember. for you. And he, he pulls out a bunch of uh, cigars wrapped around with a, a oh, ribbon and hands them so to you. that's so pathetic. That's so sad. Uh, a, a gesture. <laughs> uh, no, to oh, our yeah. friendship. And he kind of cheers as you with a cigar. Well, thank you. I do remember now. She did like your cigars. The ones that so you had. So you did run into her. If, uh... This is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Mary! Where yeah. <laughs> we gotta go? I'm trying I'm to like this. tiptoe away. Yeah. We're losing the sun. <laughs> the sun <laughs> is high in the sky. It's, right it's, still like 10 yeah. it's getting dark. Uh, thanks for the cigars. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we all start walking away then. He, all right. It's like yeah. following a little bit. Saite's holding like yeah. concert tickets. Like, hey, <laughs> got an extra seat. Free car. <laughs> <laughs> Weird ass. I need to stop at the smithy. Am I, are oh, my yeah. axes done yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What did you do to them? Uh, they look barely sharper than us, the way yeah. you, you know, you sharpen them every day. You know, you know everything about how perfectly sharp they are. And there's yeah. actually like an extra little ding, kind of a notch in there. Yeah. You weren't able to get out. These don't look any better than they were when I handed them to you. I did what I could, man. I told you, I'm just all right at this. <laughs> what, you're just all right? You're the only smithy in the whole town. It's a little town. It doesn't take much to stand out here. As we <laughs> I like this guy. So you didn't do anything to my axes. I sharpened them. I want my money back. Mm. <laughs> um, Man. No, you can leave. You can take the axes, but I've got okay. some money. All right, so I take the axes, and then I take out my Warhammer, and I'm going to smash his... Smash no. His desk. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my desk. Are there are there any like uh, displays or anything outside of the shop? So what kind of display like, are you like, looking for? Like just something vandalizing a well, smithy. Like, like now. a medieval display of like, look, here's a sample of what we have inside. Oh like, yeah, it, it's like there's a big clown guy with a hammer that looks like he's hammering. Nice. I knocked that over smiling. so Saite can't follow. Is there us. anybody? <laughs> is there anybody the twirling a sign? In front of the, the it's for the bar down the street, though. Not oh, man. oh, damn. Because Green Momo was going to kick him with his. Oh, man. You guys, you guys so mean. Like... There should be uh, little goblins doing a little flick. Like, oh, yeah. 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 yeah they're trying to, they get oh, the, yeah. they have they, the shirts on. Yeah. <laughs> you do hear some kids go, It's Grimo, Grimo, it's Grimo. And a bunch of little kids kind of run up oh, to you around this your is the worst day ever. Oh, kids, are they hugging you still? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of shaking you, actually. Oh, whoa. Oh, <laughs> kids, I know Grimo's a hero, but he's the on the legs. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> they're like, Signing it, they're trying to sign their name. Wait, why are yeah. they signing it? <laughs> <laughs> Grimo's so proud. He came from nothing in the gyre, and now he's a hero. He uh, offers the kids cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mr. Grimo. You're oh, the best. Oh, <laughs> 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 Uncle Grimo sent you. Oh, it's the fantasy <laughs> version. When they get you the hospital. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's leave. Are you, are you guys are trying to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke yeah. Like, yeah. Any other drugs you want to give them? <laughs> well, Saitai's got his wacky tobacco cigars. Yeah. We'll I created a path of destruction. He can't I follow us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that clown is yeah. on the ground hammering. <laughs> He can't drop his cigar, and he's. What else is he gonna do? Well, well, also, 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 this guy's desk goes flying out nice. in the front of the shop, and then lands in the path. Yeah, fuck this place. Okay, so uh, you guys are trying to leave the village now. Um, so as, as you're getting to the edge of town, uh, you see some cheat, uh, the village elder, and then um, Bon and Tolpaka, the parents of the girls, approach you. Bon, the the man, uh, approaches Miri with a pouch that you know, full of kind of jingly coins, hands it to him, and kind of stands there awkwardly staring at him for a minute. You know, his his lips are like trembling. He's you know trying to trying to keep in, trying trying to cry, and then he just the tears the oh, tears flow. No. And he grabs grabs no. Miri and lifts him up, bear hugging him, kind of jostling him. It's all right, right, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Told that the kids are safe. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. So uh, Toll, uh, the the wife, walks up to Grimo. She's kind of pulling this old gray horse behind her on a rope. She gets down on her knees and you know, has her hands and uh, and, and thinks. You've done such a great service to my family, Mr. Grimo. It may never be repaid at such a great honor. Consider our family in your eternal debt. 
I do ask one last thing of you, though. Please, Mr. G-Spot, give, <laughs> give old girl one last adventure. And he, he hands you this rope that's got this just wretched old gray horse. <laughs> oh, this town sucks. <laughs> it really does. Remo <laughs> sees the most magnificent, magnificent se steed he has ever seen. Uh, they do not have animals like that in the gyre. Oh, my gosh. Uh, just Tibby Wonks. You know, which Again, uh, not allowed to say that. Uh, yeah. Okay. What are Tibby Wonks? Oh, uh, they're like a very stout, very, very, very fat, wide creature. Um, that like a it's Shetland pony. Yeah, not even because oh, that, huh. that would be they're Im pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, they only have hooves. They don't have legs. Oh. So it's just a very <laughs> large <laughs> mass with just like a hooves. centipede. Yeah, they're they're sort of. Do they? Um, they, probably, they, probably they cannot be ridden. They, in fact, they need to be carried by <laughs> the things oh, okay. of the gyre. Got but Grimo, he's so touched. He swings his stilts over the Oh, the he steed. mounts the steed. <laughs> but because it's still so like little and derpy, his stilts are dragging I was just saying, in it's the like, dirt. It's back. Yeah. It's like <laughs> but uh, Grimo chokes back a little and he says, I will never forget you. Toll. Toll. <laughs> Thank you for this generous uh, gift. Thank you, Mr. Grimo. And she kind of like motions at the girls who are kind of standing a few feet away behind them kind of stoic and motionless, and she's like gesturing at them. And they go, thank you, Mr. Waxin. Oh, fuck. And they kind of wave at you. But it's, it's you know, kind of dark and creepy. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not exactly happy at no, all. No, that's fine. Um, oh, what do I got? Um, what was the creature's name? Do you oh, have one? Old Girl, the old horse. Girl. Uh, what was it named when it was young? <laughs> old Girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just pull some crumbs from my pocket and like start, gah, gah. <laughs> Hit him in the eyes. Yeah. I'm throwing it off to the side like, like, they're, dirt like they're animals. And like, no touch. Bad, bad, bad. Grimo's going to rename the horse to Chauncey. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Okay. Right, I was right down Chauncey, right? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's old girl. Chauncey her name... uh, quotes old girl. Chauncey's a boy's name. Yeah, Grimo, well. <laughs> Grimo's going to. Can we leave? Yeah, oh, it oh, it I didn't get anything. <laughs> I mean, I didn't either. I was gonna go. I was the so, one who saved those girls. So some cheat runs up and goes, "You have our eternal gratitude." Oh, they already had yeah. it though. Again. Oh, oh you're yeah, welcome, back. You're welcome back anytime. What was in no, the bag? We won't be coming what was back. The bag with the coins. Yeah, I, I oh, look um, in the bag. You start counting them. It takes you a little while. There's 66 <laughs> gold in it Jeez. in front of them. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Um, As he's counting it, Decker will just be looming over his shoulder. That's it though. Derek goes over to the two <laughs> girls Staring. and goes, "Hey, for next time." Use this, and then hands him one of his hand axes that the smith wow. ruined. <laughs> they're gonna become Zena. It's a hand axe. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. as you're holding it out, like their arms don't move; they're just kind of staring. They at grab it. it by the blade, and they just kind of like let it fall out of my hand okay. in front of them. Just Learn kinda, to use that, and then you can defend yourself next time. They're just kind of spurging out, or there's little movement. They're not. You don't remember? Yeah, they're, we yeah. think they're possessed. I don't know. Thank I, you, I, um, I go up to the dad and I go, hey, there's a special ed school down the street. They probably need some help. Here, I'll give you the number. No, that's the smithy. What? <laughs> well, you have so. done so much to reward us for all the work we've done for you. Let's go. Over and over and over again. Let's go. But I believe it is time for us to go. This place sucks. I knock more stuff over so they can't <laughs> follow us. <laughs> They, they all bow. Yeah. yeah, I light the pile on fire, so it's just blocking them into their own town. Yeah, they're running for water to put the fires <laughs> out. Yeah, pulls up to Miri. Room for one more. Huh? Oh, oh, no. Derek slaps slaps <laughs> Chauncey on the on the there. butt, so it goes off running. Oh. I was gonna say the way, the, way it, the way it works though, it's like this is her on the yeah. heel on the silk. This yeah. is the horse, and the horse just goes. <laughs> Takes <laughs> off and is just standing there. <laughs> and I, I look up and I'm like, "Here's your 11 gold from the the pouch they gave us." Mary, can I have my gold? Thank yeah, here you go. Yes. Oh, I Thank give, you. I give everyone 11. Mary, gold. can I have my 12 gold, yeah. please? Um, why do you want 12? So is is Mary able to make it on the horse before? Derek kicks it away. <laughs> Do you want to be on the horse? No, I thought it's funny. It ran off and then you're staring at me. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> I hand you your, and I hand you your gold. But it never comes Very back. Funny. I was going to say, and it's that's gone. the end of Chauncey. It yeah. runs into a giant <laughs> fetus fly trap. Yeah. Yeah. It just eats yeah. it. And it makes the uh, horse makes a noise you've never heard before in your life. It's horrible. So Chauncey ran away. I turned to Mary and go, Mary, tell us the story of Chauncey. Chauncey was a, a good horse. Um, he was the best. 
<laughs> Perhaps we'll meet again. Decker sits on the uh, ground. Let's go and find her. That one starts typing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Jeez. <laughs> Bye, sexy. <laughs> she runs away. There's two layers of wall. He's like, walking him. He's tripped up in all the all the <laughs> comes, As he comes closer, I crack a whip at him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we leave. We leave. We're gone. He he so he cannot sucks. take a hit. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're gone. He's yeah. he's for a long time, maybe a good half an hour. He's Following maybe you know a couple oh, hundred feet so behind sad. him, he was right behind us. Sate's <laughs> um, been following us for the last half hour. Uh, he he he's that. no harm. It's it smelling. It he's like, like a shit. more hideous golem. Just, no yeah. I throw some buttons. <laughs> oh, he loves buttons. <laughs> he loves his buttons. Just shiny things. Oh, so so where are we right now? Buttons. The uh, you're up here in Jayen. So if he's still following, I'll cast Charm Person on him and tell so him to go back. So we're traveling back to... Uh... <laughs> I'm just throwing rocks. Out. <laughs> I keep cracking that whip. <laughs> yeah. We need to poke I some of them out. I forget where we're headed to. It's, is it back? it's not back to Krasmir. Hold fast. Yeah, hold fast? Okay. Yeah. So as we're tra- as we're traveling back there, Dan, do, do we see Chauncey at all? Do I? Yeah. Do you, are you trying to find Chauncey? I really want to find Chauncey. Are you Chauncey, dedicating yeah. a little extra time, or are you just hoping It'd to find him on the side of the road? It'd be great plot for us to have a horse. <laughs> So yeah, as, as you horse. round the yeah. as you round the bin, uh, Chauncey is like on its side, like breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have to kill Chauncey! <laughs> He'll never race again. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he broke one of his legs. <laughs> oh. Is it hurt or just tired? No, it's, it's just breathing heavily. When you get closer to it, it slowly kind of, you know, it's like, like oh, oh man. Yeah. It's too far gone. It's I'm totally sorry, Grima. It, it, it stands up and walks to Grima and nuzzles your neck a little bit. But like baby her. boy Chauncey. Put it down. I'll come up to Grima. Okay. I, can, I can take care of it if you're... Chauncey's fine. What are you talking about? Necro, put a hand on, on Grima's shoulder. It's okay. No. I've lost something, so, too. So then, uh... Derek takes, takes the <laughs> hand. Dan, Dan did not say... Shannon can't cast acid splash. <laughs> Dan did not say... <laughs> on the back of it, no. but not on his head. No! <laughs> I Dan did my not great say ass. he was dying! Dan did not say that you guys said he was dying! You guys said we he was dying! We gotta put him down. <laughs> we gotta put him down. No. Guys, it smells like burning <laughs> horse. Like the, horse, the, horse, <laughs> the horse might be useful, guys. <laughs> Dan never said Chauncey was dying! Oh, it's my boss pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's no good in the blind horse. I'm gonna roll this horse. Derek snaps one of his legs. Oh, we gotta put it down. Uh, I pulled the bracer for the uh, <laughs> 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 Hold on. And then, and then, and then Grimo wakes up from a nap or a nightmarish nap that Grimo had while riding on the back of Chauncey no, and the whole party. No, was you moving. fucked it. No, 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 no that's good. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You just, Grimo just had a nightmare well, on the okay. back Chauncey's of Chauncey's no, oh, no. fine. You wake up and we're all we're running a train on Shattercock. <laughs> oh, but then you oh, wake up again. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, right, and okay. we're burying Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> You've been asleep for a long time. Grimo <laughs> <laughs> has a beard. <laughs> so is Chauncey dead or was No, no you're right. Chauncey's fine. It's all a dream. Nightmare. It was, the horse it was is two, fine. Two, two dreams. Yeah, the horse Mir- is fine. Miri, yes, I had the craziest dream that Chauncey was dead. Can you believe that? You sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so just as you told the story, the, the horse stumbles a little bit, actually, oh, and you go falling off of it. Check uh-huh. its legs. <laughs> I'm my legs go. <laughs> yeah, your stilts. <laughs> I get locked together. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've fallen. How'd you make a pretzel shape? Don't worry, I'll help. And then I lift up Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, somebody needs to help me up. I can't get up with my legs. All right, come on, here. Yeah. Here, here, come on. Let's yeah. go. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you, Shadowcock. Actually, uh, Shadowcock, now that we have a moment. Um, yes. We're all standing staring I, at uh, <laughs> I have a little present for you. Okay. It's not from me, though. Who's it from? It's from Decker. Okay, what is what? it? I hand oh, her yeah. a box. Decker. It's, uh, yeah, wrong. Decker, yeah. He, uh, he asked me if... Uh, I would give this to you, but he also asked that I I don't really you know mention that it's from him. So you know, try to keep that. So Decker's typing and he hears yeah. his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this is a very quiet, you know, clandestine conversation. Well, and then Shattercock opens the box and, and there's some lingerie inside. Oh, what is this? this? Yeah, it's, oh, well, Decker. Yeah, he wanted you to have that. Oh, I think. this is this is really nice. And then immediately Shattercock. Her, she doesn't even say anything. Her clothes just fall off, oh. and then she uh, mm. put, immediately puts it right back on. It's got the iron bra, right, and then the, mm. the lace. Just, wow! 
This fits really, and I can fight better. This fits really well. That's a, yeah, don't thank me, thank Decker. You know, he's a really Sh great guy, Shadowcock. Shadowcock. Decker, thank you so much, this is so I great. I told you. I love this, thank you so much, Decker. Oh, I just told you to dump raw, not to say dump <laughs> So you can hear Decker breathing heavily because he just kind of is always breathing heavily. <laughs> My <Just> turns around. <laughs> Decker, you got me this, I look great, thank you. So, <laughs> there's about five seconds of, of what you presume to be deep thought, mm -hmm. even though his, his expression doesn't change. <laughs> Green oh. mountain. And he goes, you're welcome. And he just leans in a little bit. <laughs> and, like, waits for something to happen. What do you want? <laughs> Never mind. He backs up a little bit. Well, thanks again, Decker. And then she pats Decker on the shoulder. Hmm. Grimo's back on top of Chauncey, and he's smiling. <laughs> he's all, and he gives him a little kick. Chauncey farts. <laughs> oh. oh, no. That's just, uh... I think we gotta put it we down. Put it down. That's, yeah. his, that's, that's his flat. He's dying from the inside that's out. His, that's his <laughs> turbo <laughs> juice, and it gives him a little, oh. like, burst... Oh, speed. Well, you gotta stop slower. defending this <laughs> sick horse. Thanks again, yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, another awkward five seconds. Jeez. <laughs> so, do you do you like it? Yes, I already said I like it. Thank you. Oh, turn away. Decker, what okay. do you want? Tell me what you want. <laughs> Tell me what you want, Decker! Uh, Ugh. You, he's like stum stammering a lot. You wanna, you wanna walk together? Derek bursts in and goes, Hey, your rack looks great in that. Thanks! Thanks so much! And then yeah. Shattercock kisses Derek on the cheek. I got, I got sweet tits! <laughs> he slaps her on the ass. <laughs> oh, you're the best, Derek! Yeah. Uh, Decker's just gonna mutter and then try and find a bush. Decker, Decker, come here, come here. Uh -huh. And then Shattercock leans over and just the slightest little peck on Aww. Decker's lips. I go, Thank you so much! It causes him, you can like, you can detect a like full body quake it runs from the top to the bottom. You should throw up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then he like snaps his laptop shut and just runs and tries to find some like a tree to hide behind so he can beat off. Oh. <laughs> right that stain just gathers immediately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lean over to Muriatus. I'm right on Tussie. Did you see that, Muriatus? A love connection made by yours truly. I did see that. You know, perhaps there's a tall woman in your future, my friend. I hope so. No, there isn't! Um, <laughs> a lot of good meat on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling shattercock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it only takes Decker like 30 seconds. In the back. Breathing heavily again. <sighs> but he doesn't care now since he jerked off, so he's just back in his laptop. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's get a move on. But he's uh just so you know, uh -huh. he's writing out potential conversations that could happen between him and Shattercock. Mm. And writing down the results. So he's like analyzing. Yeah, basically. Mm. He's making an Excel doc, oh cross sections of all of the, all the opening lines and responses. Nice. <laughs> so he knows exactly what to say the next time this happens. Okay. So Grimo, he came to, to the realization that maybe he and Shattercock weren't the best like couple. They weren't, they weren't right for each other. Oh. Um, but he knows that like his buddy Decker is like lonely. So That's totally true. That was his, yeah. That's very thoughtful. Decker doesn't even realize or care about it. <laughs> I, uh, I pull Grimo aside and go, hey little guy. I saw what happened over there, and it reminds yeah, me. Yeah, it reminds me cool. of a um, a noble in the town I grew up in, uh, Lord Cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> he was a uh, he was a great he was a great lord, um, but unfortunately, uh, he was unable to uh, take care of his his uh, the one he truly loved. But he he did everything he could to make it better for her. So he um, he brought in some of the uh, the dark skinned. Uh, uh, farmers from the from the west. Oh, I see where you're going. And um, <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Finish your story. Are we yeah. doing the slave trade right now? Is that what's going on? Close. close. <laughs> it's very close. And uh, and he found. I'm leaning closer. <laughs> 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 His eyes are getting bloodshot. Cha so. Chauncey and I are both looking at him like, <laughs> what's this guy? Well, like, enough time has gone by, and I'm like, he just got in there. He was just pounding, and like, so it's more like a montage where it's crossfading. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, and then the third guy he's, got he's in, like, and, he's like, like, <laughs> and he was like up and down, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, Derek's helping me. He's like this, yeah. yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Where's the point of this yeah. story? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you because I'm on top yeah. of Derek. Derek's, Derek's holding, holding Rack's head with his legs up like this, yeah. like the pile driver maneuver. Yeah, and we're, we're also doing like flips, like yeah, we're in yeah. Cirque du wow. Soleil. Yeah. And we're, we're just gone now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're marching to hold fast. Yeah, yeah so we keep moving. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, the, a day pretty much passes. Did Sight see all that happen, by the way? He's sl he slowly <laughs> fell back <laughs> off into the distance. I want him to tell tales of our adventure. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he sees, he sees 
Raxan yeah. and, and, and Derek like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like just, just, just. and he's just got stars in his eyes. <laughs> Such <laughs> heroes. <laughs> Do we arrive at hold fast? No, no, you have one day, nothing really happens. It's mm. nighttime, fire. I don't know. Um, Can we guys... see Saite's little fire? A, a oh, yeah. It's definitely <laughs> been a day since he's done his thing. Yeah, mm. I would agree. Well, it's still not over. We're around the campfire now, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's getting campfire. late. You guys have eaten, dinner's done. Uh, yeah, Grimos used just to sleep with Chauncey. <laughs> They're just, he's just lying next to Chauncey. Shadowcock's passed out kind of by herself. Somehow Grimo is the big spoon. I have a, a telescope and I'm li- writing a note. I found it in the town before. <laughs> sure. oh, yeah. right. 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 I'm building like a makeshift telescope. Yeah, okay. yeah. And yeah. I'm writing a note. Yeah. Okay. And I'm putting just a piece of paper up against the glass that says, Stop following us. Oh, this I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, 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 well, there's a note that says, Foresight, hey, a gift for you. And he goes, You know, so you can always keep an eye on us. And looks and it says, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna walk up and sit down next to Shattercock. She's asleep. Oh, I'm just gonna, deep and creepier. Then I'll, I'll just stare at her. And write in my laptop. I'll get inspired. Just come, just come on her feet. Good. Oh, she gosh. wouldn't know. Shattercock's t- passed out. Just totally right. gone. Won't wake her up. Decker's a gentleman, Bruce. All right. To the extent that uh, things will probably go very sour if you don't sleep with him soon. Um, I'm still telling Grimo the rest of Lord Cuckold. And now the sixth guy got in. This is like three weeks of just hardcore. Like, <laughs> things, body parts got sore. Derek, Wait, where are you? Um, uh, yeah, where's Der- yeah where's Derek's... Like, he's... It's almost like interpretive dance. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> kind of showcase. <laughs> Miri just interrupts with, uh, boy, I wish I had some udders to milk. And please continue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That should have awoken Shattercock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rang! <laughs> I got two udders! <laughs> and she goes back to sleep. Decker almost loads up his, like, you're awake, so he loads up his spreadsheet. By the time it's loaded, you're already asleep, but he turns around and goes, you know, I'm really nice. Oh. <laughs> He's like, okay, never mind. And he like makes a little mark on that one. You should find like a fedora in the bushes. <laughs> this will help. Uh, Derek sits down next to, uh, next to Decker. He's trying to fix his, his axe. He sits down and he goes, so you like her, don't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, though. I've got a system for this sort of thing. Yeah. What's your system? Oh, uh, it's, you wouldn't, probably wouldn't understand it. But it's, uh, you see, it, uh, it sort of reaches into... Women don't think the same as us, right? So what this does is it sort of uh, mansplaining guides guides their emotional state to want me as much as I want them. Listen, so. if you're that interested, you should just ask Grimo if you can have a ride. One on the horse? Aren't we talking about Chauncey? <laughs> I, walk, um, I walk over and sort of just typing on my listening. <laughs> I I have a <laughs> lit cigar and I, I offer up uh, some of Saite's cigars. I, I I walk up to Decker and I go. I, I overheard Nobody. your story, and it reminds me of a tale from my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his name was Lord Trilby. He was a... Uh, <laughs> Derek, was a Derek is stretching himself out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, was a, he was a stout lord. Uh, <laughs> and that's like his eyebrows go up and he starts typing. Yeah. Then I go back to Grima and go... Oh. And now the eighth guy, he was a big one. I grew to sleep with Chauncey. I also tell me. Me. <laughs> I hey, want you up. to dream hey. of this. <laughs> Lord Cuckle didn't get to sleep, and neither do you. So do we, do we finish the night? Yeah, yeah, we Lord Cuckle didn't finish. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know if there was more to that story. It more. never ends. Yeah. It's still going on. It'll go yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 You left yeah. as it was still unfolding. Carrier pigeons are still updating me on what's going on. All right, yeah, next morning you guys wake up. I'm still telling Grima of the yeah. story. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Come on, let's go to Old Fest. Let's go. Here we go. All right, Grima I'll mounts his steed. The Again, stills? his still dragging in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving a big trail. That's okay. We kill no, everybody. This is how side taste following us. Oh, yeah. 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 Smells dead Grima horse. doesn't realize it, but there's a sign on the back of Chauncey that says, Kicketh me. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're all snickering. Yeah. Uh, will you guys pick out a marching order? Yeah, it'd probably be Grimo Chauncey. Does anybody yeah. want to mount Chauncey with Grimo? I think you're okay. I'm not sure Chauncey can handle any of this. When, uh, when uh, you guys are like getting into a line, whenever Shattercock takes a step forward, Decker kind of steps. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go behind. Up. And then probably Miri. Yeah. And then uh, Derek and Raxan giggling. Is that Terry still behind us too? Uh, he runs up and finds the device that Raxan left for him. Yeah. And then he he just kind of collapses to the ground and starts weeping. Oh. 
Or something. <laughs> I know. We, we hear crying. We with yeah. him. Yeah. A, a <laughs> trap in the tree. It's a log on a swing. Knocks him right out. the Ewoks, man. <laughs> yeah. um, and he pulls the little piece that says "fuck off" and he kind of holds it up to him. Oh, oh that's nice. Mm. That's really nice. Maybe he misinterpreted it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, also I wrote on poison ivy or the equivalent <laughs> of this world. He was rubbing oh, it all in his face. Yeah, there's yeah. Another, another thing that says toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> so we're marching the hop. Close read the whole right. Yeah, so um, it was about a two day journey. So you started the second day. Mm -hmm. uh, a slow drizzle starts mid morning, and after a few hours, slows to a misting. A low fog creeps in. You reach the edge of a small wood and stop at the tree line. You look out over the low rolling hills of southern Gael and see the holdfast miles in the distance. Southeast, you see a dust cloud rising out of the trees, and a mid sized force of creatures slowly plods. Towards the hold fast. I would you say a mid-sized force of force creatures. Of creatures. Can I, the Grima takes like cover behind some bushes so we can wait and see who's approaching the hold fast. Deco will just say, oh fucking course. Of course we come to turn in our quest and there's some other bullshit going on. Take cover, take cover. Oh, they're I mean they're really far away, right? They're pretty far. Yeah. yeah. Uh Shatterpack hides behind Chauncey. <laughs> I'll just kick a rock. All I want to do is get some gold and a level and fuck me. We now we gotta go kill all this bullshit. Damn hang, on, hang on, Ducky, hang on. Let's, let's hide and let's see who these people are. Come oh, on. sure, fine. Yeah, no, it's not going to be another stupid fight. Let's do that. See, so, yeah, the group is moving in the distance pretty slowly. It's it's extremely far away at this point. You just kind of see a big mass of black moving across the moving horizon. Moving towards the whole pass? Yeah. We should cut Chauncey well, open and hide inside. <laughs> they, they haven't seen us like yet. Three miles away. <laughs> they're, they're really far this away. Yet. Okay, I think we should we should follow, keep it stealthy, mm -hmm. approach undercover, and see what the situation is, who these people are. Okay. What, do you say, what do these things are, these uh, creatures? I agree with Greenwald. I move up, I'm just doing this with my hands. You go, <laughs> looks dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing that with your with your hands and two arrows whiz past your head and dig into the tree right behind and you. And I go, oh, I think they have archers. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you, you turn to look and you see three orcs uh, and two wolves kind of running out of the trees at you guys. Mm -hmm. Damn it! So um, And I go, I think I see wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, oh, we have Miriatus, the great wolf killer, in our midst. I've heard legends sure. of him. Oh, yeah. Speaking of legends. <laughs> <laughs> Ten guys. <laughs> have I told you about Lord Assfuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord Pegging. <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Prolapse. King DP. Lord Donkey Punch. Bagger Vance. <laughs> <laughs> what? Commodore Cream Pie. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so we'll say uh, the tree line was kind of off in this direction. If you can put you guys over here somewhere. Uh, roll for initiative, please. You're talking Unless you uh, are trying to parlay with these. James? 10. Ah. Shattercock? 14. You know, are you adding your modifier? 17. 13. Oh, zero. Zero. Oh, Decker? Yeah. 16. Rexon. Four. All right, yeah, I, th I think we'll stop there for today and oh, pick up the I fight. Find out about those the... wolves. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. All right, uh, tune in next time for the last episode of season two. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should we should follow, keep it stealthy, mm. approach undercover, and see what the situation is, who these people are. Okay. What, do you say, what these things are, these uh, creatures. I agree with Greenwald. I move up, I'm just doing this with my hands. You go, <laughs> looks dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing that with your with your hands and two arrows whiz past your head and Whoa, dig man. into the tree right behind and you. And I go, oh, I Jesus. think they have archers. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you, you turn to look and you see three orcs uh, and two wolves kind of running out of the trees at you guys. Mm -hmm. Damn it! So um, And I go, I think I see wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, oh, good, we have yeah. Miriatus, the great wolf killer, in our midst. I've heard That's legends true. of him. Oh, yeah. Speaking of legends. <laughs> <laughs> Ten guys. <laughs> have I told you about Lord Assfuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord Pegging. <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Prolapse. King DP. Lord Donkey Punch. Dagger Vance. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Commodore Cream Pie. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
Quick recap. Did, what, oh. did anything happen in the last episode? We <laughs> tried, cried, desperately tried to get out of Jai Yen. The people yeah. coming yeah. up to us, giving us stuff. We, we got a free horse. That we weird movie want. from the no. 80s. <laughs> Stupid horse sucks. God. Chauncey's my best friend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Grimo had a nightmare. Yeah, Grimo had a nightmare. Chauncey uh, died. Really weird nightmare. Decker fell in love. We learned about Lord Cuckold. Jacked yeah. off behind a rock. Great story. Decker and Shattercock. The story's not over. Yeah, Decker and Shattercock. Oh, matchmaker Grimo. Decker kissed Shattercock and Derek. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. You, you can play. <laughs> right, um, so yeah, I, yeah. I think uh, right at the end of the episode, you guys uh, saw uh, some army or horde in the distance moving towards the same place you were moving. Yeah. And as you saw that and were distracted, uh, a couple of orcs jumped out of the trees coming after you. On, they're they're on wolves, orcs. right? With some, with yeah. some wolves. They weren't riding. Oh, with some wolves. Gotcha. <clears throat> These little red things will be the wolves. Oh, okay. So yeah, they make a move at you, actually, since they surprised you all. Oh, bullshit. Oh. Um, he saw them with his binoculars. The arrows flew by. Yeah. <laughs> Very perceptive, I am. Oh boy. You so, all die. <laughs> the end. Both, both the archers took shots at you and missed. Oh. Um, and this dude chucks a javelin at Rexon. Oh, what a dick. He's um, all doing this. <laughs> He's throwing a javelin. I think he has a javelin. <laughs> Does 14 hit you? Nope. No. Okay. So yeah, javelin soars over your shoulder. Damn straight. Grimo. So Grimo's gonna shoot his short bow at that same archer that shot at Roxan. 16. Hits. Oh, so you're, you're firing at this guy, I think, because he just threw a javelin at Rex. Yeah, whoever, th- whoever okay. threw it at Rex. like an old man. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Um, so then, eight for damage. Cool, are you going to move around or anything? Yeah, he and Chauncey <laughs> are then going to use the uh, the hide action. Oh, I was going to say, don't you have hide. advantage for how high you are? You're like... <laughs> oh, yeah, still it's Anna Horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna use our cunning action to hide. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know the rules for how horses work or anything, so oh, we're just gonna pretend you're okay. moving. Ch- technically, move. Chauncey isn't really a horse mm. anyway, you know? He's kind of just like a, a, a best friend, a, a oh. hero. Um, <laughs> so, and Chauncey also has like little like pieces of uh, foliage like on either side of him. Like that does nothing, but it's supposed to help him hide, but it doesn't really. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a useless <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Decker. All right, um, so two archers, spearman. What are these two guys? Those are two wolves. Ah, okay. Then I'm gonna cast sleep in this area. Actually, let me double check the range on that bad boy. 90 feet. Thank you. There it is. You're correct. Uh, <laughs> shit, does that mean I'm... You could move. Yeah, well, I mean 90 feet. That's well, well 90 yeah, feet. Yeah, you're fine. So whatever, I'll cast sleep. Cool. Uh, then it's, let's see here. Roll 5d8. Uh, totals how many hit points of the creatures it can affect. That's correct. So, load me up with D8s, boys. Mm. Oh, right. For some reason I was going after the six. Sorry. Nope. I got it wrong. It's these guys. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Three. Oh, There's boy. Seven there. <laughs> Two ones. Two seven. Ones. All sorts There's of numbers. Seven. Yeah. Fifteen. Wait, does that hit or not? I don't know. We'll find no, out. No, it does. What was the total? Fifteen. Okay. Um, and which, where did you target seat? at? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Right over um, here? Like, boom, so it... All right, yeah, I think it's 15 foot radius, so you'll get those two dudes. Okay. So yeah, this one, this one drops asleep. And he just kind of falls backwards, weak need. And that one's just drowsy, or...? No, like, nothing happened. Like, he shouldn't guy. drive home or anything? So is this, this, is this like high ground? Uh, that would actually be going down. Okay. Um, but you could probably hide down there if you were trying to... Everybody wants to hide. <laughs> Yeah. The, 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 the ground would be sloping that direction. Gotcha, gotcha. If you wanted to like dig your head underground, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. run away like That's a big pussy. <laughs> I guess I'll hide behind this tiny little shrub, just like coming up to here. They can see you. Brave <laughs> warriors. <laughs> I'm a wizard, man. I'm supposed to run into battle. You are a wizard, man. <laughs> That's right. More like a wizard boy. Think, yeah, Shattercock. I can finally use the Ring of Canine Control. Whoa! So while wearing this ring, you can use an action to expend one charge to cast Dominate Monster on a beast that has canine slash wolven ancestry. So. I'm gonna cast that. The save DC is 15. So please don't let him. I'm gonna cast it on this wolf here. Got it. Yes. All right. So I control that wolf. Cool. Uh, so can I use then my action to bring the wolf towards me? Is that a, is that okay? Well, you use your action to cast that spell. Okay. All right. Yeah. So on the monster's next turn, we'll say you can kind of tell it what you got to it. do. Then Chauncey's, I'm done. Chauncey's scared of wolves. Just be mindful of that. I don't care. Are the wolves female or male? Uh, one of each. He nice. grabbed the he grabbed the female one. He's getting that. Nice. I don't know. What's better he got the female? Ask. Yeah. Yes. Well, he already fucked it, an orc to death. You guys, you it guys wasn't are, an, which it one wasn't was it? You guys are all way off. 
Are you gonna do something with that other wolf? Uh, yeah. Are you doing okay. something with that other wolf? With the female? Yeah. I, oh, okay, okay. Well, I have the female. Or no, did I capture yeah, the no, You got the female. I captured the female, all right. See, Wait. I was... So, so the female's on our team? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have a, I have a knife that does triple damage against females. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I didn't mean to. I just cast it on a weird weapon. I just yeah. cast so it on a He stole that from uh, oh. Grimo. I expected so him to be hiding with a horse on Hey, I was going to wait for him to say it. <laughs> hey, back, you cuck. <laughs> Adam, Adam, any of these guys can be made female. <laughs> oh, that's true. Him, with the right driving strike. I wonder if Yeah, if I cut their dick off, do they be... I mean, do they get the balls off, too? Yeah. yeah, and then but then I have to sit them through. And you have to shove the balls in. Hours of therapy of like, <laughs> listen, this is. I know you have a lot of feelings inside. Yep. Maybe you were. I know you feel like you're a male, but maybe you identify yourself as a female. Shadow God, yeah, your and then turn. I just stab <laughs> 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 My turn's done. My turn's done. It's Mary. Mary oh, okay. turn. Okay, so I'm gonna move as far left as I can. Maybe a little left of, of uh, Decker there. No, oh, I don't think I can move that fast. <laughs> Lip tar. And I'm gonna try and like. <laughs> Charm and Moving pacify left. that other wolf. Like <laughs> I, yeah, like I grab like a, smacking your ass. some of my rations and I'm like, oh, you're trying to f- oh, oh, okay. and I'm whistling at it and I'm gonna use all of my animal handling skill that I have and just try and not make him interested in attacking. Do you have intimidation or you said a plus in animal handling? Or yeah, anything? I have plus three roll. animal handling. All right, roll twenty. All right. 15. Good. You got him. <laughs> yes. So, so what are you trying to convince us? I'm just trying to make him like my friend and not interested in attacking us. So okay. I'm like kind of throwing him scraps of food and trying to like pet him and like so, yeah, it playing seems, with him. Instead of you know snarling at you, it seems to have put its attention towards the food ha. that you've got. It doesn't really move towards you, but kind of okay. starts yeah. to concentrate its attention on that food that you're offering it. I say, good boy, good boy. That would be the wolf's turn. So uh, yeah, Shattercock, what would you? Oh, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah um, sorry. So I just bring the wolf towards me. So okay. it's kind of like sits next to me and all right, <laughs> hangs out. Yeah. Could have turned it on that guy. Yeah, yeah, I will. Attack. I will. Yeah, it comes up to you and kind of <laughs> puts its body up against you, kind of like you know, Bender throws his oh. butt up on yeah, you. Yeah, nuzzles me. Yeah, tries to oh. you know get you to Make scratch it at it. Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's going after the horse. Oh, what happened on accident? <laughs> Chauncey. Did you get to... <laughs> Chauncey has an appalled look on his face. <laughs> Mouth drops up. As much as a horse yeah. can make. <laughs> well, he's like the horse from Beauty and the Beast. That's like very oh, emotive. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. So this wolf uh, oh, runs up to the little scraps of food that Miriam is offering him. And just gobbles it up real quick, and then cuts its eyes at the horse, uh, <laughs> formerly known as Old Girl. Chauncey. <laughs> that horse looks like a pile of food. Is that all it does? Yeah, it's you know it's drooling. Oh okay. Uh, but then uh, Derek, you're all good, right. Buddy. You want to brace yours a pound? Yeah. What, what uh, do you want? Right. Well, we can't. We're not allowed to talk no, about no, it. No, 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 Oh, wait, well, we'll wait, try it again later. We'll try that again later. I think we can just do um, it as much as we want. I'm just gonna, I'm yeah, just Rackson's gonna turn is next. charge, charge these bros. Okay. How far away are they? Um, probably a little bit further than you can get to in an entire turn. How far away are they? I don't know. Count the squares. No, you gotta count the squares. Just give me, a, give me an eyeball. Fifty, fifty feet. Eight, nine. Times so, five, so it's 45, 45 feet. feet. Forty-five yeah. feet, and I can run thirty. Okay. But I can go rage out. Mm-hmm. And then I can dash as a bonus action. Done. So I'm there. So you got there. See? Which one? See, you don't know my turns. This one? <laughs> yeah, so I charge at this guy. Um, Orc Ripper in hand and Scimitar in the other. Okay. And then I'm going to slash at him. Oof. 17 plus no. 2 for proficiency. Yeah, that one hits. All right. Um, so have, I have we been rolling once or twice for your dual weapons? I used to roll twice, but then you told me to start rolling once. So do it twice. It's more fun. If it's low, it's not fun. 11 plus 2 prof- proficiency. Got him. All right. Both of them. Okay. So uh, one is the Orc Ripper, which does... Uh, I roll 2d6 against an Orc. Right? Four. Five is nine. Do I add my strength? Mm-hmm. Twelve. And then you get some rage plus damage, right? Plus two for rage damage. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fuck. And now I'm going to try and come down with the scimitar. Oh, no. Of course. 
another four. Okay, yeah, you got him. Is you he wanna, dead? Yeah, describe your move. Nice. So, so, Make him a new woman. <laughs> so uh, we do bracers of pound, and he goes, and then, and then, and then Raxane goes, I thought you were gonna say, and then I, ah, and then, but then I go into a rage, mm. but I use the power of the eagle to get there. So oh, as I'm it. piercing through the battlefield, you just hear this screech <laughs> noise. <laughs> And the guy doesn't even see me. This orc doesn't even see me go from here to here. I just <sighs> literally, like, transport to directly in front of him. And then I, I bring my orc ripper up beneath his chin and then lift his head up, basically split his lower jaw in half, and then I take the scimitar and I cut his head off. Oh, sweet. And I go spiraling the air. Yeah, it goes tumbling. Yeah. I get kind of excited. I'm like, ooh, head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, Raxon, it's your turn as, as you see that head go flying off. We can't slam from this far, huh? You can run over to me. <laughs> I should probably take care of this wolf that's going after Miri, so... I do a little javelin throw. Well, he, I think he's I'm he's, feeding he's it. Hand, animal handling. Yeah, I want to murder well, it's it. What's eyeing oh. old hen? <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta protect Chauncey. Oh, okay. I was, I'm gonna murder. Chauncey. I was I was waiting for him to find out afterwards that he saved Chauncey indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just throw my javelin. Cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. At the wolf, Mary's feeding. I wanted to see what he was gonna do. I'll tell you what it's I'm fine. gonna do. You're gonna be fucking dead. Fifteen. Oh, it's boy. nice and damage. That's a six plus three. Uh, piercing, so nine damage. Eight. Right as I was about to pet it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just went through its head. <laughs> so the, the javelin flies and uh, digs into the side of the wolf, uh, completely immobilizing its left side. Oh, it it yes. kind of tumbles to the ground. Uh, it's it's breathing, it's alive, but it is really fucked. Man, it's making that sad dog sound. I look at Miri and I go, <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha, <laughs> bud. And I just yeah. scowl. The wolf looks at Mary. It's like I wish you were my dad. Oh no! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just smiling. Wolf, <laughs> oh man! Oh, so this orc guy turns around and starts running. Okay. Oh, he bails. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! <laughs> this poor guy's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Grimo. So the monsters aren't doing anything. He ran. Uh, well, that oh, guy okay. ran, um, and that wolf is hurt. Uh, There's an invisible wall. He's fucked up. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Because I'm, I'm hidden. Uh, after my disengage, or sorry, my cunning action of hide, I'm gonna shoot my short, short bow at that guy that's running away because I want to take him down so we can interrogate him and figure out what's asleep. going on. Oh, that guy's asleep? Do okay. what you gotta do. Then I'll shoot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on stilt, so that's like two steps, really. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I roll on advantage uh, for the sneak, it's a sneak attack since I'm hidden. So 14 is my first roll. And then 19, Ooh. 19 plus five for my short bow. So when I shoot the the arrow, Chauncey puts up his ears like a reticle. <laughs> oh, so wow. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, bound, so like wow. how did yeah, that horse just, know to do that? Yeah, and, he, and he like points noise. his hoof like there. Boy, you know, oh like boy. we're very in sync, Chauncey and I. The arrow goes that directly way. through its ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 shoot, back in the head. I shoot the bow for. Uh, Three damage, or sorry, I, sorry, seven damage. Then I do an extra d6. God. So eight, I guess. Right, yeah, the the arrow bolts connect in its back, and it starts to stumble wherever it is. He's here. You can barely see him. And I and then I pass down Chauncey a cigarette, and we both <laughs> puff and exhale in unison. <laughs> nice. Wow. Uh, that horse. Decker. Uh, I'm gonna cast firebolt on the runner. So. <laughs> running away. I'm just gonna murder him. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, just range spell attack. Ha! Thirteen. That's on the work that hits. Oh, cool. Okay, you're a D10. Ten. Ten. Cool. So it was firebolt. Yeah. All right. So yeah, your firebolt completely ruins that dude. If you have some cool move in mind. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast it inside the hole that uh, Grimo's arrow opened up. <laughs> so this giant <laughs> firebolt will go inside, woof, and then it, it'll seem like it missed and that it didn't do anything. But then his eyes will explode in fire. Oh, cool. Fire will shoot out oh, his ears. Shit. Oh, he should look back and laugh. Yeah, I'll be like, ah, 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 and then, <laughs> yeah, eyes explode out the mouth, <laughs> out his ass. His penis explodes off. Oh, Whoa, God. And then wow. he just, and then it's just, it's, it's not even connected in any way. <laughs> it's just straight uh, Ark of the Covenant from there. He's, he just melts down into a pile of, of biological slag. Nice. We need one liner. One liner. Well, uh, shit. Uh, he, he pushes up his glasses, and there's a little twinkle on the side. And he says, Can't take the heat. You should f fight us. 
<laughs> I like the idea of Decker pulling down his glasses to look cool and he just has terrible pink eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's always got like really bushy, yeah. unkempt eyebrows. So there's a little unibrow stubble in the middle. The one eye drifts a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's, he's just got like like really sparse eyelashes. Oh. Like it looks like they've been plucked, but they just don't grow Man. for some reason. And then he's really, really pale. So And he has like a tan it. line around his sunglasses. <laughs> his mouth is all yeah, You guys have been in the sun a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, Shattercock. So, the wolf is mine to t- kind of tell whatever, right? Yeah. This is dominate monster. So I'm just going to tell the wolf. The, the wolf goes on the wolf's turn, though. Well, I mean, if, it, if it's my monster. Okay, yeah. Can tell it what it's going like, it's, it's to If you want to use your action to control it. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just basically going to send the wolf away okay. over here uh, to get out of the way of Raxon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You I'm going for this wolf. Uh, I just want to make sure you don't want to kill all the you wolves. Might get no, I mean, if it's on our team, I'm not going to kill it while it's awake. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and since uh, since the guy was on your team, the wolf, and you just wanted it to run away, we'll call that your bonus action if you want to do something else. Oh, um, no, I, I was just going to move closer to the guy. I want to so kill this wolf? It's fine. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You guys are weird. Myriadis. <laughs> yeah, now that I feel really bad, this wolf's going to die. I just want to, like, Put it out of its misery. I'm, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, gonna miss. <laughs> no, he's just gonna step on its neck. <laughs> Do it, bro. Give me. And, and he like... slaps his own toe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm worried about. So roll right. For yeah, yeah. Me. What are you? What are you swinging at it with? Uh, well. I kind of want to kneel down and Swinging do like the, the sorry boy, and then I'm pointing at my axe. Like, you need help? You want this? <laughs> Just throws the axe. I guess my long sword. I don't have a, a knife or anything. So yeah, whatever. Just put a bag around it. Right, yeah, roll a twenty. Hold it. A heavy rock. <laughs> yeah. Three. I missed. Oh, no. Just place it gingerly and then oh, lean no. on it. I can't do it. I feel too bad for it, so I, I miss intentionally. Oh, you break its leg, <laughs> but it's still alive. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, can't breathe. Damn it! Yeah. Don't move. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're trembling so much just in in fear of having put out that poor creature that you know you don't connect. It tr- it kind of gets up on three legs. One of its legs was fucked up by that javelin, and it, it it it's able to make it a few feet. Oh no, it's trying to get away. It's kind of limping and falling <laughs> and Racks getting up and falling. behind it, <laughs> unzipping his pants. <laughs> I'm licking my lips right now. Oh, man. It's Derek's turn, yeah. Yeah, Derek. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna. This guy's still asleep. I have 25 foot of rope. Can I just start tying him up? Sure. Hog tying him? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I want to do that. Cool, done. I mean, do you, do you want to roll to see how good your knots are or anything? Do I need to? Yeah, let's, let's see. <laughs> just for fun. 17. Yeah, that guy's tied so up. So basically, basically, he walks over to him, takes out his thing, and then just the rope goes down, and it's just a big, like, pig pen cloud. <laughs> and, then, and then when it comes out, the guy is standing up. Perfectly tied with a beautiful bow oh. right on the back, <laughs> and then and then Derek has the rope over his his shoulder. Raxon. I want to murder this wolf. Yeah, yeah right. My wolf, pull out my great axe on his wing. I'm so glad I sent my wolf the other way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I look, I see it. <laughs> I didn't forget. Make note of the fact that. that he's always wearing his armor backwards. <laughs> Even his figure is wrong. <laughs> I didn't make this thing. <laughs> I mean. I've just been noticing that for the last like six I, episodes. I didn't mean well, it that way. Kind of, sometimes it takes me out of a game. Just kill the wolf. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I roll to seven plus, what is it? My attack proficiency. Attack proficiency, that's what it is. You get five on it, I okay. think, right? Okay. So, so yeah, I think, no? Uh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Chop its tail off. Oh, Mary, no. give me your inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give the wolf my inspiration? Yeah, I think you're so caught up in in figuring out how you're gonna massacre the wolf that you just get distracted when you're swinging. And swapping your armor around. You gotta pull your arms in and like rotate it around. Yeah, that's fine. Grimo. So I am again going, actually. Is this a spider? Catches. <laughs> Sorry, go This is Professor Spider. <laughs> so that guy is just prone or he's? The wolf? This he, guy's dead. That guy's dead. Yeah. His okay. body exploded. He's a pile of ash. His dick is around here. <laughs> Shot off like a firework. It's just so, spreading uh, out fire. <laughs> Tonsi and I are going to trot up to the orc that Derek is in front of. The orc. Derek. And Grimo's going to uh, push his tilt on his tilt, his stilt on the guy's windpipe. Ooh. Try to make him conscious so they can interrogate him. Yeah, he, he pops awake. Okay. I'm gonna give you one opportunity to tell us what in the Jaya's name you are attacking us for, ambushing us, 
just these helpless travelers in the woods. Okay, so so the orc uh, responds to you in orcish. It just you know grumbles something you can't make out unless you speak orcish. Shadowcock, I call Shadowcock. Shadowcock, you know any orcs there? Um, I only really know. Oh boy, I only really know like dragon language. Decker will be waving. I can speak orc. We don't know anyone that speaks orc. Decker, my man. No. <laughs> Are we still in combat? Yeah, that one wolf okay. is l- still limping away. Yeah, okay. Decker, could you come here for a second? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right over, but because it can't move, locked in place by the by the iron shackles of D and D combat system. Well, wolf. I guess I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill that wolf. Well, it's not my turn either, so I can't kill the wolf. Are you, yeah, you disengage, I guess. Oh wait, holding was the it, whose turn is it? It's my turn. Greenland. Oh, okay, so it's my turn next. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do anything. I interrogate him. I call, I call it the Decker. By game logic, I want to kill the wolf, but by by world logic, whatever, I just walk over there. It's great opportunity. Hey, what's, what's Decker skill? Be? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just fucking flame this stupid wolf <laughs> to death. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> Fifteen. Yep. All right. Huh. My old friend. That's another ten. Okay. Yeah, that thing just. Poof. So yeah, <laughs> it turns into ash. I, uh, I activate my targeting, a little laser grid comes up, it goes doo 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 right on the... That is what you see. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the broken leg, giant no, no. wolf. It's, it's, it's right on the it's anus. It's not moving at all. Oh. So, so then I, I do my triangulations with the wind and everything, and there's this like tunnel that comes up, and then I target it perfectly, I hit enter, fireball, zooms perfectly right inside the ass, and then it just bakes in there a little bit, oh. and then you smell like... Smell like hamburgers. Yeah. But what we see is Decker standing above a dead wolf, <laughs> throwing matches down on him. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. The wolf dies of hunger. <laughs> now that you're disengaged from combat. Oh no, I haven't done describing it yet. God. So uh, <laughs> a pyre of flame shoots out both ends, uh, much like a Roman, ca- a double Roman candle, if you will. Oh. And then top and bottom, so it makes a really cool like little pattern. Scorches the earth a little bit. Cool. And then he just, he just. He pops festively, and it makes a cool little sound. <laughs> so there's just like little or, little wolf bits everywhere, uh, and then yeah, just, just, yeah. Well, yeah. just covered in wolf. Yeah, bits. well I'm just doing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption thing. And I scream no and fall face down. Oh, oh no, no. Well, that's that's okay. All right, I'll toddle over to this this little feller. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Yeah. <laughs> I just did something real cool. Did you see that shit? So we're out of combat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you all get 75 experience. Oh, sweet. Neat. So I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna load up my uh, my Babelfish Orc translating app. You got one of those? I mean, my character speaks Orc, but that's oh. the way I, that is the way I will uh, explain okay. it to you. I'll uh, I'll just like wave my hand, and then a little, little like cyber table will pop up, and I'll put my laptop down on it and start typing, and then I'll just look up, like ready to translate. So let's talk to him. Yep. Yeah. Talk. Talk. Talk to Decker. Talk to New York, please. Ask him what, what, repeat what I said. Uh, why, why are you attacking us? Why they ambushed us. Why are you attacking us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes all, 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 all. <clears throat> Said, you know, fuck you. Oh yeah, and I, 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 I push my, my sword, my scimitar, into his back, his oh. lower back, oh. pretty sharply. Oh. Not stabbing, oh. but just pointing it into his back. Are you like trying to intimidate him? Yeah. Then? Okay, uh, roll an intimidation check for me. Seven plus two, nine. Uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to be too intimidated uh, by you and uh, just spits. Hmm. All right, I'll try and intimidate him then. There you go. Uh, 19 plus six, 25. Okay, yeah, how do you? How do um, you? you tell this stupid nerd what he wants to know! Stupid nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the work, I guess he doesn't have his arms, kind of falls backwards, scooting his legs, getting his butt, so he's kind of Scooting away from you. What, what? What? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Or that sounds like. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't need to repeat it every time. You can just assume. Yeah. That. What? What was it though? Yeah. What, what are we asking? Why are you, why are oh. you attacking yeah, us? Yeah. Why are you attacking us? Oh, uh, you know, we're a scouting troop. We're trying to make sure no one spoils the surprise that our uh, army down there uh, is coming. So we were scouting around trying to find anybody that might have seen us and take them down. Why are you attacking Holdfast? Uh, you know, that's above my pay grade. Uh, I'm paid to fight and kill and track. And Who are you working for? Who's paying you? I, I, you know, I work for uh, my orc chief. What's his name? Um, Gerba. It's a her. <laughs> Bastard. Female Sexist orc team. chief. Wow. Like to meet her. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll like typing and I'll just look up. This is a grunt. I think he said everything he's gonna say. We can just kill him. Okay, well. You, wow. you, you don't gotta kill me. What can you offer us? 
You you bring came him, at us with along. arrows and wolves and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he doesn't know common. What's so your? He's, he's yeah, looking, yeah. He's I'll, looking at this guy. He, he's looking at you, but then looks I'm, like, I'm just saying things so that way he doesn't yeah. have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lop, lop, yeah. lop. Okay. <laughs> lop. You can just assume that I. Um, you know, I, I have nothing for you. I've got this shitty bow. Um, <laughs> it looks like you've you've stolen my wolf from me. Um, I've lost all my honor by being beaten by you guys. So you should probably just just finish me off. Oh, well, okay, okay. Right. Don't give him what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people. Decker will just take a dagger. I actually have a dagger. Never oh. used it. Uh, he'll just take a dagger out and just poke it right in his throat. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird and weak when you're putting it in. You're trembling <laughs> a, a little bit. bit. And it's, real, it's real slow, but then as oh. soon as it goes in, the blood just flows down. <laughs> oh, no. I'll just stand there staring at it. it yeah, it loses its ability to, to sit up and just kind of hunches over. You feel like a man now? <laughs> he reaches down and just wrenches it out. Wipes it off on the grass. Cool. Sticks it back in his jacket. Yeah, it was metal. Grimo's been covering <laughs> Chauncey's eyes so he doesn't see these horrors. <clears throat> All right, so we, we know the army's coming, so should we go and help? We should probably... Warm. Do we hurry to the hold fast? Yeah, the implication here is that we're supposed to warn the city so they don't get overrun. Yeah, so Grimo's going to send his, his animal it. spirit familiar to go warn someone in the city. <laughs> There I love go. the moment that just the quiet. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. The DM what's, says, what's your, no. That's it. What's your animal spirit familiar? Where did this come um, from? It's it's a card that I have. It's a find familiar card that I got at, at some point in our adventure. Oh, um, so you choose from a bat, cat, crab, frog, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poisonous snake, fish. Oh. Da, 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 da. Um, crab. So, so Grimo is going to choose, he's going to have a hawk fly, a, but it's going to have the face of Chauncey. Oh, so, man. So it's like That's a, horrific. <laughs> We're going to be missing a lot of teeth. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Morning, there are so, yeah, so, <laughs> when, the, when, the familiar, when the familiar drops to zero hit points, it disappears. Um, but yeah, he's going to send that, that Chauncey hawk-like creature to warn someone in the city. Basically, like whoever, like the, the whoever's running the city. Okay, it's it's not really a city. It's really there's just like a tower on top of a hill that okay, has a, okay. a fort around it. But I'm, that's where you're sending. Yeah, he's gonna with what kind of message? A little note that says okay. like warning, army army coming. Uh, coming. Female leader. Uh, Gerba. <laughs> Gerba. Gerba. Gerba Mate, <laughs> on her way. Um, Any other notes you want from there? Like art. How are you? Um, Emoji. He's gonna sign it like Grimo the hero. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, Who? He's gonna, and then he defers to the group. You know, I'm sending this note along. Is there anything else I should add to it? Tell him that we have uh, the Moon Dog Brothers. We've got heads. the Moon Dog Brothers. Heads. <laughs> and we want payment as Need soon as we arrive now at the hold fast. Uh, extra cheese. Extra uh, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we'll consider this warning uh, bonus payment. We'll you're consider the warning bonus payment. Okay. So you're just crying. Oh, yeah. I'll expect bonus payment. Covered in oh, oh, yeah. No, that, 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 I'll put that one from Myriad. Sure. Um, touches this and he says, fly, Chansey. Chansey. Oh, Chansey. No, Chansey's no. my horse and then oh. Chansey. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Uh, <laughs> he flies, but the note immediately drops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Right. It flies the wrong way. It flies way. into power lines. <laughs> <laughs> so does it make it? So yeah, so Chansey takes off into the sky. Um, Chansey too. You know, you, d you lose it in the sun a little bit, but then you, you see something actually approaching you from the same exact oh, direction. Uh, so you see this creature flying through the sky super fast towards you, and it slows as it gets closer. And you actually recognize... Um, Is it a bar <laughs> Kuzi, the oh, little uh, yeah, demon fighter guy. Right. So um, he's flying on his little spork, and it, uh, <laughs> it, right. it, it hits the ground and digs in in kind of like this super smooth way. He just kind of walks off the end of it. Whoa, I, I was hoping to catch you guys. Uh, and Koozie kind of like staring up in the sky. I'm gonna walk past Koozie and like start cyber analyzing his spork. Okay. <laughs> but he, you know, he's just kind of staring up in the sky. Amazing, huh? What? Uh, what's what's amazing? amazing? Koozie's right. high. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why are you oh, so Koozie, you holding? <laughs> you must well, be yeah. talking oh, about yes. <laughs> You're talking about the flight of Chansey, the great hero hawk, who has sent message to save the city. Anyways, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I guess I, I didn't quite realize you guys probably uh, couldn't see this. Uh, do you mind if I cast a little spell on you? Go nuts. Okay. And Cha Chauncey too. Chauncey has to see it as well. <laughs> okay. Whatever we see, okay. If you want to kill this horse, I'm okay with it. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so he pulls a little, little pouch out and pours some powder in his hand, um, kind of rubs it together, and also grabs a little straw. And uh, what does he say? Something he's like, so cool, And he blows the smoke in your face. Cool. Um, so you, you look off in the distance the way that uh, Chansey was flying, 
And uh, you see the, the holdfast up on its hill in the distance. Uh, the rolling hills and lush grasses melt away and you see a scorched, barren, craggy earth. The skies are red and a low thunder fills the air. A storm cloud passes overhead, blocking out the sun entirely. The clouds seem to be casting uh, like a magically dark shadow on you, like super, super black and dark. You can't see much at all. The, the clouds part and a giant chunk of rock kind of bursts through them. It's about 200 feet long and half as wide and floating about 200 feet up in the air. Uh, it's moving a few miles an hour also in the direction of the holdfast. And Koozie goes, wow, you really don't see something like this like, like ever anymore. What the hell? Like, no? Oh, so, sorry. Um, so you guys are seeing through my eyes as I can always see my home dimension. I can't quite interact, but I can see what's going on there right now. So what's going on? <laughs> so, so the rock moves overhead, and once you're clear of the shadow, you actually get your first look at the fortress that's perched atop of it. And the, fortress. The, the castle walls are black stone, and they look kind of wet. A huge spire rises above the stronghold on the end that's closest to you as it's moving away. Hmm. Uh, black flags dressed with simple white circle are floating from the or flying from the castle walls. Because he goes, battle castles are a real rare sight these days. You guys are real lucky to have seen one. We're going to have to fight that, aren't we? Oh, boy. I don't know about that. So what's going on? Why is a battle castle here? I, I couldn't tell you. It's amazing, though, isn't it? Sure. What does this have to do with the orc army? Oh, what's, what, what orc army? Can you not see our dimension? He's high. <laughs> yeah. I guess one of you maybe like, point in the direction. Yeah, yeah. there's a, you see the giant army going towards the whole fast? Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't see that. Sorry, I was distracted by the, the giant... Flying castle. Who's in that castle? I really don't know. I just it kind of came across it. You so just, just found a, lucky day. a giant yeah. flying castle? Oh, I was actually looking for you guys, but this thing happens to be here. Why are we looking Why for are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, so I was looking for that general guy, and he, boy, is he hard to track down. I don't think he's on Jeeb anymore. Um, so, yeah, I need to go home um, and find a portal, but before I did that, I just kind of wanted to stop in. Uh, let you guys know that some real dark shit's going up in those mountains. All kinds of horrible creatures, demons and devils have been loosed upon on this uh, world. Yeah. So uh, you guys might want to do something about that or maybe get people together and tell them to run away because they are really going to screw up this place. Oh, we sent a shitty bird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, wanted to let you guys know of the serious danger uh, east of here uh, before I went home. We just came from the east. So there's a battle castle, an army up in the... Towards the holdfast, and then demons in the hills. It's like a choose your, choose your own adventure. Can I novel. bring up the map, Dan? Yeah, yeah. So the the hills are. The so say you guys are, are around here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, Army is approaching from this direction, and the giant castle just floated over your head, headed okay. in that direction. Wait, so where are the hills with the demons? Uh, east of here. So up, up in those mountains, and there's a there's a dark forest further east that uh, they seem to be emanating from. Is it like the Lobotan Hills? Is that so like further, that? further than that. Oh, he's, he's like, like over you know, here, a couple hundred miles away. Oh, well, she I can so, yeah. see the place where I'm going to get paid. Yeah, and I can't see the place where the monsters are coming from. I think we should probably get paid. Yeah, I, I generally just spread the word, let people know they should run. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to go. So <laughs> we're covered. We're so never going to get paid for this. Well, Koozie. We? Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, always great to see you guys. Thanks for showing us that giant flying castle. That's cool. Love the spork. Yeah, I'm we gonna, gotta go get paid. You should do that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sneak around up there, snoop around, see what I can find. Uh, let you guys know if it's something to worry about. Okay. But, Sounds you know, good. Thought you'd like to see it. It's cool. Yeah, sweet. it's pretty cool. It's Thanks called a battle me. castle. I imagine that's probably something to worry about. Oh yeah, those things are dangerous. They're mm. they're a, a real horror. Do you know where it came from? You know, they're thousands of years old. Uh, giants used to use them. Uh, to wage war. Can it mess with us in this dimension? <clears throat> no, no, no. That is, that is in my uh, home world. All right, well, who cares? Uh, <laughs> I guess if we're lucky, we can get in there, get paid, get out before the stupid orc shit goes down. Yeah, we have to hurry. Yeah. All so, right. yeah, your, your vision of the, the right, castle Chauncey. starts to kind of fade away <laughs> as it travels in the distance. So, yeah, I'm going to go catch up with that thing real quick. Uh, nice to see you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. good to see you. Bojo! And he goes and hops on his little spork and takes <clears throat> off. I turn to the groom and go, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the witch from earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> so should we go to the whole fast? Let's yeah, go. we should yeah, absolutely let's go. hurry to Run, the whole fast. Sprint. So how right. close were we to the whole fast from there? Like an hour. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> All right, let's move. Yeah. So uh, it's mid-afternoon, and uh, the mist that was forming has turned into a mild rain. Uh, you travel for about an hour, and you see the old broken watchtower up on the horizon. You're maybe a 10-minute walk from it. Um, you approach, and the small camp that used to be outside of the holdfast seems to be just abandoned completely. 
Uh, there's still a few tents, uh, you know, smoking fires and just rubbish around, but they're they're not the people that used to be in this uh, camp. And uh, you approach the gates. What's outside? So this would be the gate. Oh, gotcha. Oh. So we're walking up. Yeah. Don't forget your wolf. You no, no, I've not forgotten my wolf. What's your wolf's name? I named it Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl wolf. So what? So not is Chauncey. Oh yeah, sorry, the old girl. I gave it a dick. All right, so we're we're kind of walking towards the gate. Uh, no, I Any that. word from Chauncey? What? Um, like, like how does it work? The thing deliver a message and come back to you, or? Mm, yeah, I mean, it sounds like I can have it do whatever until it it's eaten to zero hit points. Okay, and it just lives. Until then, does it have yeah, a... Yeah, it just lives until... Dry it's casting time is one hour. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you. Uh, I guess if you summon Chansey back, uh, he flies back and uh, lands on um, Chauncey's little head right in front of Wait, you. Wait, which one? The horse or the wolf? <laughs> Chansey lies on, uh, flies on Chauncey the horse. <laughs> okay. Wait, yeah, Chansey one, Chauncey one or Chauncey yeah. two? Yeah. <laughs> well, which one's Chauncey one's one? one? It's interchangeable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> third, well, Chauncey one is the official name, but the nickname is Chauncey two. Let's, yeah. Whereas the other one is Chauncey oh, two, on. nicknamed Chauncey two. Chauncey for short. Let's settle yeah. this right now. We'll take it to a vote. If you want Chauncey one, the horse, to be Chauncey one, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Say uh, right, I. So I say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. In half of the first part of Thursday. So okay, who want, we need to debate about which half, which what counts as a half. Last day. half of the first part. What if it's Got a solstice? It. What does Chancy? Oh. What does Chancy okay, so, say? So Chancy, Chancy lands. You notice the note is long, no longer attached to it, but it just hits the end of its hour oh, life yeah. cycle and starts to vanish. If you have any last words for it, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does say I love you. Your garbage yeah, the bird explodes. Will you marry me? Thank you for the horse face. <laughs> it's face melt. <laughs> Every time. That's it. It's dead. We don't know. Anymore. So we don't know that the, 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 the note didn't. What did you we, say it, to it? Well, I said I love you. You said oh, okay. it. You said right. I said I love you. And then the bird and exploded. Then, yeah. And Derek's then we don't know if the note melts. got anywhere. It didn't come back with the note, but we can we can hope. And, all, all right. Well, that tender moment. I love you. Well, Shadowcock's going to run up to the gate. And uh, kind of bang on the gate and see if anybody's there with the wolf. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're banging for a minute, um, and you see a little head kind of poke poke around the corner, looking through the gate, and goes, "Who who goes there?" You little swine. Do you, guys, do you guys know about the orc army that's on the way to the whole fest? Who goes there? It's, it's us. Out. Do you know about the orc army that's on the way to the whole fest? Just answer the question. Perhaps no. this name we were will here. strike a chord with you, Myriadus Oprobles. Folk hero? <laughs> Never heard of him. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Get lost, you bunch of scrubs. We were here like a week ago, two weeks ago, or a handful of days ago. Yeah. We were sent on a mission. We have the Moondog Brothers' heads. Sounds made up to me. Show them the heads. No, those are heads. Yes, the Moondog Brothers. And why should I care? Mary, give them the script or whatever. Oh, Stupid yeah, quest. the note. Okay. We're on official business, ass. Let us in. <laughs> So I hand it to him. I'm like, what's his name no, here? What's the name of the general that we were He just actually has the note. Sniller. Aegis Sniller. Aha. Yep. Where is he? Uh, so the guy takes your little paper and kind of looks it over. He goes, all right, hang on a second. And he, he kind of walks back. That's what I thought. Walks away. Bitch. <laughs> All right, so he disappears for a minute. We gotta hurry. Well, I don't know yeah. if you guys are having a little conversation. I mean, can we see the five minutes? He's gone. Can oh, we okay. see the approaching orcs from here? Like, I'll, I'll kind of totter up on high ground and see if I can. Oh yeah. I don't know what direction they're coming from. Okay. Um, I guess prescription either. sunglasses. I, uh, well, if they didn't see him, wrap so hold fast didn't <laughs> see him. We probably. I uh, I huddle the group together, sans Grimo, and I go, okay, we got to figure this out. How the hell do we order this horse? Grimo's <laughs> <laughs> petting Chauncey, he's giving him a carrot. He's we're, doing we're a, like, like this. Looking at the horse. Grimo <laughs> has a caricature sketch of he, he and Chauncey at the beach. Wearing <laughs> roller guns. skates. Yeah. 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 yeah, Chauncey's in a tiny car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, the guy kind of runs out. He goes, Stop. All right. So, sorry. Sorry about this. Um, come on in. Um, let me go actually get somebody to help me raise this gate. He's he's back in a second. Raises what a the piece gate. Of shit. Yeah, I know. God damn it! What a dumb <laughs> fucking thing. guard. The job as a guard at this gate. How do I open the gate? Oh, where's the uh, gate go? No, where's the gate go? Oh, moon dog brothers. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to I'm get a this dumb to work. piece of shit, and I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> I can't get it up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impotent. <laughs> Poop don't come out my right. butt right. He's gonna move a little slow. So he opens the gate, gets somebody to help him. Yeah, you guys walk in and actually see this place. When I walk place. past him, I give him a little. 
<laughs> but he also, doesn't. He doesn't move at all. Super un- unintimidating, though. Um, I think it, like his elbow <clears throat> pops when he does that. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> just hit your arm a little bit. Yeah. We'll this in. is the whole fast we started in, right? Yeah. So this is where you guys started. Yeah. Um, so you, when you were here last, there were maybe like 60, 70 guys, um, and now maybe there's a a dozen at most. You don't even see twelve guys, but there's a few people um, kind of milling about. A few guys up on the parapets on the top. Uh, Sniller says he'll be with you guys just a minute. You guys want to come inside, take a seat? Or... Sure. Sure, yeah. Yep. What's what do it? doing? We're in a rush. You got food? I got some food. Um, uh, how, like does, uh, how does dried beef and some rice sound? Sounds good. Chauncey's looking at his lips. <laughs> Parsley lips. I said, I didn't want to meet your wife. <laughs> nice. This is the ghost of Skittles. <laughs> Still he was in you all along. Yeah, it's just the jokes aren't it's landing. Skeleton. So he takes you uh, and sits you down in that little room with the, the table and chairs. Uh, should, are the wolves and horses allowed inside? Uh, yeah, uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving the wolf <laughs> and the horse outside. No. Or... Done, done. I'm coming inside, what's your problem? <laughs> uh, excuse me, Chauncey's one of the family. He does not stay outside. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, my Chauncey will take care of your Chauncey. That's what Chauncey does when you say that. Your Chauncey's love each other. I ain't leaving Chauncey with no wolf. Chauncey's terrifying wolves. My Chauncey's really nice. I don't know, Shattercock. Um, Look at his face. And then she, <laughs> he's so sad. He I, uh, I show the guard a, a card that I have that says that it's um, Chauncey, the real Chauncey, the wolf, is um, <laughs> it, it's my support animal. And oh, it's it's a service animal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I get really upset and anxiety if I don't have it. Do they allow this? Okay, he goes, he goes, have to. Fair enough, fair okay. enough. Oh, all right, um, all right, Chauncey's but, but in. The, the nasty horse stays out. Gotcha. What? I go, goo goo, goo goo. Okay, well, I feel happy now. Grimo, uh. My problems aren't made up. <laughs> Grimo turns to Chauncey and he, he says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> man, man, it's an old girl. And then he, he kisses Chauncey and holds for a little too oh, long. Ugh, and, then he, and then he leaves him and he, like, you know, loops well, up his Is there like reins. a window or something here where Chauncey can like see in? Chauncey 2. Um, <laughs> it's like yes. Mr. N. Okay, I, I go close that window. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chauncey. <laughs> Chauncey. There's a window right next to that one and he kind of steps over and sticks his head through that. Okay, I'm putting bricks up. <laughs> I <laughs> shove a brick in Chauncey has to hear the plan. All right, so what is the... All right, we're sitting here You guys are sitting in that room for a few minutes. Arguing over a horse. (laughs) We should should really hurry this up. I don't want to be here when this this stupid attack comes. I agree. Also, if you guys notice, it's a little suspicious. This place seems evacuated. Maybe they did get our note. This is kind of feeling like a trap. Yeah, I don't feel good about leaving Chauncey alone out there. I want to get no one ass. They got me. All right, so um, Sniller busts in the room. Uh, He's uh, kind of a lithe elf, uh, long, kind of silvery white hair. Um, Just say hot. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you was Grimo the hero? That's me. Oh, <laughs> Grimo, thank yeah. you so much for your warning note. Uh, we're kind of in dire straits here, but your warning of about an hour has given us time to prepare our walls Good and get ready glad. for defense Happy of this castle. Help. You are aware that a force of about 40 orcs is headed right for us. Yeah, about that. We gotta, we gotta get our payment. Oh, yeah. Uh, what happened there? Would you mind telling me the story of, you know, I sent you guys on a, what, which mission was I that? I throw which, the heads on the, the table. Moon dog brothers, the Moondog Brothers. Kill the Moondog Brothers. They escape from yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah, prison break. Yeah. That's right. Man, that's been a real fucking disaster. Yep. So yeah, what'd you do? You got them? We got them. Show mm-hmm. them the heads. I threw them on the table. Yeah, they're already oh, there. Yeah, they are. How do I know, See, I got how a do I know chub. The, <laughs> these are the Moondog Brothers? P- uh, pierced ear. And a scar over the eyes. Also, they said they were before we killed them. So these heads stink too, because they've been in that bag for what, yeah. like two weeks or something. Like a week. <laughs> Hold on one minute. He oh, uh, runs back to his room and comes back with a book that he's flipping through, trying to check his logs. I think he's getting very antsy. Oh, are you in a hurry there? Yes. Uh, why? Because we have to conclude our business, and get out before these orcs come and kill you guys. You're just gonna let them come and slaughter us? Yes. You're not gonna help. We we already helped. We did your stupid quest. And we warned you. What's yeah, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Very low. <laughs> I'm here to hold this hill. I guess I can get your payments. Yeah, um, do that. So. Quickly, All right, come, um, come. I, oh, I, I say, forgive my friend. Um, the least we could do is give you our finest warrior to leave behind, Derek, the the short and his uh, noble horse. We shall leave behind. Is that this one whatever. over here? Uh, that is a lie, as my papers will clearly tell you. I. 
am Grimo the hero. Light that on fire, light that on fire, light that on fire. Yeah. I also need you to, to give me Decker, a full like, pardon, please. snaps his hands and tries to <laughs> flick some fire at the, at the but note. It should be known that my deeds of heroism outweighed my acts of vulgarity. So, uh, one pardon, please. <laughs> He stares at you. He's, he's like, I don't have time to write a pardon right now. Or you have time to pay us, us, and we can go. All right, give me just a minute. Ah, uh, damn it! He disappears again. He's buying time now. Fuck me. We're gonna get trapped in here, and we're gonna have to fight because the orcs are gonna want to kill us because we're here. Ah! It's like he shoves the table very ineffectively. Like, eh. It kind of compresses his own wrist a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so goes, eh. All right, so uh, he comes back uh, with a, a little tiny box. You hear it jingling. Uh, and a couple of papers, ink quill, and he's he's writing hurriedly. It goes, okay, uh, that was... Does anyone remember what I owed them? Yes, 200 okay. gold each for me. I don't know what you negotiated for. 200. So, uh, actually, my, my notes <laughs> <Two or one. laughs> do say... 300. I gave you 10% up front, so that. that is 180 gold he hands to Derek. Uh, which one of you is Decker? That's me. 279 gold pieces was the remainder. Um, you paid him 279? Yo. That's you. Um, he hands you 270 gold pieces. Gracias. Um, 270 for him too? Um, Oprobles. That's the dwarf. Okay, uh, 90 gold pieces. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I knew he was getting shit on. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Shattercock and Grim. Okay, and he's he's kind of like scribbling. I'll, I'll write out these pardons real quick. Decker's gonna there be at the go. door, like waiting. There you go. Consider your service to this country and, uh, done. And some uh, carrots and apples for Chauncey. That was part of the agreement as well, I believe. We, we have no fresh fruit or vegetables here. Mm. We're in pretty bad shape. Decker's gonna like climb climb a staircase to get on top of the tower so we can see how close the stupid orcs are getting. Derek's but eating a bowl of that rice. Is this horse meat? <laughs> Horses are favorite around here. Mm. Um, you don't yeah, say. So we, we can sell <laughs> one. Are yeah, you selling? Mm -hmm. uh, that one you that old ragged thing. Nay, you walk sir. Around? That that mare is a fine. Uh, Pristine thing, uh, racehorse it was once, and uh, I'll give you five gold for it. You sold, <laughs> <laughs> sell the horse. He hands you five gold because that meat will keep us a couple weeks. You're not paying five attention. Gold? They just sold Chauncey. What? Don't You're not paying attention. <laughs> She's reading an the, asshole. She's reading the letter. Not, so yeah, not it's just him. Chauncey. Yeah. So when those those orcs lay siege to this tower, uh, that horse meat will keep us going for Chauncey. good weeks. No. Yeah. I, Thank you very much Cha for your business. Hey, hey, Chauncey cannot be sold. Chauncey is a free horse. I, I, I go up to Grimo and go, look, it's okay. I understand. I know your pain. I'll give you half the money. Here's um, one gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse to accept this. Okay, I'll keep it. It's fine. Captain, always a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Can, can you build in through the story of what happened with we the We killed dogs? the orcs and we got out of there. Found a where did you, where did you find how, them? How close are the orcs? Do I see them like... Or yeah, yeah you you climbed up to the top of the tower. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're out there. They're like here. They're here. Fuck. All right. No, all right. I'll fine. just I'll barrel back in. And be like motherfuck. <laughs> I mean, you could probably still make a break for it. Say they're coming from Matt's direction. Okay. They're here. We gotta go now. All right. I'm going. So I, I, Thanks very much. Y Thanks you realize time. you you're leaving us here. I will. Yeah, we know. I will get on my knees and beg you all. It's a fortress. We need some help. Green That's what it's for. Going. We need some help. I've got like a dozen are guys. We gonna, are we gonna leave them here, Remo? I ain't leaving without Chauncey. That's my horse now, right? <laughs> that was its name. You call it. You should name it Old Girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, well, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna say farewell. It was a pleasure doing business with you. What do you mean? Well, pleasure. We haven't left yet. Pleasure, Miri. See you in the next life. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Oh well. Yeah. Um, before y'all disperse too much, uh, we'll give you another 300 XP Ooh. for finally finishing Ooh, the mission that you were that. given, and, and I think that should push you all to level yep. four. Yeah. Oh, does it? Oh, sweet. Right on. 2714. We can take care of that at some point. So yeah, S Sniller's on his knees. Uh, he's got uh, Shattercock's hands in his hands, and he's just please anything you can do to convince these Grimo. these people to help out. We we are gonna get slaughtered here. Remo, are you stand? I ain't leaving without Chan Chauncey. Instead of rolling, I can pay. He goes, I, I can pay you. I go, okay. Tucker, do you hear that? Six gold for what? the horse. <laughs> you hear that? He can pass. Oh, how, how much? much can you pass? Yeah, how much? Oh boy. Um, I'll pay you double what I did for the works. Sounds good. Let's do it. 
I'm gonna fast. need about four times that much because everyone else got paid more than me. <laughs> yeah. And I was the leader. Uh, uh, General, whatever your name is, Sniller. Grievous. Uh, <laughs> 500 gold for each plus person that stays. Plus, the, plus the horse. I just bought that horse. That's gonna feed us for like I'll two weeks. I'll give you five gold for the fucking horse. <laughs> 500 gold per person. I want 10 for the horse. Bad business. No, five. You're getting five. You just, <laughs> just bought the fucking horse. I ain't gotta make a profit. Uh, <laughs> uh, 500. Oh, I gotta go check the coffers. All right. All right. Never mind. Can he, he, like, he starts to walk. He's like, never mind. Never mind. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Five. Anything you want. All right. All right. Cool. All right. 500 each. Derek, are you 500 gone? 500 each. Mm, yeah, you, you're out the door 500. there. 500. Right? I saw Derek. Derek. 500 gold. 500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> 500 gold. You say? And Chauncey, Derek. <laughs> I closed the other window on the horse. All right, is that enough for everybody? Are we all staying here? Yeah, man. You should help. Yeah. That's a lot of money, I think too. We have to. Yeah. <laughs> At least we got money out of it. Can you pay, you pay us up front? Oh, boy. That's not going to happen. I don't, I don't think I've got that much here. We're not going anywhere. Right. Yeah. But I don't have it here. We're going to have to, Where do you have have to it? call in some. Oh, in your other hold fast, I assume. Yeah. Where, do you ha- where do you have it, Sniller? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, we're, well, reinforcement should be here. I don't know. Sometime we sent out word uh, about an hour ago asking for help. So as soon as any any other military forces arrive, they should have uh, some purse on them. Uh, until then, I could maybe do you half up front. Okay, yep. all Deal. right, we're, yeah. we're good. Yeah. And, good. And you'll stay here and fight to the death to hold this hill. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll fight. fight. We're gonna yeah. fight. We will fight. Yeah, I mean, maybe you'll die. We might not. Well, I I, I go up to Snower and I say. I need you to find my friend Saite. <laughs> <laughs> now? We need you now. If you can send word now? for a More than great ever. warrior named Saite, he would serve as a fantastic meat sh- warrior so that I, we can use. I only have 12 soldiers right now. Are you telling me this hero is such a badass he's worth sending one of my guys after? Two of you guys. <laughs> he's worth two of no, you men. No. <laughs> he only has one arm. <laughs> uh, if you have a, a spare pigeon, or crow, whatever this world has. Uh, it could fight better than Saite. <laughs> He'll stay so long, you'll be begging for him to leave. <laughs> uh, we have a horse that we can send word. Uh, it's, a, it's a messenger horse. Well, he has a, it's a messenger oh, horse. Oh, wonderful. That The horse will surely carry the messenger twice it as It might fast. not make it out the door. <laughs> Is this the horse I just bought and then sold? Different horse, but same name. No, oh, okay. All right, I, I will get your payment. I'm eternally grateful for you guys staying here and helping us fend off this raid. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Right, he disappears and comes back with your money. Um, kind of walks yeah. around, handing you your two fifty. And he actually 50. he ends with Miri and he goes, "I'm so sorry, ah. Mr. <laughs> O'Probles, but I'm just a little short on your portion." <laughs> Not the only thing a little short, huh, Mary? Oh, no. Tough break, Mary. I, you, will get, you will get paid in full, but I can only give you 150 right now. That's a bummer. Anyway, we That's got a almost 250. Fight. Can I, like, I don't know, what do I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you I just, sell him I just horse. take it and I'm fuming. I'm like, fine. Oh. Better make up for it later. Okay. We have um, to fight a bunch of shit anyway. So he's like, okay, uh, if you all would give us a minute, uh, I'll gather us all in the courtyard and we'll cover a battle plan. I think these guys might attack. I don't know. Anytime they're known for coming at night. I'm no captain of an army, but generally when you send a military force to a holdfast, you're planning on attacking. Yeah, if, but we really don't know what they want. Maybe they all just want to parlay. Okay. Yeah, maybe they sure. just want to chat. Sure. Yeah. It's party. Okay. It's a holiday after all. We were in some stupid village a couple days ago that Send the negotiating a horse. <laughs> <laughs> you have a negotiating horse. Absolutely. What do you think you bought? It sold. Ask me the things a horse can't do. It's a short list. <laughs> what can't it do? Exactly. Oh. Grievous laying on the ground. Chauncey's looking his face and he's Aww. laughing, Aww. laughing. Enjoy it while you can. That horse is gonna be <laughs> so dead. He took my skeleton away. I'm gonna go, <laughs> this go is back payback. up on the tower, looking around. Yeah, I'm gonna looking up on the cool. wall. Because I think, yeah, they're coming from this direction. Yeah. He's using the webcam on his laptop and zooming it way in. It webcam? It does not work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <That's> not <then. laughs> he, he drew one on with a little Sharpie marker. What is it? It's like a Game Boy camera. It's uh, it's like a 1992 Apple II or something. Oof. So, yeah. Snow, when, is, when are they going to arrive? How, are they close or what? What's so, I, I think at this point it's a waiting game. So well, see we if should take a rest so then we can level up. Do we have enough time to sleep? Uh, oh. You might want to... Enough time to know. read how to level up because I <laughs> really looked into it. I would say your piece with your friends. 
This could be our last days on Earth. Um, if it gets hot, just run. Just run away. <laughs> but I'm, I'm paying you guys to stay here. Yep. I know. Right. Yeah, and gave you that money you up front. Yep. We're yes, gonna sir. stay here. Don't right. worry. We got it. Especially so, Chancy or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to Chancy. You might want to have. I know we've had our differences in the past, <laughs> but I really fucking hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> so you you might want to you know say your piece with your friends here. Get a few minutes of shut eye. Um, it's an Apple PowerBook 180. <laughs> Oh Just you gosh. know, oh, oh boy, God. no webcam, no, none. Absolutely, not. I, I imagine the orcs will be here in the next couple of hours. So, ready yourselves. Hey, Grimo, come here. Grimo goes over to Dirk. Yeah, and so we're near Chauncey. I know you love this stupid horse, so I can speak with animals. If there's anything you want to say to Chauncey, uh, 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 Dirk. This is one of the greatest gifts that could ever be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't get all much about it. Yeah. <laughs> could you ask Chauncey who his best friend is? All right. It's a it's a spell, but okay. it's a ritual, so it takes some time. Yeah. And I'm basically like eyes roll back into my head, and I have my hand on on the horse. Grimo wants to know who your best friend is. I, th I think who's Chauncey? Be Chauncey. You're Chauncey. What? You're Chauncey then. I'm Chauncey. Yeah, yeah. My best friend. It's Chansey, the Hulk. He is brave and noble, and he's hate this Hulk. And Hulk's dead. <laughs> uh, is there anything you want to say to Grimo? Who is Grimo? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then Dirk's eyes roll out, and then, and then he kind of like does this with his hand because it's well, got Derek, all. Well, Dirk, what did he say? Uh, Chansey said, "You, yeah, you, <gasps> Grimo, you're." Course, but of course, but of course, Grimo yeah. and Chauncey, best yeah. friends forever. And Grimo, he like like hugs Chauncey, and then Chauncey rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you want to have any conversations with Decker, I could speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> would you also ask Chauncey if he would be willing to ride into battle with us? No, I can, I can only do that once <laughs> okay, in a while. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I'm already out. <laughs> uh, Decker's gonna find Shattercock. He's been he's been working on some lines, mm -hmm. so he's gonna just like roll up behind her. Ugh. Well, Shattercock's yeah. petting Cha uh, Chauncey. Oh, okay. I guess. okay. Shattercock's petting Chauncey. Oh, gee, no, Chauncey. the other Chauncey. Chauncey. No, the oh, real sorry. Chauncey. <laughs> the real the oh, okay. Chauncey. Not that bullshit the real impersonator. Chauncey. <laughs> Shattercock's petting Chauncey and be like, Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Is he like uncomfortably behind her? Like, well, of course. He's just, but he doesn't know that. Yeah. So he'll like, Oops. Oh, oh boy. Boy. That's yeah, that's that's actually, that's what happens. That's probably what happened. He shoots you through the wall. Knocks her in the back. Uh, she, I was gonna say, she has no idea you're there until you touch her or say yeah, something. Yeah, of course, no. I'll just go. Your ass is hot in that armor. What? Who? Huh. Decker, what did you just say to me? Uh, I said you're really beautiful. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'll look down at his laptop. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> You like see him like pointing and reading, like mouthing I just words. Want to be listening to this. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. He'll, he'll say, uh, "Yeah, uh, I usually hang out with hotter chicks, but I guess you'll do." <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Why hotter chicks? Yeah, like, like you crave my acceptance now, because I said it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm really good at a lot of stuff. You want to? You want to see? Uh, start gaslighting. All right, her. Yeah. What are you good at? <laughs> all right. Hold on. And he like turns around, and then he loads up like a real like a snake game. <laughs> He's like holding it. He's like tapping buttons. It's really slow. It's really slow. <laughs> oh. So, bloop. Bloop. All right. Well, I'm gonna go lay down with my Chauncey. What? What? Why? Hold. Do you want to keep talking? No, I don't. Why not? Why did you pretend like you were interested? <laughs> He's like getting I never, uncomfortable. Decker, like, I never did. Hey, Decker, Decker. Yeah, you did. You Decker, were nice. Decker, we're friends. You and I. We're friends. Okay? He, he like. Hey, Decker, come here. Come here. And then she shoves Decker right into her boobs and gives him a big hug. Decker, we're friends forever. <laughs> and then Chattercock lets him go. He stands there, no emotion, and then you see that thing that like. Like he's clenching his jaw real hard. Oh, yeah, so little yeah, things yeah. pop out on the side of his head. And then he snaps his laptop closed and just like scu scuttles away. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And then you hear, <laughs> he like goes one room away. He's like, that bitch, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear, uh, yeah, uh, basically. Uh, and, and yelling. Yeah, and <laughs> stupid bitch, nice guy's been Only four ten, only fuck you, goes drunk. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's like jacking off on, uh, I guess, the general's table right now. You said you loved me. You said you loved me. <laughs> <laughs> She let me on. Oh, she took advantage of you. Just like jacking up. Everywhere. Shadowcock walks up to Miri and goes, Miri, what the hell? 
Did you? Why? Why was he talking to me that way? I'm just like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> why? 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 Do you understand? Do you know what's going on with Decker? No, I, I think it's something to do with that portable shield he has. The thing's weird. All right. Okay. It's the only thing I could guess. Well, I'm gonna go lay down with my uh, with Chauncey. I like that Nier right. calls it a portable shield. Like every shield isn't portable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, what deployable? You can take a shield anyway. Uh, and the Shatter 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 goes and lays down with the wolf. Okay. I have uh, I've been issuing insults to Chauncey all night. Oh, yeah. Chauncey's here. I've just fallen asleep into the hay. Are you fucking dumbass? Piece of shit. Uh, is gonna go up to Decker. You walk in on him. Yeah, he sees him really upset. <laughs> Decker, what happened? Hands around ankles. Women are stupid. I don't lie to you. That's all they do. They just they just misdirect you and lie to you and take advantage of you. It's shitty. You just try to be nice to them and they just take advantage of you. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of women. Does this have something to do with Shattercraft? No. She says she's a bitch. Decker. Whatever. I don't care. I never cared. She's a fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you, Decker, that maybe things like this take time? It took long enough. It was a whole day. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Look, Decker, I f one for one know that Shattercock has some feelings for you. <laughs> yeah. So I think you just gotta be nice to her. I was being nice. But for more than one day. What? I know, I know. It seems crazy to be nice to a woman for more than one day. <laughs> but trust me, trust me, Decker. Well, for how long, exactly? Two, three days? Three days, okay. <laughs> I think I could do that. Okay, I think you can too. Now pull okay. those pants up and let's go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goes directly to Shattercock who's sleeping. She's asleep. Leans over. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake up. <laughs> and then like he says, then he like looks back. No. Yeah, she wake? No. <laughs> One more time? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gruber goes to, to sleep next to Chauncey. Chauncey, the original Chauncey, the horse. I'm Chauncey, the horse, the horse is outside. <laughs> yeah, yep. Chauncey, the original. Dumb, dumb, dumb shit, piece of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Decker, what's Derek? Yeah, what are you, you up to, doing? Derek? After Grimo left, they just sat down and just started looking out at the sky. I'm gonna like get on top of the tower. But on this side, you should have a like a so kind of like look over and then look back. You still have your laptop, right? Yeah. Do you have like a MIDI version of like a sad oh, like yeah. 80s like breakup song? Yeah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. uh, how long? How long were we like? Could we be sleeping? So you've all gone to sleep now. Oh. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Good. Before that, I want to go out here and I just hang out with Derek for a second and I go. Three hundred? What they paid you? <laughs> to start? <laughs> no, I actually only got two hundred. So. Oh, yeah. Whatever you negotiated awesome. for me wasn't very good. It was even worse for you. I didn't negotiate for you, though. I came here with you. You brought me. You had your own letter, though. Yeah, I know, but you brought me here as hired help. Conspiracy. <laughs> What's that this noise? This is coming up off the Yeah, we can hear it. Like... <laughs> Do you hear something? Yeah, I don't know. It sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the MIDI tune plays as the sun goes down over the horizon. Oh. You see... Uh, Cut torch flames pop up in the direction of that raiding party, um, and I think that's the end of season two. Cliffhanger! And I think we're all just in our sleep. Everybody, yes. <laughs> you fucking dumb horse, you dumb piece of fucking. I fucking hate you. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Face first. Cool, right. that's it. All right, All yeah. Right. See you Wanna next season. Um, yeah, yeah so uh, we're probably doing season three. I don't know. Well, maybe. Uh, we yeah. might. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully you guys can voice your support of the show yeah. wherever you'd like to do that on the internet. Become a first member. Oh, yeah, that's the best way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Become a first member. Or yell at people on Tumblr. Or no. No, that doesn't first, help. That doesn't help? No, it doesn't help. What have I been doing? <laughs> Yelling at people <laughs> on Tumblr. <laughs> and? So I want to find out what happens in season three. Me too. Too. Yeah. All right. So yeah, please uh, continue to support the show and help us out, and we'll be back. Yeah. Thank nice you, everybody. Baby. Bye. Bye.